and we should be live welcome to another stream folks we've basically got something a little unorthodox so i have taken a pivot uh as obama did in 2013 with the pivot to asia i'm looking more towards a crazier pasture um of course we've been doing politics for a while on the channel and that's the new grift but frankly let's spice it up a little bit i've got some side tangents i've been involved uh, with for like the better part of a year so we're gonna try to narrow that down uh let's check to make sure all the specs of the stream are up so let's go ahead and just verify that's working. Uh, the channel's been doing well. I'm feeling dead air. Uh, this happens every time I do a stream, but the takeoff is worth the flight. Okay, so bear with me as we're going up. You need to buckle in and brace yourself. Now, as we all know, there's a lot of things that have changed recently. I haven't done a stream in forever. In fact, wait, hold on. Let me link my stream to the relevant people. I haven't clicked it yet. Hold on a second. So what are some things that are changing? Well, first of all, this election's pretty close. Um, you know, before I remember it being like 18 months away, but now it's within eight months or less. So, I mean, things are getting crazy. Things that are changing. Believe it or not. Well, first of all, this, but let's go ahead and link the stream. Let's get it over there. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. So recently I, I've had this uh, friend, you can call her whatever. Basically she, uh, went on this lol cow live stream okay now this thing is ran by keemstar who's been on the internet for uh a, you could say since like 2005 they used to troll people on halo uh like halo 2 like before my time on the xbox original or something so i mean these people have been around forever so they're uh farming content from the thorpe family the thorpe family i've made like half a dozen videos on over the last like eight months i haven't made a video about them in like many months but anyway um, that's been a topic that I haven't really broached over here. So here it's been RFK. It's been shit like that. Trent says, Lalo, Chad's roll in. Yo, what's up, Trent? I recognize the name. I feel like that's an alt of somebody I know in real life, but I don't know. I saw a girl at Costco today from high school and she made eye contact with me, but I wasn't sure that was her. So I just walked past her with my Merce on. Speaking of which, I have a Merce too. It's really nice. It's a $180 Michael Kors. Some of the best material, frankly. I think they killed a very sacred cow to get this. And I mean, it's true. And I mean, the Merce is really nice. Uh, I taught, you know, you know what I did? You're a Thorpeter, Trent? Oh, okay, never mind. I, I have a friend with an alt that's similar to yours. But anyway, so uh, going on with what I was talking about earlier, there is a notion, and like the stream, by the way, get to it right now, folks. Vape King, Vape King, where do I know you from? That's a familiar, familiar uh, gamer tag. Show us the Merce. Hold on. Let me, let me tease you a little bit. Tease me, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, so get ready. So I get this Merce for maybe christmas i don't remember what the occasion was but my mom gave it to me and my mom will buy me like 200 dollars worth of stuff like every six weeks or so because i don't see her as often as my dad so she feels like she needs to buy me stuff i guess so she'll um she knows i don't like doing shopping so she'll just occasionally buy like a couple hundred dollars worth of like polo shirts and ralph lauren shirts and whatever and she'll be like oh is this the right size and then if it's not the right size she'll go back to macy's or whatever and then rebuy everything but um one of these things has been Last year, when I went to, yo, what's up, Solar? <laughs> yo, 17 viewers already. Hey, like the stream. Do your job. My ancestors were bleeding, picking, not really, but they were picking uh, cranberries in Minnesota just for me to be here as metrosexual as I could be called as being to do this. Okay, folks, we're, we're winning. Anyway, anyway, so can you sing La Vida Loca? Uh, I don't really know what that is. But anyway, yeah, I'm being spoiled by my mother, and it's a little bit. People would say that's a problem. Anybody who knows me in real life knows that isn't the issue, in fact. But people such as Grace, who is the somewhat of the topic here, is definitely someone who's like psychoanalyzing everything. And I indulge it because like who else is giving me that attention? So it's perfect. Emotional tampon, you could call it. It's ironic given the genders, but it's true. And it is a fascinating story to tell. But so getting back to this whole Merce thing. So last year, in anticipation to going to the conservative political action uh, convention in National Harbor, uh, DC, CPAC, have it, have it your way. Basically in 2023, I go to this thing and what's so amazing about it just from the jump is that it's, I've never been to the East coast ever, not once. Okay. So if I go there, it's one of, I think it's the first thing I ever go to in events. I've left the state like eight times since then, but I go to CPAC and my mom knows about this. And I think women have this quality where I'm like, Hey dad, I'm going here. And he's like, well, what's the weather? And it's like, Oh, it's 40 degrees. Meanwhile, it's 70 degrees in Arizona. And then he's like, Oh, okay. Well, bring a jacket. My mom says, I'll buy you a jacket so you can look cute. So she gets me a Ralph Lauren uh, pea coat, $200 pea coat. It's beautiful, beautiful picture. And I can even pull it up on my Google Photos account because it's a fucking banger. 
you know, this is like what gets the Mormon girls very exuberant, kind of like damn near sinful what they do when they see this sort of picture. I've, I've pulled this stunt like five times. But let's go ahead and uh, log into Google Photos real quick. All right. Let's see. What's the most recent picture I have Google Photos? These are one of my prime pictures, by the way. These are one of the banger. Like, this is what you'd put on your Tinder if I used Tinder. I had Tinder, I think, in high school for a week. I guess they figured out I was underage. I was trolling, and they banned me. Um, so I don't have a Tinder now. But hold on. Let's let's check the chat real quick. Fuck. Where, where is the chat? Um, CPAC is cool, or the videos are. What, what do you mean the videos are CPAC? Hi, what is this? This just came up. Miami here. Yeah, what's up, Giovanna? Uh, well, so I was on your recommended. That's odd. What's the underage for Tinder? No, when I was like 17 in senior year of high school, I was seeing how other people were on Tinder, namely the girls. So I'm like, okay, I'm kind of curious who's on here because if you put your location as to where you live near the high school, obviously you're going to see what girls are on there. And I was just kind of curious because they would say like, oh, did you know Kimberly was on that? I'm like, what the fuck? Really? So I get, I go on there with like a fake account and, uh, I got banned though, because I don't, I don't even know why, but. Anyway, yeah, so Tinder banned with my phone number. So I need a new phone number or I need a Google voice number. I don't know. I don't really care about these dating sites because for the longest time, I was so broke, I couldn't even afford to take a bitch out to Cheesecake Factory. Now that I have four figures in the bank account, I could do that. But frankly, folks, it's kind of like uh, crazy because I get a text. Okay, who cares? Um, but yeah, no, it is crazy. Um, Solar Select says 16 to 17 year olds at his high school would meet dude in their late 20s. They would meet dudes. Yeah. The Coop says, I like your new YouTube channel. How is it a new channel? Uh, free alcohol mostly. Oh, yeah, for those girls. Yeah, I've, I've heard of that. So we, we were just checking that out. Anyway, so uh, to get back to the uh, Merce story. So my mom gets me this expensive Ralph Lauren peacoat. And I'm going to pull up the picture for y'all because it's awesome. I like my You like my new channel because it's so small. That's like so funny, dude. All right. Well, where the fuck is my Google Photos? This is crazy. I have garden pictures from four years ago i had a garden when i was 16 or 15 uh this is not the right account anyway burp let's make sure i'm using the right thing hold on i need to show you this peak coat this peak coat was banger it was peak optics it was perfect and it was something where it's very appealing to a certain girl and i've been um battling and fighting i've been fighting personally uh to see what's a better aesthetic for me whether that be the face the facial hair or clean shaven because you know you get called gay in a metrosexual and a pretty boy with um with uh with 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 no facial hair but but with it i still get the same comments so it's somewhat of a difficult thing for sure but i can't find the fucking picture now and i feel like an idiot don't pull a vouch i don't have any pornographic pictures on my phone at all so but let's go ahead and just show this Hold on. I, I, I feel like a liar if I didn't show this picture. So let's go ahead and just find it on my iPhone and I'll just flip the phone over. So if you look onto this right here in three seconds, you'll find what I'm referring to. Did I delete it? Did I? De oh, no, it's here. Oh, thank God. Yeah. So this is the peacoat. It's a nice one. It's a nice peacoat. Uh, Lalo learning to ignore my comments already. Smartly, well, maybe it just self deleted. I'm thinking of getting the Adidas track suit. Track suit, okay. I grow a full beard about it, but I feel weird about it. This is RK, cool. Strong jaw, no homo. Yeah, valid. You look gay as fuck in that pic. Well, that's what they see. See, see, here's the thing guys will say I look gay as hell, girls like it. So it's like a zoomer girl thing. And that's what I care about. You know, I, it's not so much what a 30 year old man that I think is more masculine than me thinks, it's more so what a 20 year old girl thinks. And it might seem kind of gay either way you slice it, but it's true. And it's a valid opinion to have, folks. Anyway. Uh, but that is a Tropic reference with the Adidas thing. Yeah, yeah. I just put that together. Picos are the ultimate metrosexual outfit. I think it's like a Robert Pattinson, Batman sort of look. It's perfect. Zoomer girls like metrosexual guys. True. But they think you're cute. Yes. All right. So the Merce comes into play. Do they say they want to fuck you? Well, isn't that kind of forward? If a girl sees a picture and I'm acquaintances with them and they're like, oh, I'm trying to fuck you. What girl says that, by the way? Anyway, okay, moving on. So I get the peacoat. I wear it at CPAC almost the entire trip. It was perfect because obviously it's fucking awesome. 
and uh, I, I can't wear it in Arizona that much because it doesn't get that cold at all. Like the coldest it'll get usually is like 50s. Right now it's March 12th and it was 78 degrees today. So I had to wear a polo shirt. I felt like shit um, because when you wear layers, it can kind of you can just be a little more like loose with your posture. Whereas when I wear only one layer, I'm kind of like fucking kind of there. Admiral Rufus says, I've watched a couple of your videos and gotten a fuel for your politics, but I'm curious what you'd consider yourself, Republican, Libertarian, etc. I'm a paleo conservative, and so that's like in the loose vein of Patrick Buchanan, and I'm a Trump supporter, but dis distracted says, emphasis on pronouncing words stereotype gayish. What does that even mean? I don't understand you. But anyway, moving on. So we do this whole thing of wearing the P code at CPAC the whole time. And what's better than usual about this is that it actually got praise. People were like, that looks cool. And it was cozy and uh, professional looking. And it was perfect. It was like how chubby girls wear blazers because it looks professional and goes with everything. It's the same thing. RK says, uh, uh, RK says imagine a gay Mexican being a Trump supporter. Is there one? Anyway, Giovanna says Trump 2024. Purple heart, blue heart. Yes. Omar sadly says, Lalo, what are your thoughts on Trump clinching the nomination? Well, that's great because it'll help solidify money. So all the time, there have been some donors that would donate to Trump, but found the um, adversaries to be better people or candidates. That doesn't exist anymore. So that contention is gone from the donor list. When Also, when you're looking at the second factor about the nomination, you have to consider that there's an outside chance that Trump gets prosecuted to such an extent that he'll end up actually in a prison cell prior to the election which if that's the case then of course then you know funding somebody in the primary that isn't him seems like a tenable idea well if he's the only option that's gone and so if that's the case then it's over then it's over i mean he's gonna have let's say the 20 percent of people that were funding other folks that's gone now they're gonna be funding donald only and so he's gonna make tens of millions more dollars than he would have been otherwise would have had otherwise and that's perfect for him it's a big win people uh and i personally thought the primary would have been fought out a lot more into the summer but by like july but no actually it ended just now so that's perfect it would have been fought out okay anyway you have a metrosexual max with pea coats turtlenecks and middle part haircuts with sideburns i understand what you're saying animers yeah i see what you're saying you're getting a trump tattoo that's terrible don't do that it's a Chicano thing since Trent about what? Uh, anyway, uh, Admiral Genius, Admiral Grufa says, technically, he's de facto nominee. He's not officially the nominee until the RNC. Yeah, I agree. I know. <clears throat> no, but everything is, is basically locked in. I mean, it's just a formality at this point for him to go to Wisconsin, I believe, which I might be attending, I think, in August. Uh, yeah, so he's going to have that thing going on in Milwaukee, I believe. And that's important because that's a swing state. But anyway, you can see how I'm getting into all these tangents. Coming back to the focal point, not grace, by the way. We're going to get that uh, later on. I'm warming up. So I have the MERS. I get it because of Christmas. This was three or four months ago. I take it. I put it in the closet over here in the corner because I didn't want to wear it. I thought it looked stupid. And also, I didn't get the strap right. I didn't get the uh, like I didn't get the right length for the rope itself or whatever have you. And so it looked stupid. But then I was like, look, um, I was trying to save money. Um, by only getting a, a uh, carry-on in no checked-in bag on the plane to D.C. because I had to pay for it. And so what I was trying to do was trying to just get this uh, – to get get something that they wouldn't like count as a carry-on. So I was like, okay, maybe this will work. And so I did that, and I brought the check-in regardless, so it didn't matter, but I brought it. And so I'm like, well, if I brought it to CPAC, I might as well just carry it with me everywhere because I can I don't have to use my hands with it. I can just have it on me. So it worked like a fanny pack but obviously a lot cooler. And then what happens with that is that you have this like hangover two Zach Galifianakis. It's a it's not a man purse. It's a satchel. I, I had that whole cope. I got roasted endlessly about it. I loved it. I had it in all the pictures I was in. I had it in all these important moments. And the man purse came clutch when it came to carrying spirits around in my bag like it was a fucking Ouija board. I obviously brought certain you know i mean I, I could just bring anything in there it was perfect battery packs my pockets were nice and liberal free gaping pockets i mean i could just breathe in it was perfect and i mean the satchel was just a very important thing so this man purse was really a revolutionary uh perfect perfect idea it was so awesome to think about in hindsight so that's the story of the merce and i'm about to show you the merce in fact it's awesome i'm really happy about it um anyway so let me sign into my iCloud. I have pictures with the Merce. Maybe you guys can see these. I mean, these are 
uh, the pinnacle. It's actually awesome. So let's go ahead and try to sign into my iCloud off screen so I can uh, show you the Merce because people are so fascinated by it. You know, people are going to say it's gay. It really isn't at all. And I mean, it's a Mexican culture thing. And I could dig up vlogs of like YouTubers that have them because I'm right. And that's fucking valid. And I'm awesome. Anyway, I don't know my Apple ID password. So that's not going to be good. Uh, hold on one second. Fuck me. Really? Forgot password on my Apple ID. Dude, this is brutal. They don't want me to win. Um, Admiral uh, Grufa says, is this your first presidential election you're voting in or did you vote in 20? No, this is my first one. I was 17 during that election, so I couldn't do shit. Um, I, yeah, so, but I was super obsessed with the election though. I knew everything as compared to everyone. It was crazy. It was really uh, a sight to behold. I was keeping track of all the fraud narratives, etc. Uh, but let me reset my password. Hold on. Okay. G seven, nine. Let's type this in. Enter the phone number you used with. Dude, the MERS picks are coming at a steep penalty. Jesus Christ. Okay. Reset password. Use this iPhone to reset your password. Allow. Oh my God. Isn't your password Lala123? Yeah, it is. Living La Vida Loca is Ricky Martin song. Yeah, I know. I'll be 19 when the election rolls around. I was just a little bit off for the midterms. That's interesting. Uh, okay. Is okay G79 your password? No, that was the that was the to reset the password. Okay. <laughs> uh Hold on. I'm making a new one. My fucking gosh. Um, it's hard to type and say something at the same time. This is brutal. I don't know how to do it. Wait. Th how are those AZ housing? Pro okay, I changed the password. Okay, finally. Okay, we're back. Okay. Okay, now we can get the MERS picks. We're back. Jesus Christ, man. I almost derailed the entire stream over the Merce, but you know what? It's kind of like a love hate at this point. There's an anime where a guy has uh his hand is like his own enemy. Like he has uh, his left hand has like an eyeball in it, and like it tries to fucking kill him. It's it's really interesting. Um, but anyway, I don't know what it's called. I don't know anything about anime. Actually, I'm not a nerd. I'm not a loser. I don't know about that. What the fuck? What kind of invasive virus was that in my mind? What anime is that? What? What is that? Anyway. Sure, I type this in right. T O R P R G O T. Two factor authentication? And somebody's fucking calling me? Shut the fuck up, dude. Really? Imagine calling me, you bastard. Dude, this is brutal. Anyway, I was watching you type in the password with the reflection in your eye. That's too bad. I think there's an uh, uh there's an app raising prices for apartments. Well, that doesn't really make sense, does it? Okay, password is three nine two seven. All right, perfect. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh my God. Did we finally get it? Trust this browser. There's so much verification. Just let me log into my fucking account. There's nothing that important. It's just the Merce picks. It's not like I have fucking anything crazy. Jesus Christ. Let's go through my fucking iPhotos. Jesus. They really don't want me to win, guys. It, it, it's really that simple. Okay. Okay, Merce gang. Can we get something in here? All right. I found it. Finally. Let me find one where I don't squint. <sighs> Are you not monetized with 2000 subs? I lost, I lost my uh, monetization because I, I called Neon, who's an Arab streamer on kick. I called him a goat fucker as a joke and I got cyberbullying and harassment. And this was like in November. I appealed it in January. They said, no, I get to appeal it again next month and hopefully they will forgive me. But anyway, uh, hold on. Let me make sure I'm not doxing anything. 
I don't think I'm doxing anything when I share this. I really fucking hope not. Okay. So this is this is the Merce in action. <laughs> this is me with Carrie Lake. <laughs> Merce in action. Merce hanging disrespectfully. You know how it be. You know how it is. You know how it is sometimes. Oh my god, that's fucking weird. Honestly, it could only be me that pulls that off, by the way. Holy shit. What else? Let me let me see what else I've got in here. Also, I was getting shit by this girl Grace, obviously, because of my new profile picture on Discord. It was this. Okay. I mean, this is not crazy. This is not like I'm insane. This is not uh, like serial killer. Uh, she told me it was psychotic, which is fucking ridiculous. Of course, that isn't even close to being true. I mean, it's definitely like, am I dead staring the eyes? Yes, like I am staring the camera down. But to be completely true and honest, it doesn't even matter to me because I'm obviously fine. And it seems to me as if it's pretty clear that like this is just masculine. I'm staring at the fucking thing. I'm just staring at it. Um. Anyway, that, that my purse is tiny. Uh. Yeah. Well, my dad said it was big. That's not as bad as I was expecting. True. Grace says I stalk her in a loving way. Says the coop. Okay. Cool. I don't know. You got a schizo stare going on. Yeah. Maybe. That's the O face. What does the O face mean? The lack of a smile and smile not reaching your eyes in general doesn't help. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, I mean, I could have smiled on this one. But, I mean, there's nothing aside from that. It's fine. Yeah, this is not horrible. This is not horrible. Okay, moving on. So, this is the oh shit, I'm getting murdered face. Yeah, maybe. So, here's another thing. I wanted to talk about other pictures with the Merce because I've, I've got plenty. I've got plenty. There's too many of these. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is all my, okay, perfect. Look at this one. So this is me and Michael Knowles. This is a bad picture of me. I didn't take the picture, obviously. It was his bald security guard. As you can see here, uh, the Merce is like the size of like a 14-inch maybe diagonal. It's maybe like an iPad Pro tablet size. I don't like this picture, obviously. I look pretty dark in this one for one. And then two, my, my, I'm, I'm like, I was midway through looking at the camera and looking at somebody past the guy taking the picture. So my fucking face is crooked in this. Did Trump stink? No, his uh, speech was perfect, actually. Um, who mocks who? Well, I look horrible in that pic. I'm not going to fucking lie. Anyway, l look pretty dark. Yeah, I do. I do. I look better here, obviously. Um, what else? What else do we have in here? And I get it. You know, people might say, uh, you bleaching your skin. No, I haven't done that. That's like an Indian thing, I believe. But I, I, I did. That, that does seem kind of like familiar as a term. Yeah, okay. I know people might say like, oh, you know, you're supposed to be talking about grace, but nobody has brought that up yet. Maybe because I'm just good at talking. Maybe that's true. You've got plenty of shit to fall back on. I'm just trying to get into what I was uh, referring to in the first place. So uh, here's another picture I took at, this, at the senator office uh, in DC, if you look here. Uh, so this is awesome. I mean, look, look at the P code in action. Look how well it fits. Look at this. Look at the nice material. I got a taxidermied crocodile behind me or it's an alligator. Next time, take your own lighting. That seems super gay, but that's true. And insofar as the Trump speaking for, he spoke for like an hour and a half. It was pretty good. It was awesome. He's phenomenal in person. Now, I think that was the second time I've heard him and it was really good. He's really funny. Lalo stalling? No, I'm just trying to get, I'm already on my uh, camera roll. I just want to show you guys something. Okay, here's another thing I got shit on for by the gray server is this picture right here. So as you, if, as you guys can see, um, this is not, I, was, I, I meant to put this on my Instagram, but I forgot to put it in there. But I was kayaking in Phoenix. Well, canoeing, or is it kayak? I don't know. There's some shitty four foot deep uh, lake, artificial pond or whatever. And obviously I go uh, paddle boarding in this thing, or I don't even know what you call it. It's a white invention. I don't know. I'm not familiar, but they took a fucking screenshot of my hand thumbs up and they have it as an emo in the grace discord. Now this is somewhat absurd and never mind that I look like a French pedophile with this outfit on. I mean, it's a little crazy. Don't you think you could drown in a four foot lake? I mean, if you're drunk, <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, how many Sleepy Joe jabs? Plenty. Plenty. On point politics. What's going on? Yo, what's up, dude? Uh, we're going through. So there's a there's this girl that I had this like e relationship with kind of for a hot minute, almost a year ago. Who's crazy? Who has like an incest rumor with her family? And uh, that's good content, of course. And she recently went on a, went on a podcast with uh with Keemstar with like four thousand live viewers, or was it three point eight thousand? And uh, she said she talked about her story. Well, part of it, she left out a lot. By the way, just just to be completely clear. I'm very giddy, but yeah. Did she leak the dancing video yet? She Oh, Char. No, she was. Okay. Grace was trying to gaslight me into thinking there was a video of me blackout drunk at Christmas dancing on a chair, but that wasn't actually true. She was trying to gaslight me because she thought that if I was blacked out, I would have misremembered. She's like, yeah, one of your cousins found my channel and then DM me like, no, that's not fucking true. None of them speak English. How the fuck would they find Grace Thorpe? That's just retarded. So, no, there was no dancing video. Nothing I did, blacked out, ever has been on video. Yeah, yeah, I, I really do. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Grace pulls all sorts of stunts on me. It's fucking insane. Ron DeSantis Croc? What do you mean? French Indian? Who, me? No. Hold on. Grace Bro says Edsel? Yeah. A long, long time ago. I mean, it's like Star Wars with the opening crawl, you know. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Wait, what the fuck says on point politics? I mean, this was part of the lore. Is he coming out the closet? I'm out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no. Uh, breaking news. Although be becoming mainstream. Oh, that dude. That's not okay. That's nothing. You know, I was on the Red Eagle stream with like 20,000 live viewers like five years ago. Who cares? You know, it, what sucks is that I had a lot of opportunities to get big in the 2020 election, but I was too much of a baby to like capitalize on it because I was like too young. I didn't know what I was doing. And also my voice was really fucked. Like it was really, really like uh, my balls hadn't like my balls dropped when I was 12. But like it didn't sound like that until I was uh, until like a year ago, maybe. And that's somewhat pathetic. But I had an epiphany in my first semester of last year. No, sorry. January of 2022, I think it was or 23. Yes. January of 23. I'm like, wait, I'm the main character in this bitch. This was in one of my classes in the first day of the semester. You'll have a middle-aged professor making six figures who himself has been teaching for like 15 years and tries to conjure up like, hey, everybody introduce yourselves. And he's too much of a pussy to even ask that. So I, at the end of the class, I'm like, okay, I stand up and, I'm like, and there's a hundred people in the lecture. I'm like, look, how about we all say something that makes you interesting as a person in one sentence? And they were like, <gasps> and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm taking the realms. I'm becoming him. I'm done. Okay. Uh, Lethal Brawler says, yo, it's the Chad Mestizo griper leader. Just kidding. Okay. So I know where it says, did people hear about the drunken man kissing video his cousin filmed when he was in Mexico? That's hilarious. That was an American Pie song reference, but Star Wars works too. Oh, interesting. Okay. That was before my time. You know, I saw American Pie, the one where like the girl leaves her webcam on and like she gets nude and the guys in the high school are watching, I think. That was like 20 years ago. Um, I saw that in high school. And, you know, I remember because my parents used to have a webcam on their desktop computer. It was an HP Pavilion, like 2007. And it had like a fucking, like an eyeball. Like it looked like an eye socket. It was crazy. So that was before my time, obviously. Lalo, what if they dig up your three or four or wifey videos and try to cancel you when you run for office? Okay, so here's the thing. First of all, that is a bad look for sure, but it doesn't really mean it's a deal breaker. Like if somebody already likes me, and they're professional in the way that they think, that's not going to change their mind. Plus, everybody who's seen it in person, even though I haven't consented, some of my acquaintances have been like, do you, do you know Lala is a YouTube channel? Do you want to watch it? And then everybody thinks it's funny because clearly it is and it's awesome. But I just don't think it's going to be a hindrance because I think my content's fucking funny. And I mean, it's one thing if you're like a 40-year-old creeper talking about 20-year-old girls and whether or not they're wife equality. But if you're 20 and you look like me, I don't think it's that disconcerting. And it's not like I'm saying anything that crazy that would get me canceled. You know, if I were using slurs or denying the holocaust, you know, that obviously that's like really dumb, but I haven't done that. And so clearly, why would I get canceled over what? Like, Lolo, you, you rated a TikTok e-girl a 10 out of, or, you know, a, a seven when, you know, it doesn't matter. Or even the Grace stuff. People will be like, oh, aren't you going to get canceled for Grace? It's like, why? Like, they're going to be like, oh, you were friends with some bitch that had an incest rumor years ago? Why would people care? That's fucking funny. 
who honestly gives a shit? I don't play a deciding role on whatever inequities happen in her life. Therefore, why would it be my problem? I mean, people don't view it that way. I don't view it that way. And that's the way it ought to play out because clearly I'm innocent uh, by any standard. I'm him. And that's the way I'm going to play it. Your voice cracks when you get excited. Well, that shows character. Yeah, real. My voice just dropped a year ago also before my voice sounded like a 13-year-old Californian. Well, same here. Uh, you're Okay. By that time, it'll be based as Solar Select. Well, that's what I'm saying. Okay, George Santos got canceled for spending his campaign funds on OnlyFans. Had he done anything less than that, but still degenerate bullshit, he would have gotten away with it. So, like, if he had an OnlyFans account and didn't have people pay for it on his behalf through fundraising and embezzling the money or whatever, then he would have been fine. So, if I do anything that's less bad than that, then I'm good. Like, as long as I'm not in a porn, and even then, if you're a guy in a porn, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. So, as long as I'm not doing that, then I'm good, folks. So, I mean, just think about it logically really like what are they gonna fucking cancel me for oh you were doing locker room talk okay but it's fucking funny or what they're gonna say again oh you had this fling with some bitch okay so what dude i mean everybody's young and hormonal i don't get you know it's it's fine it's chill and like i was gonna say everybody in 20 years when i'm a senator or whatever that's gonna be common and i mean it's not that common but it, i just need a couple other people to fall on the sword before it becomes a normal thing and i'll be good Think about the politicians nowadays, okay? The youngest politicians are in their 40s, pretty much, okay? So these people grew up before the internet, whereas obviously in 15 years, when people my age are in politics, they're going to have their Xbox Xbox Live chats where they scream the N-word or whatever. Those are going to leak. Their old YouTube videos where they use the, the F-slur, that's all going to release. It doesn't matter to me. They're going to be under the same scrutiny as I. What are they going to do? Get rid of every politician that has had an internet backtrack uh, footprint? That's retarded. That's like if you had the Hunger Games and got rid of everybody who wasn't a tribute or uh, one of these like elite, you know, people that worked their whole life to become a tribute. I mean, it wouldn't be sustainable at that point because the people in District 12, for instance, those didn't have the money to train and whatnot. So then you don't have a Hunger Games. And so you won't have a political system if you cancel everybody who's done the stuff that I've done or something adjacent to it. Uh, thoughts on Stoneface face docs? I don't know what he looks like. I, I never thought about that. Did your mom ever leave it on? Leave what on? Um, Blake Masters did worse stuff when he was in college. Well, didn't he wear like an Indian suit or whatever? I would have to look into that, but yeah. Lalo, can you review the Amanda hookup? Also, keep in mind, a lot of what people do to cancel somebody in the past is based off stuff that they do later. So for example, if you did something to a girl that was untoward 20 years ago, you're still likely to do that thing. Whereas if I make like college level, like roast of girls, my own age, 20 years ago, they're not going to give a shit because unless I just do the same videos for the next 20 years, which I obviously won't. So at that point, what are they going to say? Like, Oh, he was a douchebag in college. Okay. I mean, we already all know this. Can you see Santos running in New York's first district this year? I've heard rumblings about that, but I don't follow politics closely enough to know, but I would love for him to run because I think he's an awesome politician. What I mean is that like personality wise, he's a killer, like charisma, wit, he's got it. He, he has a lot of the same characteristics as Milo Yiannopoulos. And I think that guy's really profoundly funny and he had a great run of it in 2017. And so I think that sort of vibe is really cool. Sure. Is he like this homosexual or whatever? Sure. But I met him in DC last year and he was really cool. I'll be it with makeup on by the way and lifts. And he was already 6'3", so it's like, bro, please. Like, if you're over six foot, don't put on lifts. Wear flats. Help me out. Politics will probably change as more Gen Z starts to vote. The internet is favor forever, but people's ideas about how serious it is might change. Obviously, yes. Yeah, no shit. Obviously. Again, I haven't done anything that's that crazy. That I haven't done anything that's that crazy. Seriously. Like, would my grandmother be like, oh, my God. Yeah, but that's my grandmother, okay? My grandmother, and again, I, I hope she does live another 30 years, but in 30 years, her crop of people won't be around. And that sounds really fucked up, but that sort of like uh, 1940 sort of vibe, that's not going to be there. So, like, this puritanical point of view is really just not going to be a factor. <clears throat> uh, Nicholas Cage says, Lamau, yeah, what's up? Omar sadly says, this is a good tangent. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. And, you know, I watch every single Grey stream, well, basically all of them, and I'll watch how much anxiety she has when streaming, whereas I'm over here, I'm not even addressing the topic that's going on because I'm talking about my own shit, and I'm just cooking, and I'm doing whatever I want, and I think that's actually kind of cool, but 
Um, RK says, is Amanda even content anymore? I thought Cormac's your bander. Wait, did I skip a message? Joshua X says, Lalo, can you review the Amanda hookup? Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Can we get the likes up? We have 13 likes from what I can see. We should get that. We have 28 people watching. Get that to 25. If not, I'm going to have to go Darth Vader on the fucking chat. Just be like, Ugh. okay. Anyway, so to recap the, oh, we're at 32. What's up, baby? So. Uh, to recap the Amanda hookup, so I rizzed. Okay, so there's this like perverted Jewish guy in Nevada. I'm not saying that's a pejorative, but I'm just being descriptive. Hence why I said Nevada. He's from there. Not that it really matters. Instead, but actually, yeah, it does because he's in Las Vegas, I think. Like, not the strip, of course, but like someplace, you know, like maybe like a thousand acres away. I don't know. But he lives in uh, Las Vegas. I've been there when I was 16. It was a great time. I love Las Vegas. It was so cool. It was so fucking cool. I, I can show some pictures from Las Vegas. It was so cool. But anyway, it was around the time the song goes like, ooh, blinding lights. I can't feel you. It's so beautiful. So that was the vibe. He's from that town, by the way, Las Vegas. So of course, there's a ton of strip clubs, a lot of casinos, plenty of pussy. Like if I were me, and look, this Hormaxer guy, by the way, is 47 years old. So, I mean, you would assume... That if he's an attractive guy in shape, he would get a lot, of, a lot. But instead, I think he's relegated to a bunch of maybe cougars uh, at at swing clubs, which is brutal to think about. Fuck me. Is that okay? Okay, my lighting, my my lamp fell. Anyway, so I'm fine. So moving on. So this Hormax your guy is in Las Vegas, and what was I even talking about? Oh, oh, okay. He has a live stream, uh, which gets like about like 70 viewers per thing. So he's got his own little juice going. And this guy will have girls like send their panties in the mail to him. And he's like really horny all the time. And at first I thought, wow, this guy's disgusting. Put him down. But then later you kind of get fond of the guy. It's kind of like, okay, he's funny. He's a caricature of a horny guy. It's like quag quagmire, but like not funny. <laughs> so, I mean, that's basically it. I mean, if you were to form an ad libs or like you could really get a chat GPT software to really just like print out a Hormax or stream, just insert what name. And then you're going to get basically 80% of the script right there in the AI. So, I mean, the guy's a funny caricature of a person that's horny. Anyway, so this guy is coming around and uh, has this girl, Amanda, on. Now, Amanda is a girl that lives in Scottsdale, North Scottsdale. I was there for an event uh, last year, so I know where that is. It's beautiful, very uh, rich, very bougie. Anyway, so I live like two hours away from there, maybe give or take 15 minutes. And so, I mean, like if I really wanted to, I could go. But anyway, he's raising up some girl and Hormaxer, for whatever reason, he'll bring up Grace Thorpe, Ben Thorpe, me sometimes for no reason. And I don't even know why, aside from the fact that I'm better looking than him, younger, have the same body count, yet obviously have had like 25 less years of actively trying to get laid to show for it. And so I think he's kind of jealous of me because I am like a complete douchebag, completely up my own ass, just completely unpalatable to a lot of folks. But then, so Hormaxer comes into the picture because he's talking to this girl, Amanda, which Joshua just commented about. So Amanda is this girl who's like 47 or something blonde big titty white girl tight as tight as a 50 year old can get by the way and i mean she's got her thing going on and maybe if joshua can link her channel i could review it real quick so you guys know what she looks like but i mean for her age she's like an eight or a nine she's actually really hot for 50 and that hasn't stopped me in the past by the way regrettably but anyway uh so yes yeah, she looks good for her age personally I, I i view cougars as like a last resort like i would never actively seek out an older woman because I just don't find them that attractive. I cannot really love an older girl. You know what I mean? But like clearly a nut's a nut, so to speak. And if I'm on Spirit Airlines and they're offering me a snack and I'm hungry, I'm going to take it. So <laughs> so these are some good peanuts at a shitty airline. And so here we go. And there's this bitch from Arizona uh, calling into the Nevada nigga. What's his name? Uh, Poor Maxer. And so he goes in and he's raising her up. And he's talking shit about me. He's like calling me a garden gnome or something like a like a, like a bean something. And clearly, I'm not the most offended at racial stuff. But I'm like, okay, he's trying to dab on me. Well, fuck you. I'm going to call in. So I called in. I rizzed her up enough. Mind you, this girl's like actually psychotic. She's trying to sleep with him. And so she's like actively getting into like BDSM kink or whatever. And I find that stuff atrocious and gross. But I'm a little innocent angel, apparently. So basically, what then happens is that she is agreeing to meet up with him like in the near future. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to fuck this guy over because clearly I'm better looking. All I have to do is just be okay at talking to her and she'll agree to fuck me because she's available. And so I go in there and she agrees to meet up with me and everything. 
And I don't follow through with that because obviously, and it's not like I told her I was on my way, by the way, I was just, I just didn't follow through. Like we, you know, it was small talk after, but you know, because she wanted me to like do all this, like, you know, tie me up. Will you like control me? And I don't think that's cool personally. And I've seen like a, the first third of the 50 shades of gray. So I get what she's talking about, but I'm definitely not that. And I'm too young for it, to be honest. I just don't, I like, you know, when I'm 30 and I get bored of like vanilla stuff, clearly putting sprinkles in that shit, putting pistachios even, I mean, you can contemplate these things, but whereas I'm not even having enough ice cream, vanilla is just fine for me. And so that's what I want. Nothing crazy. And so, but she wants this crazy shit. She's like, well, don't talk to me unless you're going to do X. And I'm like, bro, wait, what the fuck? Wait, hold on a second. Tying you up. I don't know anything about that. I don't even know how to tie a rope. Like, actually, I've never done that before. I don't know. I know how to tie my shoe and that's it. So it's insane. Like, if I try to hang myself, I wouldn't even know how to do it, frankly. So that's how you know I'm going to live forever. But anyway, so I blow her off. And so people are like, Lalo, why are you such a bitch? Why are you scared of clam? Why are you scared of pussy? And it's like, I'm not. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm me. I, I have, I, you know, it's, it's weird to say if you have a low libido or just if you have a good control over your lust. But I did do some reading into, I think it was Arthur Schopenhauer or one, one of those guys in Europe. He said something along the lines of virility being a vice and a false sense of aggressiveness and achievement. And so I read into that a, a while ago, and I think that informs the way I treat women now, where, you know, you could have a sense of achievement by like sleeping with girls, but realistically speaking, past a certain point, it's point it's pointless because again, you get, you know, lust is basically a divination from the natural urge imposed by God, I, I would assume to, you know, make babies, but clearly most sex isn't procreative and that's kind of fucked up, isn't it? So if that's the case, then, you know, for me to want to just sleep around is pointless. Obviously you got to like learn a little bit. So you're not a complete novice because if you tell a girl at a college party that you're a virgin, that's gross, right? That's like, Oh no, I don't know. That's a little, it's a little tough, but so like, I understand like breaking your tires a little bit or breaking in the gloves, so to speak, so you can work it. But I mean, at a certain point, you're just going to strain your hand from doing all this fucking movement. And so that's the analogy. So I just thought like, okay, look, I, for a girlfriend that's 20, I'm not going to need to tie her up. I don't need the experience with that cougar to like dominate a girl later. Maybe could that be useful? Sure. But like, I don't want to know. So that's that. If she said like, Hey, by the way, uh, if you drive up here, you can do whatever you want, then okay, no expectations. But if she's going to put all these things on me, whereas I actually have no experience, then I'm going to make an ass out of myself and it's not going to look good. So that's my basic point. But 10 minute diatribe out of the way. Let's uh, catch up with chat. Whoops. Would you agree using a drinking straw looks gay? No, it doesn't. Santos filed paperwork. That's cool. Do you think he'll win? Did you just say you don't follow politics closely? No, I don't. You know, with politics, you really only need to know a certain amount until it's kind of superfluous. Um, like, for example, I know, like, uh, at my club, I know less politics than most of the people there, just like contemporary stuff. But yet I come off better and more knowledgeable because I'm just smarter. And so that's what you need, basically. Like once you get to a certain point, you need to know, you don't need to know everything. And mind you, I've read hundreds of books about politics, history throughout high school and whatnot. So I do know more than everybody. But at the same time, insofar as like congressional races right now, it just doesn't fucking matter too much. You know, like I followed like 20 races in 2020. How many of them actually mattered? Maybe like four of them. So like to know all this shit doesn't matter in the long term. So that's why like, oh, George Santos is running. I mean, that doesn't really matter too much. That's just me being uh, experienced in politics, but yeah. Laughs at 6-1. Well, fuck you, Grufus. Did you, uh, time for tall men to wear lifts despite Lalo? No. Nicholas Cage says he's 6-1 and often feels like a manlet. Um, okay, well, you're stupid. Rule number one, only hang out with people shorter and uglier than you? No. The way I see it is that ideally you would hang out with people that are like, like, a little bit less good looking than you are. And then clearly you're going to have a good looking group and also be the best looking of the group. That's the ideal. Clearly. Five, seven King reporting in since Ed Solia. What's up? Who sings better? Me or Grace is distracted. That's a good question. Grace is a decent singer, but the way like the charisma she puts into it is like very white girl, very disconcerting. I don't know what to think about that. Anyway. Most of the men in your family are 6'5 or 6'6. Six, six, six. Well, my family, um, the average height in my family is like 5'6 to 5'9. And so I'm right, I'm right at home. So 
those swing clubs are full of beat up pussy. Well, that's what I'm saying. Obviously, like the sort of pussy you're getting at a swing club. I've never looked into it, but I'm assuming it's a bunch of like chubby 50 year old women. And frankly, I don't want to be a part of that. And granted, I could like I thought about it like because I was watching a stream. I'm like, well, if he's doing it, then clearly I would do a lot better at it. But like even then, that still doesn't seem like cool. Like, okay, so I'm going to do stuff with, like, a bunch of middle-aged women while their husbands are watching in the corner. That's, like, really disconcerting. I would never do that. That's gross. And plus, the women aren't even hot. Like, if it was, like, okay, like, if it's, like, A-Rod and, like, J-Lo and, you know, he's watching, you know, maybe then. But, it, like, if the, if the cougar's not even hot, then what the fuck's the point is my opinion. You were associating yourself with too many degenerates. Even being around that dude will make you look bad. No, because I've never, I've never affirmed him. Like if I'm on a panel disagreeing with him, it doesn't matter. So no. Okay. Hold on. Well, was a milf hunter. Not really. He was straight up being racist. Lol. Who me? Uh, I mean, no Hormax or yeah. Lalo, when you stream next time, can I invite Amanda and Grace on stream? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. I, I really can only stream late night or in certain times when my dad isn't home because they don't know about my YouTube channel. So I have to have a segment in time where I can be in my room. Also, so nobody wanting my attention. For example, if my dad just called me up and said, hey, I need you for something for 20 minutes, I would have to end the stream because like I wouldn't have an excuse. So, I mean, that's what holds me back from streaming more often. Lalo's the most race realist Mexican ever. Yeah, almost. Also... Okay. He's definitely super Mexican, but he has a white person skull geometry and he's very proud of it. Yeah, I was told that, that I have a white person skull. I, 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 I can see why they say that. Why did you ask Grace to take her shirt off just to stare? Yeah, I'm getting to it. Cap Law is a total spurg. No. Okay, so when, when you talk to normal people, I mock them in terms of political acumen, clearly. But insofar as... Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I don't, I don't, okay, how do I say it? It's like if you're an NFL historian, so you know everything about the Super Bowls like ever since the 70s, you know a lot, but maybe you don't watch football every Sunday. That's me. So like I know a lot of like the past several decades of politics, but I don't follow the contemporary politics that much, to be honest. All right, so should we get to the gray stuff at this point? Are we good? Folks, are we good? Let's make sure I'm not missing anything. My back hurts like crazy, by the way. Holy shit. I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm checking the, the the Grace Discord real quick. Hold on. This is just too fascinating. Okay. You have to keep in mind these people break my balls constantly, and it's so funny. Lala, mod me, and I will sweep for you. Well, I don't need a mod, so don't worry. Maybe cash at me. It's My cash app is in the description. You give me 10 bucks, and I'll mod you. How about that? Anyway, do I have any other photos to show you guys? Um, I've been growing a garden as well. So let's show you the garden picks because, I mean, these are going to go fucking hard. Once these grow, I started this like almost two weeks ago. Let's see what we have here for you today. So this was, mind you, I live in a pretty, uh, hold on. So lo and behold, the garden. So this was the garden before. So it's pretty unkempt. Like there, we had a basketball hoop here and it fell and I haven't been able to take it apart. Cause I need like a certain uh, type of like a screw, not a screw, but like the reverse of it. I don't, I don't remember what you call it. Like a wench. No, not even that. I don't know, but I need to take it apart at some point. It's been there for a while, but yeah. So there was a lawn here and then, uh, we put a water slide in here. So then the, the lawn kind of got felted. And then, uh, so then it's, it's just like sparse bullshit in here. I had a garden in here like four or five years ago, but uh, that fell off because what happened is that I went to a trip to Mexico one time and I left fertilizer. Like I really used, I used expired fertilizer on all the plants and it killed all of them, which broke my heart. Obviously that was fucking ridiculous. I spent so many months on it too. It was really just pissed me off. Ben Thorpe's prison yard looks better. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. Let's show some more pics. All right. So this is after me planting half of it. You're retarded, Lil. Shut the fuck up. Okay. So if you look here, I built a trench. So we've got watermelons up the wazoo. We have cantaloupes and we've got uh, beets. We have carrots. We have uh, spinach. We have cabbage. We have all sorts of shit. Bustin'. We have jalapenos lined against the walls here. 
We have a couple apple trees, a pear tree, a peach tree, an orange tree. So, I mean, it's all bussing. It's all coming imminently. This is so Mexican. Yeah, you tell me about it. So that's the garden update. It's looking great, as expected. I'm going to show some more garden pics. Okay, so look at this. You see this? So, I mean, this is really ghetto, but I mean, you can see what I'm going for here. Uh, stick to the layer stuff. What does that mean? What layer stuff? I grew some peppers and tomatoes this summer. Well, that's good. I, I, I think it's a good look. Like, clearly, I don't give a shit about vegetables or anything, but I think it's cool to see them grow and whatnot. It's like having kids, I guess. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm like a white woman with her dog. Oh, my God. It's like having a kid. Oh, my God. Okay, let, 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 is there any other pictures I wanted to show y'all? Let's make sure I'm not missing anything, folks. Here's another thing. So I eat some gua uh, guacamole. I'm a fucking idiot. No, it's uh, I eat some more of this guacamole. Um, Grace alleges that I scammed her for like, you know, like $25 or whatever. Because I said I was allergic and that I might have to go to the hospital if I eat guacamole. And then it turned out that I didn't, but that I had some irritation in my lips and I was like teary eyed and I, I hurt a lot. Okay, so that was legitimate. I didn't scam her. I'm just tougher than I thought I was, like Kelly Clarkson level of just like complete Hulk nigga status. And she got mad at me. But so, I mean, this I ate at Chipotle uh, last month and it wasn't horrible, to be honest. Chipotle's fire. I went a decade without trying Chipotle because I thought like it's sacrilegious to my heritage to try it. But it's actually really good. And mind you, Mexican food, like the authentic type is still great, but it's also kind of... I, I would say it's pretty cool. I, I don't know. It's like adjacent to it. What else do I have uh, for you guys today? Let's see. Let's see what else I can show you. You don't have a green thumb? Well, fuck you. Um, uh, Mexican that's allergic to aguacates. I know. Wait, RK, are you a Mexican as well? Um, if you could choose the Republican nominee, any current rep politician, who would you pick? Um... That's a good question. Okay. VP for so elected politician. I like Josh Hawley. I like Tom Cotton. Tom Cotton's good on everything. People will say foreign affairs, but I think he's based on foreign affairs, frankly. You know, neocons get too much hate, to be honest. Okay, let me see. Let me see what else I can show you guys. Real quick. Let's let's dig. Hmm. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. All right. Let me, you know, I'm trying to see because there's a ton of bangers in here. I just don't know. Okay, here's one. Okay, I spent the better part of like five years trying to find this fucking meme and then I found it. You see this? What do you guys think about this? This is like so funny to me. Like, look, just look at this fucking nigga. Dude, this guy's like three foot tall. Like, it's hard to believe this is even real. Like, I doubt it's even real. Like, where, where is the penis? Where is, like, how come his leg atrophies in this point right here? Like, towards the upper middle? It, I, I just don't even know. And, like, given his size, that Uzi is, that Mac 10 is straight up, like, 40 pounds. Like, if you were to scale it to his size. Also, I mean, the mismatching socks, too. I mean, it's an insane thing to look at for the, I mean, just, just I mean, it's, it's fucking nuts, frankly. And it's hard to fathom. I mean, this guy's a human being, like alive, sentient. It's nuts. Okay, but anyway, he has a shrunken head. Obviously edited. Well, fuck you for ruining the surprise. Yeah, who knows? Okay, uh, let's review some more. I don't, I don't know if I have anything else to show you in respect to the iCloud. Let's see. Uh, hold on. Okay, see, I do have the pictures of me blacked out that my mom took. No, my sister took. Yeah, Grace doesn't have shit. I have it all in here, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I won. I won. Nobody's seeing this shit. Ain't nobody gonna see this shit. It's like Project X, but it's like Project Spank. <laughs> Yo, that's so funny. Holy shit. It's warped. American culture. The evolution of man. These are so embarrassing. I like literally fucking puked on myself. <laughs> I puked on myself. What the fuck? Nobody's going to see this too. This is so funny. Oh, shit. You like Glenn Youngkin? Yeah, that's a great. That's a good option, actually. I forgot. 
Langford fucking sucks, by the way. Rand Paul sucks too. He's a bitch. He got belted by Donald Trump. There's plenty of subject material there. Look at, okay, look at my dinner for New Year's, by the way. Imagine blacking out after eating this shit. Look, look how fire this is. Look at just look how look at look at the meat, by the way. Just look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. Look at that fucking meat. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Isn't it so gorgeous to you? <gasps> no, but like seriously though, it's awesome. New York man, yo, what's up, Kevin? Never trust Grace. Yeah, real. Anybody who <laughs> gets involved with the Thorps loses. Um, Grace has been good to me, to be honest, like more than anybody else, frankly. She's she, Grace. Look, I'll, I'll give her credit. She's helped me as much as she has been able to. She's hooked me up with a lot. She has tried to help me. So we like Grace, folks. Uh, what else? Fuck me. Wait. Anything else in here? Can you call in, Kevin? If if I get a twenty dollar cash app, I'll let Kevin call in. <laughs> For the people that don't know who Kevin is, he's like a guy who sounds like this, and he's like humans and X. Lolo, I got Adderall today. Lolo, I'm talking to this girl on a Discord. That's how he talks. So $20 cash app and I'll let him call because I got a grift. Okay. Let's see what else. Do you guys want to see a Mexican bathroom, by the way? Look at this shit. Look at this fucking Mexican bathroom. Look at this fucking bathroom. It's supposed to be rustic on purpose, but like even still, it looks like the, it looks like if you made a balloon knot out of an anus. You know what I mean? It's like moist critical, no worse. Buddy, this restaurant was fire, by the way. Then look at this. This was on the wall. This is the art by the stall. Look at this shit. It looks like a big shit. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, let's see what else we've got in here. Um... Oh yeah, this is the horror maxer guy. So I called him while I was uh, so Grace wanted to meet up with him at some point when she was being manic when her dad left her. And this is the guy we're talking about, horror maxer. And I was so grossed out. And mind you, I'm at the resort in uh, Mazdaklan, and I took time out of my day. Look, my phone was almost dead. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna spend five minutes and gunk guard, and I'm I'm gonna shit on this nigga because he was talking shit about me. I don't remember what it was for, or even if he was, but I'm just assuming he was. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to dab on Whoremaxer. So I go in there and I own him, actually. I wonder if that uh thing is there. I'm off. Good stream. Yeah, thank you, Admiral. Yeah, but look at that. So this is the competition. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, so that was cool. I wonder if I can find that stream. I completely owned him. That was awesome. Okay, what else? Didn't Grace lick her panties on stream for his for this guy? Yeah, see, this is why, this is why, like, the whole, like, loving grace thing was, like, you know, it's, like, it's, it's a fucking mess, bro. That's a mess. Like, I cannot live with myself. That's on the internet forever, dog. That's, like, fucking gross. And she'll still defend that, like, oh, I, ah! it's, like, no, fuck you, fuck you, bitch. You know, you know that 13-year-old black kid from the movie It when he kills the cow with, like, that fucking nail gun? It's, like, bitch, you look panties for this guy? Are you kidding me? That's crazy. Because, I mean, has she done more for me? Yes, but the fact that she even gave him half of that is still gross. So when I was at this beach resort, uh, when I was at the at the at the Mexican beach, when I got stung by the stingray, this is the this is like what I drank. So when I got st stung by the stingray, I had like eight of these vodka drinks, tequila, Paloma, Sex on the Beach, Screwdriver. I had like eight of these, so it didn't hurt as much. In fact, I was so drunk when I was swimming in the ocean that I thought that I got pinched by a crab. So I was chill. And then, you know, I, I, I was like, ah, and then my sister, my sisters were like, okay, what happened? I'm like, I got pinched by a crab. And like, oh, that sucks. And then I was like feeling myself bleeding in the ocean, like five feet deep. And I'm like, fuck, ow, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Why is it hurting? And then I, I like put my foot up and it's bleeding like crazy. I'm like, shit, it was a stingray, but I was too drunk to notice. And so they had to suck the blood out. They had to suck the blood out with a syringe, like no anesthetics. They got a quart, like two ounces of water they had from like a soda bottle and they put it to clean off the sand and the, the lifeguards got an empty syringe, 
put it into my foot, pressed it on my wound, like, like this, like that, just sucking blood. And it felt like poison. It was like, it was burning like a hot Cheeto cocktail. Fucking disgusting. Arch Stingray is deadly. Yeah, if you don't get the venom out, it's deadly. It's brutal. It was fucking brutal, man. The good thing I was, I was intoxicated, okay? Because otherwise I would have been bitching. I would have been crying. It was so bad. Yeah, but these were like the sort of drinks you'd get for free. These were fucking awesome. Look at this shit. See, this is why vacationing in Mexico is worth it. That's another thing, by the way. Grace offered to go on a trip with me. She wanted to fly me out to Rhode Island, and then we could do a, a vlog or like a stream in Europe. And I said no so I could be with my family, so I could have some of these uh, on the house. And, I mean, do I regret that? No, but, I mean, that's just funny to, I mean, to contrast it. But again, the fact that Grace even offered that to me is really nice. So like she's she's a great uh great friend for that, but uh Anyway, I was clean shaven for Christmas. Let me let's look at some of these picks. My selfie game is very mediocre, honestly. It's it's really mid. Well, let's see if I can pull this up. Yeah, this is so bad. This is so bad. Uh, you know, this is this is a different aesthetic. I don't know. I just don't look as old. I don't know if that's a good thing because I am twenty. Did I have sexual relations with Grace? Kind of. So I mean, this is the the look from three months ago. I don't know if that was ideal. But uh, yeah, you could debate it. Aryan, Aryan, how, nigga? <laughs> I'm not even white. Uh, okay, what else do we have in here? It depends on the picture. I'm like three skin tones different, depending on the angle. It's it's, it's really odd. But uh, let me see. Let me see what else. Yeah, because I mean, I just I don't know what looks gayer. Like if you look at these pictures. So I mean, look at these. I don't know. I'm missing context. Today. Wait, watching Destiny turned me into a complainer. Also, uh, like when what context? Spanish blood, so white enough. Um, what are you white? Uh, I I'm like fifty percent European, I suppose. You know, like I have a sister that looks white, another one that's a lighter brown, and I'm the darkest, obviously. I have a dad that's brown, a mom that looks white. And also, by the way, this is awesome. I, I think this is only in Mexico. Dude, this is fucking awesome. Sky Cosmo Vodka. This is amazing. This shit, my cousin got it for me. Gas. Fucking awesome. This is so good. This beats, and again, I'm a simp for Mike's Hard Lemonades and stuff like this. You know, like the step above White Claws. But this is peak. This, like I could actually chug this. With like beer, I can chug it, but I'm like, I'm forcing myself to, but this is perfect. This, what flavor? I think it's cranberry. Yeah, because this one says uh, Cerdano or whatever, which I think is Spanish for cranberry. But it's so good. Sky Vodka Cosmo flavor. It is so fucking good. It's 5% alcohol, but it's actually amazing. I mean, it also gives the 2012 college girl vibe, which I have a fetish for. I cannot tell you why, but it is so fucking hot to me. It is so hot to me. Look at this shit. So fucking fire. It is so good. It is so fucking yummy. Like, I could drink that like water, which is saying a lot. Because otherwise, I'd be drinking a Four loco, coping like Darius. That motherfucking Darius. Okay, now look at my Christmas dinner, folks. This is the wine I was having. It looked like apple piss, uh, the ribs, mashed potatoes. I mean, it was so good. Char says, yeah, you look about 24, maybe 26 with the facial hair. Not in a bad way, though. No homo. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Grace thought I was 23 or 4 when she met me, and I was clean shaven. And most people, when I ask them how old I look, they say early 20s. So, I mean, that's probably where you want to be at. Maybe you want to look late 20s, ideally, to the just to appeal to most of the uh, people. I used to uh, bring shitty flavored vodka to my ex's roommate so she'd leave and we could fuck. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Lalo looks like a baby. Fuck you, bitch. Going down to the Ciudad de Mexico. Oh, you're Mexican? Cool. Um, 
I'm Mexican, but I identify as black. So distracted. Why? You know, I had a friend, Elijah, uh, in grade school, like elementary, and he was half black, half uh, Mexican. And he would cap a lot for one, but two, he brought a fucking Glock to kindergarten because some kid made fun of him. So, I mean, like, I don't have a good history with those, but that was one of my best friends growing up. That th that food looks white as fuck, but not bad. True. Blexican says, Omar, you're half black. Can see your toes. Oh, wait, whoops. I didn't mean to play that. <laughs> oh, I don't want to play. This is another one where I'm blacked out. So at Christmas, I had... 16 beers or something because they had something called pacifical light that tasted like water so it didn't really taste bad but i uh so i had 16 of them because it was only three percent alcohol so it was really like i didn't feel anything until i was like eight beers in and so like by then it's already too late bro and that's the bad thing about you know when you black out is that you don't really know until it's too late no your friend elijah's blexican yeah would you rather be Indian or East Asian? East Asian. 16 beers? Hell no. You'd be pissing every 10 minutes. Well, that's the thing. I do piss a lot. That Grace knows that. When I met her the last time in October, I pissed myself like easily so many times. I pissed myself so many times. I was pissing like every 15 minutes with Grace. But I'm going the fuck off. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, it was a it was a crazy time. I blacked out on eight shots of tequila and a whole bottle of wine. Damn, I threw up like three drinks yesterday. He, he's making me nauseous. How'd you throw up on only three? Are you like really small? Are you a girl or something? No. Okay, so this is the beer I was talking about. It's uh, uh Pacifico Mazatlan Sinaloa Suave, three point two percent alcohol. So I drank sixteen of these or whatever. So look at these. This is this is the alcohol I'm talking about. Um, it's delicious. Yeah, it, it, it's not that bad. You know, I hate beer, but that wasn't that bad. Now, people, you know, people talk about tortas in the sector. This is the tortas I would have. Look how fucking delicious this is. Sexy ass torta. You know, I think the torta was asking for it. I think I think the torta was asking for it. To be completely honest. Anyway. So that, that looks fucking awesome. They call it mojado. They put it in like this juice, this soup. It's so good. God damn. Okay, keep going. Yeah, see, like this is not a good picture. This is not a good picture of me. Do all Asian girls have long legs and big feet? What the fuck are you on about? Shit's literally poison. What? Beer? The next president in Mexico will be female. Yeah, I looked into that. That's yeah, that's so gay. It pisses me off that that Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador guy is so famous. It really doesn't even make sense to me. He fucking sucks. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Why do you hate that picture, Lalo? Which one? Oh, oh, the one with me. It just doesn't look right. I, you know, what? a lot of my selfies in the past didn't have enough volume in the hair. And that's something that I, I've noticed recently is that I have to have enough volume in the hair for it to look good. Like to comb it up. Uh, not right. You look like a handsome serial killer in that. Well, that's the thing. That's that Grace agrees with that notion. And that pisses me off because serial killer in a way is tantalizing, but also disconcerting. And that pisses me off because it ought not be that way. It ought to be like handsome, non serial killer, but. You know, beggars can't be choosers. I mean, if you're just ugly, that's bad. So. Okay, what else? Uh, fuck. Okay. Uh, damn, there's so many bangers I can't show the public. See, see, this is brutal. I saved this. I can't believe I saved it. Okay, look at this shit. Folks, look at this shit. <clears throat> maybe it was a guy. What do you mean? Might be because of flashbang lighting too. Yeah, maybe. Him some homicidal. Yo, that's a good spin. Ted Bundy. Um, so is Grace three or four or wifey? I said I said three or four. Or no, I said a middle. No, I said I said side piece. I said side piece. I spent 
and this is another tangent, by the way, several months ago around the summer, I made a three or four wifey on grace, I think in August. And I consulted with her before it because obviously it'd be crazy. Cause like we were close at that point. So I'm like, okay, I mean, but she wanted me to do it. And so like we were uh, working together on it and at least a little bit. And I gave her a side piece. And then we, we, we were like texting for a couple hours after that, because clearly like that, that, like imagine a guy like me telling you that you're not worth being married to. That's such a dick move in hindsight. And I do treat her like shit writ large. And so it's like kind of crazy. But speaking of which, I kept on post I kept on posting my food in her Discord in December and I screenshotted this. But if you look here, it says, Oh my god, what guys? I can eat shitty Mexican food too. I mean, what the fuck is this shit, by the way? With the spoon, very disrespectful. And she says, and I didn't have to go all the way to Mexico and miss out on the most epic tri- trip of my entire life for it either. So she was saving, of course, that I didn't go on her trip, but I mean, the food was fucking good, frankly, and I doubt the Rhode Island shit can even compare, but I've never been there, so we'll see. You didn't see that video? It's a banger. Dude, all my videos are good, frankly, but... See, this is the sort of food that Grace was missing out on in Mexico. I mean, like, tell me you wouldn't stick your dick in this. Folks, tell me with a straight face you wouldn't just fucking stick it in. Mind you, it would not even be halfway through, but I mean, look at this thing. Look at it. Oh, oh, oh. This looks so good. <clears throat> Is that guacamole yogurt? No, so they get guacamole like the, the like the stuff you see in uh. So first of all, avocado is a lot cheaper in Mexico. It's like a fraction of the price, clearly. And so what they'll do sometimes for tacos is that instead of leaving it in a clump like uh, the, the Chipotle format, they'll uh, make it, uh, what do you call it? They'll put it in a blender, literally. So that's why it looks that way. But it's awesome. And guacamole, you got to hold your nose and just do it. it you know? <clears throat> now, this is a picture that isn't a good idea to share, but... This is why the clean shaven look could be a problem. So I tried to look gay on purpose. My sister was like, oh my God, you look good from this angle. I'm like, okay. So then I like take an, she takes an awkward picture and of course only saves the bad one. And so this was what like didn't make the Instagram because this, this is just fucking terrible. But, uh, you know, it's totally disconcerting. <clears throat> I'm terrified even, but I'm an open book. I'll share it. Fuck it. Butt thumper photo. It's tough. RK, are you a Mexican, by the way? Oh, no way she did this. Oh, I can't believe it. Okay. So, so no way. Okay. I, I didn't remember this existed. Okay. So, uh, so I refused your trip. Grace said, so I put a community tab post on my YouTube because clearly I wasn't going to upload for like a week. So I'm like in Mexico until the 2nd of January, I basically can't record any content for the channel until then. Bear down, which is a U of A reference until further notice. Grace comments traitor. So I mean, it's just like, bro. Oh my god. But I, I don't think that was a good selfie of me, by the way. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't a selfie, but still. You look like you strangle women. Isn't that kind of hot though? You know, most girls are into a little bit of. A little bit, not not anything crazy, but a little bit. Okay, folks. Whoa! Wait, hold on. Did I catch something? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here's another thing. I, I know it has nothing to do with it, but at this, they have a drive through gas stations in Mexico. So if you drive through a certain part of the street, they'll like send you like you can buy junk food. And so the American Cheetos are so popular, the flaming hot ones that for a bag that costs you like three or $4 in America, you can buy it in Mexico for nine or $10. Look at this shit. It's crazy. Okay, keep going. So, what else did I have in here? Yeah, I mean, the clean shaven look wasn't the best, to be honest. I have this really shitty picture with this bitch, Lauren De Laguna. I was really drunk when I met her, so I didn't get the best picture. But I mean, I just look so bad in this. Like you can just see I'm not I'm not with it at all. Like I'm completely gone in this pick. It's brutal. I'm like I'm I'm just out of it. Like I'm leaning. It's horrible. I mean, it's a fucking tragedy. Look at this shit. Brutal. Not gonna make it, bro. 
that you know the clean shaven look was a mess frankly did you smash lauren i i, I personally don't find her that attractive she's like a four i hormax or Coulter, a retarded version of riley reed and i completely agree with that notion she's cute i mean i i mean i'd fuck her for free clearly but i mean not i wouldn't uh bury my balls in that i mean <laughs> Okay, wait, can I share this? This is kind of private. Let me see if I can. She's a solid 10. Shut the fuck up. That's how I, that, you're in. <laughs> Ew, what the fuck was that? Okay, hold on. So I, I went to this mansion party from some millionaire donor to the Trump campaign or something. But I mean, look at this. This was in December. <laughs> Look at the dungeon look at the dungeon though look at the dungeon bro it was like a sex dungeon in there bro it was fucking crazy it was crazy and like the bartenders they had like uh they had like bikinis like they had straight up like bdsm outfits almost like it was and also to get to the basement dungeon you had there was like a bookshelf like out of the movies sort of shit it was nuts and they had like those japanese like uh not bidets but like one of those like warm toilets it was weird Were there MILF blonde mommies in there? No. I see what you're saying. Uh. What else do we have in here? <laughs> Me with Lauren Southern. This was so weird. So what happened here was that I didn't get any good pictures with Lauren. I mean, and I simmed for this bitch so bad. But like, I don't think the clean shaven look was really working for me here. And not only that, but she's like 5'7 and was wearing four inch heels. So she was like 5'11. So it was brutal. It was brutal. It was just tough. And I, I, the clean shaven look is a little intense, to be completely honest. It was a little. That's where you throw the, the QAnon uh, parties. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the Rothschild parties. Great idea. Make a show called Appropriating Culture where we steal all the best inventions. If you don't agree she's a 10, you're probably a chud. Fuck you, bitch. She's a four. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'd fuck a four. Depending. Yeah, let me see what else I can show in here. Fuck. Huh. What else is in here? You can put my loving on you, baby. All right, not too bad. Better pick than having your butt sticking out. Well, what pick did I have sticking my butt out? See, this thing also didn't work. I, people were telling me to wear a cowboy hat. I don't think this is it. Now, the shirt is unflattering, clearly, because, like, the stripes. But it's still kind of fucked up, to be honest. Um, okay. But look at that thing. It's crazy. Uh, what else? What else do we have in here? Okay, what else do I hear? Call of Duty Zombies? Who gives a fuck? Okay, I screenshotted this because I had my face in it, but I mean, look at this. So this was like November, December. If you look here, let, let's examine the clean shaven look. I mean, I look like a fucking child in this. And she looks old as fuck. She looks like a 1980. She looks like Andy Barclay's mom from fucking Child's Play 1, which took place in the mid 80s, I believe. So I mean, she's like picking up her son from daycare in Baltimore, smoking a cigarette, looking ass. And I'm over here looking like I'm 15, looking like she's about to take advantage of me and me being like, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's that's a mess. That's a mess. Yikes. That's brutal. What else do we have in here? I'm going to, oh, I also want to show you one of my videos from when I was like 17. So you guys know how bad the voice used to be. Because this was an underrated, under-regarded issue. So let's go ahead and just show this real quick. So let's go to oldest video first. And not, sh yeah, let's, let's sh okay. My first video was four years ago. That's still up there. It's called Joe Biden's Health is Failing. This video has 141 views and it's from October of 2019. I was 16 here. Okay, let's play this. Now, mind you, I, I really need to piss. So let's go ahead and just show this while I'm gone. Okay, I'll be back in like 
60 seconds. So, if you've been living under a rock, let me tell you right now, Joe Biden will not make it through the nomination progress. You can trust me. Why? Well, this guy is in his mid to late 70s now. He's not even a boomer. He's older than that. And, very obviously speaking, this man is melting like ice cream on a hot summer's day. This guy is perpetually messing up line after line, talking less coherently than Trump is, which is saying a lot for a politician. Now, the Democratic Party does not have a front runner that is not over 70 that has 15 or more percent of the vote right now, and there's no way that somebody like Andrew Yang is going to take over the political scene right now. So what we have here is a party that is fielding Joe Biden as its nominee, basically, at like 28% of the polls. You could see that he himself cannot make it. If Trump can debate Hillary, who's completely cognizant, by the way, he could easily debate a dumb, demented Biden. There is no way that he could possibly fail. And you could hate the guy. But really, Trump has the uh, charismatic... Big ball energy that Jesus Biden Christ. does not have. Dude, my voice was so different and back then. When you see how the party has drifted left, and if you look at the statistics, when Hillary went against him. <clears throat> oh my God, that was horrible. Look at that. Uh, Jesus. I just hope Biden wins to see the Macintosh seed again. Fuck you, bitch. The one where you were posing like Trump with the lagoon or whatever her name is. Oh, you mean uh, Lauren de Laguna? Okay. Uh, okay. I, I know what you're talking about now. Holy shit, he was raw back then. Yeah, true. Callum says, bring back Lalo before the ADHD med scripts. Zanny Lalo, let's go. Was I Xanax style back then? I, I just think I was high-pitched. But uh, I don't have any meds on me, so no, I, I, don't, I don't do that right now. You sound way gayer back then. I, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, so just imagine how bad it would have been with Grace had I had that voice. And mind you, my voice now is like very mid. It's like a four out of 10. It's like my height, but Jesus Christ, that was fucking horrible. Really bad. Really bad, actually. But I mean, you know, you know how it be with a real nigga. So anyway, what else do we have in here? In the iCloud. You want just for me to get some. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me not share that. Yeah, okay. This is weird. I screenshotted this too because I have my face in it. You see this? <laughs> how to avoid how 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 to avoid killing my dad in the morning? Discuss. <laughs> what the fuck is this, bro? Look at this shit. Xanax. I've never tried it. Callum says the doctor was just working on the right script for Lalo. Um, no. But I mean, look at this shit. I mean, it's a decent look, but I'd prefer the hair personally, but who knows? Who knows? Why do you say what the fuck? R RK. What, that I don't, I haven't tried Xanax? I haven't. Okay, what else can I share in here? Not that. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, this was a banger. I never talked about this on stream before, but so in November at one point when Grace was like in the RV stream doing her bull jive, uh, Zena called in into the discord one night and I talked to Zena for like two or three hours. This, this girl who's affiliated with Sneeko was the ex-girlfriend of Sneeko like a year ago and, uh, like was on fresh and fit like two years ago and is kind of dating this, this, uh, friend of the show Darius. Okay. So basically uh, I talked to her and I fed her a ton of talking points that were anti-baked Alaska because I know a lot about baked Alaska. I have a lot of mutual friends in that realm. And so I just know a lot about that sector. And so then she presses him and the Kino Casino covers it. It was fucking awesome. This was uh like four months ago. It was awesome. Bender Production says, yo, yo, what's up, dude? The unaliving your dad thing. Well, Grace is crazy and we love her for it. Yoba will never recover. Suffer, Yoba. Suffer, bish. 
<laughs> Snaked rat Alaska. No, I'm kidding. But that's funny. That is funny. And mind you, Baked Alaska had a lot of good moments. See, for for instance, when he had the Sammy saga where he took some 30-year-old meth head bitch and like gaslit her into thinking the TTS was like her high school enemy and whatnot, that was fucking amazing. If that the Sammy content were a girl, it'd be Megan Fox. It was fucking awesome. Banging. It was so good. Like uh junior year of high school, like 2020 election season. So amazing. So amazing that Sammy saga it was, man. Oh my god. I'm collecting thumbs up picture of you. Keep posting thumbs up pictures. <laughs> cool. All right. What else? Also, like I'm such a douche. So, so <laughs> I was I was taking a selfie. I was taking a selfie uh like in November and I was clean shaven at this point or at least like, you know, I you know, I mean, this is like two days in, obviously I had some shit on my face, but I was so ADHD that I had to listen to music while taking the selfie. Cause I, like, I couldn't be understimulated. So here I am fucking wearing a fucking thing. Thanks. The boat thumbs up thing is a classic. It is. It is. Honestly, it is. That was a vibe though. Kayaking with the, with the white claw, like 60 degrees out. It was nice. What else do I have in here? Oh, this one, this one's from November too. There was a fucking bobcat in my backyard, like a mountain lion, kind of. You see this motherfucker? No, or no, no, it was a fox. You see this bitch? I stared him down and I took a picture of that bitch. And I said, I'm like, press me, bitch. Self a bitch. And it just ran away. I never saw it again. Motherfucker. Fucking fox. I remember when Chad anything for views was screaming in the N-word in a van. Yeah, yeah, that sort of content is awesome. Don't let him get you, dog. What? What else do we have in here? Yeah, but these selfies were so douchey back then. This was November 30th. This is when I was trying a different look, like with the flannel and whatnot. Yeah, so here's the thing with my look. Not not combing the hair up enough is just not a good look. It just isn't. It just isn't. Yeah, so like, yeah, it's definitely this. Like, it was not puffed up enough. And people didn't notice this. I remember seeing you once debate Ralph. Yeah, I won that easily. And I have, to, I have to thank Grace for helping me out with that. But no, she didn't actually. Grace literally sabotaged me multiple times in that. And I still came out on top. Mind you, I was kicking Ralph while he was still addicted to drugs. So it wasn't an even fight, but still. To make a coat out of it. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I mean, I just didn't comb my hair enough for this. And plus, my, my phone case broke. It was an otter case. And so I was rocking that for like months. And it was so tacky. It was so tacky. And then I got a phone case because my my mom, I think, gave me a phone case that was too big for the iPhone XR I have. So like a half a dozen times, girls were sending me Snapchats. I would screenshot them on accident, and that fucked up the Riz monumentally, frankly. So like me cheaping out on the phone case was so bad, but then I rectified it. Okay, it fits it now. Yeah, but I mean, the same complaints still apply to this. So looking at this, um, hold on, sorry. Yeah, I mean it, it's not perfect. It's not it's it just isn't perfect. Here the the hairs see how the hair has enough air in it so it's okay. You see this? See so that's a good selfie. Okay. Okay. So let's get to this gray shit. Okay. I I <laughs> I've literally stalled for an hour and a half at this point. Let's just go ahead and take care of that because it'd be kind of bad if I ended the stream before I, you know, addressed it. So let's go ahead and just get to it. Okay, do I have it? Perfect. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. I fucked up. I need to get my OBS lined up like the windows and whatnot. Okay. Okay, which fat retard should I cover up? This one? Okay, play it. Well, you don't have to dig me down to save me. I mean, that's the way it works. 
Well, speaking so. about that, let, let me let me ask you, <laughs> let me ask a question. All your simps want to be asked. Okay. What would it take for one of your simps to rise above the simp army and be a prospect? What would you have to see in a person? Um, I, I don't know. I'm really not looking to like date or get married, so I don't know to, to rise up. I, I have no idea, honestly. So there's no, there's no qualities that a guy can can project upon you that would be like you'd be enamored with him almost instantly. Well, yeah, I mean if it, if he was like funny and also probably had like a rough family past and. Uh, so, so he's got to become he's got to come from like the hard knocks. Hey, Bl I don't know to understand it. You'd have to. Blade, what a shitty <laughs> commentary by this guy. Uh, uh, what, what do you call it? Wings of Redemption. He's like, so he has got to come from the hard knocks. First of all, saying hard knocks as a phrase is so fucking stupid. It annoys me so much. Got to come from the hard knocks. No, fuck you, bitch. Um, she said funny and with a rough family history. So of course she wants somebody to bond with over that. My family story is a little fucked up. Not as bad as hers, but obviously nobody else's is that bad. Um, and funny, clearly I've got that, but we're not talking about that. What up, son? Uh, excuse me, Blade, coming back on the show. Grace, how old are you? 21. You're 20. Char, yes. One. So yeah, you wouldn't be ready to settle down now. Like you're way too young, right? So you're not really looking for marriage, but... Have you been in any like serious relationships since you've been an adult? No. Really? And why do you think that is? Can I actually tell you? Yeah. Uh, I um, I kind of met this guy online. Wait, 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 wait a second. Play that back. Hold up a second. Really? And why do you think that is? Wait a second. Since you've been an adult? No. Have you been in any like serious relationships since you've been an adult? No. Really? And why do you think that is? Can I actually tell you? Yeah. Uh. Okay. So she volunteers this, by the way. Okay. So had nothing to do with me. I was literally in a college lecture watching the fucking chat and I just saw my name, my name spammed, Lalo, Lalo. I'm like, fuck, what could she, what could she be saying about me? This is such a bad luck because it was ahead of 4,000 people. It was a mess. It was a fucking mess, folks. But I mean, look at this shit. Look at this. Or for example, look at this. Lalo, 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 Lalo. See, I'm a victim. You know how it is for a real one out there, to be completely honest. I um I kind of met this guy online. His name is Lalo. He's like a Mexican guy, right? So I kind of started like flirting with him. This is like one of like my most hardcore sexual experiences. So I started flirting with him online and we like were texting and stuff. And then um we were FaceTiming and he like asked me to take my shirt off and stuff. And so I did. And this was like That is such bullshit, but it did not go down that way. It did not go down by <laughs> no, no no no. See, that makes it sound like it's kind of rapey, but it really wasn't like that at all, you know. It, it was like it, it did not go down that way. Okay, hold on. It was it was <laughs> it was more innocent. Okay, this the, mind you, this call the the, first, the one she's talking about, the one where she's wearing a black top, that took like two hours. That that made it sound like I just immediately did that. No, that's not true. It took a while. Like maybe a few months ago. And a few months ago, that was in May. No, June. That was nine months ago. Why, why did she say a few months ago? Why did she have to lie about that? What, what does that even mean? And then, um, you know, we were kind of like, you know, I was kind of like performing, right? I was like doing that stuff. And then that's a good way of downplaying it, by the way. So, I mean, the bottom line is that, you know, like I, so we're doing something and uh, she's like, this is just so awkward to talk about, but it's already out there. So anyway, my fault, kind of. <laughs> uh, so, this, uh, dude, this is so, this, this pains me. Okay, so basically, uh, I'm like telling, you know, I'm working the way into it and it's like, so, you know, she's, she's just bare there. Uh, and then she, you know, she's doing everything and I'm doing like this, like dirty talk kind of. And then I start incorporating Spanish and she starts like reciprocating more when I start doing it in Spanish and, uh, it's like all breathy and whatnot. And it was, it was weird because she was like in her bed with like the, the like the phone like this. Uh, and I was just like sitting here, uh, looking at the laptop but i had the phone propped up so like she could see me but i wasn't in the bed so like i was just kind of there just like watching and like talking and it was kind of weird but yeah and he didn't do anything he just sat there and stared that's not even true by the way sat there and stared means that like i didn't say anything i was vocally participating but was i like you know doing the piston work of course i wasn't now uh like and so I was like, look how fucking amused Keemstar is, by the way. So, like you know, like he didn't like I, you know he didn't like even move. He just sat there and stared. So I was bullshit. I was like, are you gonna like do anything? And he was like, yeah, maybe. And then I just uh, I faked the orgasm and then I just ended the call. That is bullshit, by the way. Bullshit, bullshit. Wait, wait, play that back. Like 
yeah, maybe. And then I just, uh, I faked the orgasm and then I just ended the call. So that's my like relationship experience. That is a lie. Wait, lie check. Can we get a lie check? He didn't like even move. He just sat there and stared. So I he didn't move and just sat there and stared. No, what happened is that I, she was begging me. She was begging me to like show her stuff. And I, like she sent me like stuff to get me, you know, like I, this is like so inappropriate, but anyway, it's out there. Okay. So I'm like, look, if you send me a video of, you know, you doing what it's like full on, then, you know, like I'll, I, maybe I'll take my dick out. She's like, okay. So then she sends the video on Snapchat and then I look at it and I'm like, oh, well, isn't that cathartic? <laughs> and then, you know, I, I was like, well, I'm still not going to like participate because, and this is kind of weird of me, but like, I didn't trust her yet, even though like clearly she had more clout than me. So like, it would have been me recording, not her, but I still felt kind of a way about it. And that I'm, I can see why that's like a douche move. So I just didn't want to take my dick out. And also, and I told her this, I was like, look, I have good lighting here. You won't be able to see me if I'm like in my bed. Cause I was seeing her through like the phone low lighting. And so like, she looked hot because like there wasn't, I, you know, but you know, like if I did the same thing, it wouldn't be cool because, and I thought about this autistically. I'd never done this exact thing. I've had like, you know, phone stuff with a girl, but like no camera like in middle school when it was still like not cringe, but so with grace, I'd never done like the camera before. And so I was there. Well, no, I wasn't there. I tried to call her once on my bed and like, I looked really Brown. I was self-conscious about that. And she's like, no, it's okay. But I'm like, no. So I wanted to look at myself. And so imagine you're doing the phone sex with me and I even have the headphones on and I'm just staring at the fucking phone like this and I'm just telling her what to do. And, uh, it was awkward. And, uh, yeah, because had I done it like in the bed, I mean, what am I going to do? How is she going to see me do this if I'm putting it on my face? I just I just didn't understand. It, it was it was weird. It was a naive thing. It was definitely, you know, it's, it's a learning curve thing. Did I really like hurt her feelings by doing that? Yeah, definitely. That kind of like fucked her up. But I didn't know that would happen. So, I mean, I'm kind of innocent. You can't prove a negative. What do you mean? Phone sex is cringe AF. Yeah, true. Such a bad look. Never talk to her again. That's funny. Sigma Lalo says Max. This is why you don't associate with weirdos with no name, no shame. They will embarrass everyone like they do themselves. You were smart not to trust her. Real shit. It's not cool for her to name drop you over some shit that's private. Total three or four. No, 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 no. Omar, I leaked it first. Kind of. Kind of. It's a very convoluted context. But basically what happened is that we kept it a secret for like several months. Like just mutually we kept it a secret. And then... No, 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 no. That's not even it. That's not even it. Okay. So for people that haven't kept up with the Thorpe drama, basically what happened was that we did this thing in June. She met this Darius guy a second time who, um, they had like a fake relationship or whatever. And, uh, I thought she was playing him and her dad were manipulating him to like extort him for clout in a way, or like use him up for clout. And I felt bad for Darius. So I was like, okay, look, man to man, they're fucking with you. They're doing this trick on you. So like, be careful. And then I also let, and then to like make them trust me, I'm like, Hey, by the way, like already, you know, so like clearly, you know, she doesn't really like you. She did it with me while you were in the house. And, uh, he's like, Whoa, really? And I'm like, yeah. So then he like a fucking idiot tells grace. And then grace has like, so, so then grace like lost trust in me because I leaked it to him, but I leaked it to him just to protect him from her. Not in a way to like save her, like not to like cock block him, but just to say like, Hey, this is what you're dealing with. You know, like, obviously, I'm way more attractive, so that wasn't the problem. But basically, he goes and uh, goes and tries to get her attention regardless. He's simping. And Darius, you know, fucked up on that. He fell on a sword. And, uh, you know, that happened. And so, and then some bitch called Villanelle, I think, some um, some account on YouTube. She, uh, so Darius was on his Android phone, and he was, like, sharing, like, he was screen recording and like he was going through his discord on accident. He showed my discord messages with him from like June where I told him that we had like kissed in the airport and then she sent that to grace. And then grace saw that I told him about that. And so then she just assumed I told them everything else and then it became a bigger mess. And so then she just didn't trust me like in that respect. And then later on, she kind of forgot that that even happened. And then she to gain his trust said that she had phone sex with me to Darius as like a shit test. And then apologized to me for her leaking it. And then I pretended like I didn't leak it to begin with to him. And then she believed me. And then I ghosted her. 
but for like a stupid reason that honestly was immature of me to do. And I ghost her and like, she had this huge problem. And then I released a video about her kind of like two thirds about her called don't fall in love with the idea of someone where I was being a complete hormonal teenager about it. And then she made fun of me on a live stream, which she had every right to do because I ghosted her for no fucking reason that she knew of. And then I took that really personally for no fucking reason too, like an idiot, naive teenager. And then I drop a ton of messages, messages to like prove that we did have something going on. And then that he made it even worse. And then she like kind of like embe like embellished certain things, made me look bad about like when we met in the airport. And then I felt insecure about that. So then I made a second video when everybody told me not to. And uh, then it got even worse. And then I met her like two weeks after that. Different story, but it, it was fucked up. It was fucked up. But anyway, I don't remember what this tangent was about. This is why you don't associate with Grace. So look, she is only dropping this because I dropped it first. Okay, so I don't blame her for this. And plus, this is a good look. If your biggest complaint about Lalo is that you try to masturbate naked in front of him to try to get him a boner and for him to jack off in front of you and he refuses to, that's a Lalo dub. I'm sorry. And mind you, in hindsight, would I have whipped it out? There's no, there's no shame of it. I mean, it's bigger than this fucking phone is diagonally large. 6.5 is nothing to fucking scoff at. I mean, clearly, I don't have that problem. But I just didn't trust her. And that was immature of me because clearly I should have trusted her because had she recorded something, it would have been out. And so, I mean, that was stupid. I fucked up, but I fumbled it. Yeah, true. But I mean, yeah, so it's, it's a dub because either way, the reason why she's so jilted about it and why she thinks I'm gay, even though she knows I'm not, is because I didn't respond to her. And imagine you're a girl and you're prostrating yourself and you're fucking, you know, if you're fingering yourself for a guy to love you or whatever, and he doesn't even like show you half of the reciprocation. Clearly, she felt like, oh, well, I must not be good enough or he's gay. And then she just goes for the gay cope. When in reality, it's a mix of a lot of different things. And she's attractive enough. I like her. But I mean, I just didn't trust her. And that was stupid. I should have trusted her because she, I mean, she's had my back when it counted. And so that was really selfish of me, to be honest. So Grace sent you stuff to get you what? Um, sounds stupid. You can't prove she didn't fake the orgasm. Yeah, I, I mean, there's no way to know, obviously. Like, the way she did fake it, if she did, it was pretty... Well, okay, Wait, hold on. I'll address this later. Never trust a woman. Is it the size of your phone diagonally or just straight across? It was... It, it, it It's like... It's like the length of this diagonal plus like a thumb. So it's like iPhone XR diagonal is like six inches plus like a, like this. It's like this. Okay. Because I measured it with my phone. Um, How do you know she was fingering herself if she didn't show you? I did see it. I did see it. But I mean, again, it wasn't like, this is so awkward to talk about. It's fucked up. I was like, are you going to like do anything? And he was like, yeah, maybe. And then I just, uh, I faked the orgasm and then I just ended the call. So that's my like relationship experience. Okay. That's very facetious because first of all, she implies like it was only one time. Now from what I recall, we did it like three or four times. Okay. So that's some bullshit by the way. So she's like, I just ended the call. I faked the orgasm. That's assuming you only did it once, frankly. And it's just bullshit. It's bullshit. It happened. Um, it's true. It's true. In fact, in fact, I even have, I, I have, so Grace went through my phone one time where she found like all the times I've drank alcohol because I autistically, I, 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 I autistically keep track of all of it. I also have one for like sexual experiences. And so I have a list of it on my notes app. I have 622 as one, 624 as another one, 625 as another one, 626 is another one. So that's four times, three at least. Okay. So three times we did the phone sex thing and she implies like it was only once. And so if it was that bad, then she would have just had it at one. She gave me multiple chances to whip the dick out and I didn't. And that's my bad. But for her to imply it was only once is retarded because clearly it was like three times. Okay. And she also implies as if it was only five minutes. It was like half an hour at least. Okay. And that's what it, I mean, it is what it is. Did I record it? Obviously not, but 
you got to why would I lie about that? Also, if faking the orgasm isn't own against me, that would only apply if I were like trying, but I wasn't. I was just trying to do it with my mouth. And frankly, I can't envision myself like orgasming to my voice. So like, why the fuck would she do it to me? And so I understand why she didn't, if she didn't. So who cares? I mean, it's all high school drama. Um, Wait, for all the so in chat. we're talking about sexting. Yeah. Wait, so you, what are you, still a virgin? I don't, I, don't, I don't talk about that. You can make up your own mind. That is such a like shitty way to, like if I were her, I would just lie and say I was a virgin. I don't talk about that. Come on. Okay, so the biggest relationship you've ever had is like a fucking FaceTime call with some dude. Where see, see, she lied to Keemstar. Keemstar thinks it was only once. I ran it four times, nigga. I was like Tony Montana. No, sorry. Wait, who's the quarterback for the 49ers that won three or four Super Bowls? Tony Montana, right? Yeah, it was Tony Montana. Am I am I fucking tripping? That was like one of the more one of the deeper ones. Where I don't know. Well, it was more, more embarrassing. More embarrassing. Have you ever met him? You didn't meet him. More embarrassing for her, obviously. Yeah, I, yeah, I did meet him. Oh, He's okay. a YouTuber, actually. Uh, then he actually, um, he released all the DMs. Wait, and I then know I... this. I know this. You're, yeah. You were dating a commentary person. What is yeah, his name? Yeah, yeah. What is his Lalo. name? No, what's his YouTube name? I don't know. About, like... she, she... <laughs> Keemstar is confusing me with Darius. And then she sings. She en enthusiastically says my name, which would only help me. Because if Keemstar knows who I am and like, is like, damn, this nigga's actually pretty lit then that would help me. And so this is why I don't hate Grace because like her own on me is that I didn't jerk off to her jerking off to me. That's an that's a W for me. What the fuck? Why would I care? Why would I even fucking care? That's a dub for me, dog. Granted, I did fumble her, but there is a way bigger horizon past that, folks. Okay? We're cool. Look, I leaked her DMs like a fucking idiot. That was immature of me. I apologize. She believes I'm sorry for it. That's all we need to know. We're cool. We're cool. <laughs> Name dropped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so surreal. I've been watching Keemstar for like 10 years. It's funny that it like, whoa, you heard my name, but that's awesome. That's awesome. I'm like coming up, dude. Anybody who's buying into Lalo stock now are going to look really fucking good soon. Okay. I mean, this is awesome. This is like buying into uh, FDR stock when he was running for uh, vice president in the 1920s. Okay. You're going to look really good when he wins, when he wins three terms in the 40s. <clears throat> Keemstar was a Trump supporter in 2020. Okay. She is or she's not a virgin. The virginity plays a bit. Just a guy. Well, well, what do you fucking think? Anyway. Lalo. No, no. That's so hot that she said my name in front of so many people. That gets me so hard. It really doesn't. But that's like so exciting for me. That is so... Like, oh, yes, this is so cool. Because you have to imagine there's so many thousands of people that wish that what I got, they had. And so it's like, fuck you. I'm better than all of you niggas. I'm better than all of you bitches. And even if I'm not, I still got it, bitch. Fuck you guys. Yes, yes. Feed my ego, bitch. I am him. Let's go. Let's go. Bricked up. Oh, that's, that's another thing. So a guy said, because this is one of the Keemstar people. He's like, so Lalo, you didn't get a boner when Grace was showing her, showing her titties to you? And I'm like, I didn't reply because I think that's like inappropriate. And because uh, I don't answer questions like that because it takes the surprise out of it. There was another guy, this Mexican kid, the farmer on Discord. And he's like, Lalo, do you still want to pursue Grace? And I'm like, dude, why would I say that either way? Because number one, she doesn't even live close to me. So why would I even actively pursue her? That's like a waste of time. One. Two, it's more fun if there's a little bit of like, ambiance or like what do you call it ambivalence that's the way i roll okay i'm a good looking guy i'm not gonna die for a pussy and she's cute but i'm also not going to put pressure on her friendship for what fucking reason so i can see her titties again on facetime i don't fucking care that'd be cool but i'm not gonna like ask that's the way i roll i don't know i'm not desperate lalo tasted the forbidden fruit well i co I, I coined the term guilty pleasure pussy it's real it's real it's a banger term I remember she hated me so much um, when I leaked the sexting messages that when Darius told her that in Arizona, like GPP, she's like, don't say that in front of me. It's like so funny. I just love having that emotional control over people. It's really funny to me. That, that kind of shows I'm a scummy person, but it is really, really funny.
bro, Grace is not the prize. She's like a solid five to six that can only go backwards. Okay, number one, true. Two, I think more six to seven. Three. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Look, it's one thing if you're gossiping about a cute girl from high school. I've had plenty of those experiences where it's like, did you know that Sarah said this about you, Lala? Be like, okay, well, she's cute. That's hot. You know, like 15 of my mutual friends know that I like I did something with her that's based. But when it's thousands of people that I'm cucking and I'm the fucking gay guy, so to speak, that is fucking hilarious to me. That's just more Kino. Um, seven, crazy joke. Um, it depends on the angle, clearly. Like with makeup, you know, in low lighting. She's like an eight. Now, granted, I'm biased, but I mean, it's true. Yeah, man. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. No, no, no. I heard through the grapevine that uh, it's like FPS diesel or some shit. Do you know what I'm talking Oh, no. I know who that is. He did a, he did a, he did something on that guy, Darius. He's like a, you know, like a, a video essayist, but no, I've, no. Did you do anything with him? No. Oh, I heard different. I, I don't know him at all. I heard different. Oh, she, wow. She, she just said sexting is the most hardcore sex act she's done. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's me, like. Well, it was, it was one of the more embarrassing times. I didn't really know what to make of it. I didn't realize, I, you know, faking an orgasm on FaceTime was not really something I expected to have to do, but. <laughs> see, see, that's her quip. That's her cope. So she's embarrassed because she didn't know what to make of it because I'm enigmatic because I'm that interesting because I'm him. I have this like really weird personality that's intriguing and so fucking appalling. She didn't know what to make of it. She's like, cute guy. He's funny. Oh my God. But like, he wants to stick out for me. But like, I'm a pretty girl. There's so many discord losers that want to fuck me. And this guy doesn't want to do it. In reality, like I would, but I didn't trust her at that point. Nowadays, I would have done it different, obviously, but who cares? Ship has sailed, nigga. I don't care the way I view it. And this is going to reveal my like way of thinking. But I think that by the time I'm like 25, 30, any girl I've ever been interested in, even a little bit, is going to want to suck it, okay, in a fucking line. So I don't have to worry about like, oh, does she like me or not? It doesn't matter. I'm at my weakest point. Every day I'm at a low point, not because I'm like depressed, but because I'm better the next day. I'm getting smarter. I'm getting stronger. I'm fucking lifting. I'm taking creatine gummies. I'm fucking lit. I'm building my garden. I'm working. I'm making money now, bitch. I'm getting insurance for my SUV. I'm up there. I'm going to be a senior. I'm going to be president of the college Republicans next semester. I'm coming in. I'm making all these connections with senators and shit. And people are going to watch The Ascent. And that's before I become a lawyer, by the way. I'm honing in on my craft. I don't have to worry about a bitch. They're going to all come to me later on. I don't care. Okay? Till then, I can cope with my Spanish pussy. I can, I can cope with the Sinaloa, you know. I'm just not, you know, I don't care. I'm not pressed. I'm getting better with time. I don't have to overcook it too much. It's like it's like I'm Aaron Rodgers behind Brett Favre, okay? I don't have to rush it. I'm coming in. I'm Hall of Fame. I'm winning a Super Bowl within two years. I'm coming in there with that bitch, slinging the fucking rock, beating the Steelers in 2011 like a, like a dawn. I mean, it's awesome. It's an awesome thing. The ascents are you're growing? Yes. Are you getting taller? No. I'm just saying things are looking up. Things are looking up. The channel has grown in the last month, 205 subscribers. That is basically a 10% growth. Prior to that, the growth was way slower. I've actually, I'm projected to be at 111,000 subs in five years, according to Social Blade. Now that's assuming that I'm just growing in a stagnant pace for five years. It's going to be exponential, obviously. So yeah, I think like in 18 months, I can make a living off of YouTube. And that's assuming I don't get monetized. So that's just off of cash apps and shit. Mm. Please don't become a lawyer. Become a real estate mogul so you can make a lot of videos. My thing is that I don't like selling stuff to people, but I would be good at it. You know? I haven't looked into being a real estate mogul, though. <laughs> it's really awkward, you know, when you're just sitting there on FaceTime and the other person's not doing anything and you're right. naked and it's like, okay, well. Yeah, I can imagine. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. So it's... Awkward for her because she was naked performing for me. It wasn't that awkward for me because I I just I wasn't as emotionally involved at that point. And 
I mean, I don't know. What's weird is that when she wanted to be more, I wanted her less. And then when she wanted me less, I wanted her more. That's like basic psychology, obviously. But it, I just didn't consider that as a possibility until like uh, a while ago when I had an epiphany. But I mean, it shit is crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Shit is crazy. I won, obviously. That's that's a dub. <laughs> what made you do it? I kind of, I, I wanted to have a boyfriend real bad. So I kind of, you know, like, I have sex with people before. I do that kind of, you know what I mean? It's like whatever, but I kind of thought like we would both share the experience and it was just silly, but he, he made it kind of so weird. So I'm assuming you didn't, you didn't think he'd like, like save the screen or like record his screen or anything like that? No, I trusted him and he didn't. But he did release the DMs for some reason. Why did he, he do did. that? He <laughs> did. Oh shit. That's so funny. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Oh my god, this is so funny. Because afterwards, like many, many months afterwards, I, uh, I said like I never really like liked him that much, which is like I said we weren't really dating, which we weren't. We were just, it was just like an online thing. And then after we met in person, I like we stopped all that stuff. And then uh, I said it on a stream. Like somebody was like, "You sexed with him," and I was like, "Yeah, but we weren't really dating." And then he was like, "No, we were." And he dropped all the DMs and he went through them one by one. Who's who's Darius? That was content. And honestly, I regret making those videos so bad that I haven't watched them back since. But they were fucking hilarious. They were fucking hilarious. I'm not gonna, like I'm tempted to watch them again because like damn those were so funny. Uh, Lolo has nothing to apologize for. No, I did clearly fuck her over. Like I did. Like I no no no. Like don't don't get me wrong. I've treated Grace like shit. You know like like in the past I would psychoanalyze her, not give a fuck. I would troll her. <laughs> I would be on voice calls with her and like other people, and I would say stuff that would make her cry and not give a fuck about her feelings. And it was I, like honestly like like in a religion sense that was totally fucked up. And I was just trolling. And even with like the whole like sexing thing, I left her up to dry literally <laughs> it was just like uh, that was the dick move i could have just reciprocated and i didn't trust her but in hindsight i should have and that that's fucked up so i do apologize for that and the leaking of the dms too also was really dumb it was really dumb and uh yeah so i do have a lot to apologize for granted i'm a, I'm a great person i'm the best so she's gonna have to accept the apology but and she already did but did she just admit to not being a virgin? No, she said that she sexted in the past. From what I know, she had like like text message sexting with like some retard on Discord. Not like what I got, obviously. I think I'm pretty sure I've gone the farthest, technically, but who cares? I won. We rule. Um, Darius is a kick streamer. He's like a Destiny orbiter. So Chad is saying to get Darius on here. Is there a way to get him on here? Yeah, you can get Darius on. He's the guy who slapped me. Um, but that was, you that was to, uh, but that was set up, you have right? Discord? It was it was set up. Okay, yeah, yeah that's not it. It was set up, but like I had a whole arc with him. I burned his clothes and stuff. He came over to my house. The whole so you see, Darius did a lot more for Grace than I ever did, and she burned his clothes, and she didn't really do anything to me. Which is why I'm a little more sympathetic to Grace as a person, because she really did treat Darius like shit, and she still does. And Darius did more for her career-wise than I ever did. Clearly, I didn't do shit for her. I've only benefited from her. So, granted, I mean, it's understandable because I'm a better person and I'm better looking. So, clearly, I don't have to do anything. But still, like, I do appreciate the effort from her. So, again, most girls wouldn't do that. And so, Grace is a good friend in that respect. Now, she does bust balls all the time. But that's just the way she's grown up. And it's like white trash. That, and I think it's cute. But... Okay, now I see. You should not leak private messages, but I'm glad you recognize your error. See, it's character building. I'd never done that before. Exactly. Exactly. I realized the error of my ways. It sounds like Lalo is smitten with this chick. Not really. I, I really don't care to have a relationship with a girl that lives in Rhode Island. Especially with all the shit that's going on. Why would I do that? That's just a waste of time. Now, if I were in person with her, that'd be a different story because clearly, like, you're a guy or horny, whatever's clear, like, what's nearby, okay? I get it. But aside from that, over the internet, I'm not going to try it again because, you know, what a waste of fucking time. I can go for a college girl. I probably won't, though, because I don't care, but still. So that was that. Um, also, she mentioned me on this stream as well. So let's go ahead and just review this real quick. Yes. King Ben. He brought the energy. I think prison changed him. <laughs> Lalo had a fling. He's a gay man. I realized that. I realized that after he uh, didn't do anything when we were 
having FaceTime sex. Uh, no, I did not graduate high school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, so. All right, so so she basically says something along the lines of, he's uh, not mature, or sorry, no. She's like, well, wait, so so a commenter that didn't know about the sexting before, which is which is why it was stupid on her to mention it on the Lol Cow Live podcast, assuming she wasn't trying to help me, because then people are like, wait, this guy hit it first, so to speak, like in a Discord autist way. And she's like, well, I didn't know he was gay until he like didn't do anything. Clearly, she's like seething over it. So I win. I win. Special Victim Maxer says, I'm really glad that Lalo has moved on from Grace and that this video should leave no room for doubt that he has indeed surpassed her intellectually. What? See, you were trying to troll me with that, but I'm not lying, okay? Like, I even told her yesterday that I do have love for her, obviously, but I'm also not going to like, pursue something. I don't want to put any pressure on anybody. If somebody doesn't want to be in a relationship with me or anything, I don't want to press upon that because obviously that's fucking gross and I have character flaws. I'm really young. I'm not somebody that like she has like her dad dynamic. I'm not somebody who can compare to her dad. I'm like very out of it. I'm not like I can't even have her at a guest room. Like what the fuck am I going to do? Like, hey, do you want to sleep at my dad's house? Like, fuck that. I'm not somebody that you can really like just pour into. I don't have a nest. I'm not demanding anything. I'm like, I'm just saying like, you know. I'm chill. Grace Thorpe Groiper in chat. Okay, <laughs> that's fun. Whose alt is that? You should never consider having her as a girlfriend if you had any good sense. See, I was trolling in the beginning and then I caught feelings because I was young and inexperienced. And so that's basically what happened. In hindsight, would I have done the same mistake? No. But, you know. Lalo, you should drop exclusive info on Grace Live for a $5 super chat. No. I love that you troll the Thorps. Troll them how? He said the L word, what, lesbian? I'm new to the Thorps too. You're obviously an alt, dude. Shut the fuck up. You're not going to fucking pull one on me like, oh, I want to hear new lore. No. Okay, we're good. Grace Thorpe Groiper says, I'm five foot five in Mexican, so I fit the build along with two hundred pounds. Just a guy says he was young and inexperienced. This happened last year. I mean, yeah, I mean, what do you mean? Yeah, a year ago is a long time ago. I'm twenty. That's that's a big difference, clearly. Like no shit. L word is for love. A lot of yeah, a lot of Americans are like, oh, you can't say love. That's like very packed language. It's like, no, it's not. Like platonically, of course. Still true though, even though it's a cope. Twenty year old is a kid. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, when I'm twenty five, it's gonna be a big difference from where I am now. And of course, you know, when I was 15, I was also really child just compared to where I am now. I mean, that's just like really just common sense at that point. And I mean, there's no argument to be had here. So, <clears throat> CNN needs to bring on Grace Thorpe instead of their stupid ass anchors. Why? What do you mean? What's, what's the joke? Okay, what else can I show you? So I ran through what I was going to talk about today. So give me any questions you want before I end. Um, I can go through my screenshots because I took some screen. Uh, I took some screenshots of the text. Sorry, of the stream chat while I was in class because I wanted to make sure that they were talking about me. I was like, what the fuck? Because I got a DM and somebody was like, hey, by the way, they're talking about you. So I'm like, okay. Oh, oh, I just remembered one thing. Okay, perfect. Okay. That's why you should chill. Uh, you should chill associating with people. Wait, sorry. Wait, hold on. That's why you should chill associating with people like this. You'll make mistakes you'll regret. Uh, true, but I didn't do anything of the sort. Okay. 
Graystorp Groiper says, what have you done for the conservative movement? Okay, Ricky, I know it's you, you fucking idiot. And first of all, you said I was 200 pounds. You are fatter than me by far. You have a worse build. You're balding. Shut the fuck up. Ratio. Felted. Roasted. All right, you should do a Zane beef review. I can talk about the Zane thing. Link it to me on Instagram again, and I'll, and I'll pull it up. Ricky. See, you suck. You suck as a troll. I knew it was you from the fucking jump, you idiot. Fucking retard. Fucking idiot. Let me let me pull up some Ricky pics. Nigga's gonna kill himself. <laughs> you, what the, you thought we were gonna pull one on me? 200 pounds? Are you kidding me? Are you calling me fat retard? Are you fucking kidding me? Come on, dog. I'm about to flex on these niggas. Let's go, bro. What are you talking about? Me fat? Kill yourself. What are you, Grace Thorpe? Ugh. Okay, hold on. Let me let me share a pic with chat real quick. This is so hot to me. This is so like so funny. <laughs> oh my god. Ricky says, I wasn't trying to make fun of you. I was trying to make fun of the gripers. Okay. Okay, fine, whatever. Anyway, let's look at let, let, let's look at this shit real quick. Look at this. Grace writes the N-word in Jew on her chest directly after a lol cow stream. This is hot. I'm sorry, but this is fucking hilarious. See, no college girl would ever do this. This is so funny to me. And again, like, this is not wifey material by any means, but, like, that's a good friend. That, that, that's, like, a good friend. You know what I mean? Like, it's like I'm, I'm Jesus and she's Mary Magdalene, so to speak. Now, is that a uh, off-collar thing to say religiously? Maybe. But anyway, uh, so. Hold on one second. RD says, how do you feel about this whole circus? The whole Lol Cow podcast thing seems gross. Talking about Grace and Ben. I think it's a great thing for the uh, great thing for them because it gets some exposure. They've had a good growth uh, since then. I remember I less than a year ago was getting uh, I was giving them when I joined their streams. They were getting sixty to eighty viewers, and to be honest, uh, they are at like two hundred ish now. So they've tripled growth in a year. And that's really important, not because they've grown so much in subscribers, but more so the active viewership, which gives them triple the amount of sims to extort money out of and grift, and that's perfect. Uh, so. I think it, it helps them a lot. I guess for me, it's just sad. And I also make content about them. So maybe I'm a hypocrite, says RD. Um, I would say, yeah, I like your streams, by the way. I, I watch all of them. Uh, Okay. What's your major? It's criminal justice right now. Omar sadly says, homie just called himself Jesus and his phone sex partner was Mary Magdalene. Wasn't that kind of funny? That's funny. I don't actually mean it. Thanks, man. It's RD. Okay. Uh, uh, Trent says, what if Mary was in the club and she met Joseph around hella thugs? That's Wolves by Kanye West. I know what you're talking about. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's, let's read these comments. Okay. So first and foremost, I took a screenshot of this today and, uh, some simp retard called FMJ716 says, you got to get him hard first. That's no fair because they were talking about like Grace, you know, doing stuff for me on FaceTime. And again, to make it clear, we had three or four calls that were of that nature. She implies like it was only one bitch. If it was that bad, you wouldn't have done it three or four times. She says she's a victim. She's not a victim. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Okay. You know what would have made her, you know what, <laughs> you know what would have made a fucking blast toy squirt? It would have been if I pulled out this shit. If I pulled out the Merce, I pull out the Merce. It's over for y'all niggas. <laughs> I pull out the Merce. It's over for y'all, bro. It's over. I'm taking all the hoes. Anyway. <clears throat> Um, so, uh, so Grace was complaining that I didn't get a boner when we were doing a FaceTime call and, uh, this FMJ guy says, you got to get him hard first. That's no fair. She says, I already tried that and failed. Okay. Look, this is retarded. She's implying that I didn't have a boner. I did. I actually admitted that. In fact, I remember that, but what I, and again, this is like super unprofessional, but look at where my hand's going. I went like this. And I was keeping it alive. Like it was, it was hard. Like I didn't unzip my pants, but I was like, definitely hard. Now, did I like enjoy myself? No, because I was too focused. I was too locked in in the moment. And that was stupid. I should have just relaxed, but I was autistic. I was inexperienced. Okay. Wouldn't happen now, but back then 20 year old me, I'm still 20, but like 10 months ago, it was a big golfing experience. Frankly, folks, shit happens. Okay. 
it's like you know me fumbling Grace's pussy is like nine eleven under Bush like like on paper isn't that like a huge oversight of security yes but did Bush still win in two thousand four that election yes and so like did I fumble it then yes but years later will I still have everybody on beck and call later on yeah probably so. It's all good. My copium is in line. It's like the Sistine Chapel of Cope. It's all dripped up. It's all drawn and it's perfectly constructed. Okay, so try to kill me now. <laughs> try to take me apart. I bet it won't happen. Mercer Israel. Criminal justice is putting criminals in jail. Seems like a pretty simple major. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, I love it. Well, you have to grow mentally first, then you'll learn exactly how cringe all this drama is with her just looking out. Well, how old are you, Char? But wisdom usually comes the hard way. Merce equals raisin pussy. Some people said that I looked like a handsome homicidal serial killer. And, I mean, the Merce makes me look less like a rapist, to be honest. So, I mean, it goes both ways. I don't know. We'll have to look into it. But, okay. Okay, what, what else was I going to review? Cover Zane lore? Oh, yeah. Hold on. One second. He was in the club. Dun, 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 dun. Give me a second. Let me cook something real quick. Uh, wait, one second. <sighs> All right. Okay, wait, wait. What was it? Okay. Oh, well, I had screenshots. Okay, hold on. Cause she asked me, will you talk about the boner thing? I did have a boner. That is true. I did. Okay. All right. So this is what people said. So Can of Worm says, Lalo is gay. In response to like the story about me. They kept on saying I was a guy named Lalo Gombrazi who's like a YouTuber. RK says he was on a Destiny's panel once, Keem, the Lalo guy. See, that's why me losing the Destiny was a great thing. And that's why Grace did me a big solid by getting me on there. Because it gets my name out there. It gets my face out there. And yeah, I did lose to Destiny in a debate that was like a close and shut case. Obviously, Andrew Tate did sex traffic bitches to do webcam whoring. Which is so trad, by the way. Not. Uh, so... Also, this guy says three 40-year-olds talking about a 21-year-old girl's sex life. See, that's the W. They're 40 years old talking about when she masturbated for me. But this is an L for Lalo. See see how it's really just a cope on that end? That's a cope. It's a cope. It's a cope. It's a cope. 40-year-old Keemstar is talking about my sex life implicitly. I'm winning. You know, when I'm 40, and I'm, am I going to be talking about a 20-year-old guy's FaceTime sex call? Not going to happen. In fact, I would stick a fucking Luger in my mouth and just fucking blow it. The trigger that is. Because that's insane. So, W me. W cope. W hype. You're over 25, Char? It's free exposure, yeah. Lalo is unironically spitting here, says Max. See? Yeah. I'm him. RK says, the fact that you brought Lalo on LOL Cow was fucking hilarious and he's going to lose it. This is from Grace's most recent stream. RK, what are your thoughts now? Did I lose it or did I cook some good content? Grace told me, she's like, there's not much you could add to it. I told the truth. Well, what happened, bitch? Look, frankly, I win. I won the whole thing. And I shouldn't have won. I should have just participated in the sex back then. But that was, you know, but it's a dub for me anyway. And uh, yeah, I mean, what am I going to say? Awkward either way. Yeah. Okay. What else? <sighs> yeah. So she has like, oh, Lalo's gay cope. You know, honestly, at this point, imagine I had a girlfriend on stream. She would kill herself. Like, what would the cope be then? Oh, he's only fucking her to like, look straight. I mean, this is just literal like QAnon, like trust the plan. RK says, I'll lose it as in you got what you wanted. Bro, you were on LOL Call Live. LOL, LOL Cow Live, LOL. Okay. Without even having to get on. True. Special Victim Maxer says, Lolo getting Grace pussy for free. Meanwhile, OPC Don PayPig spent $10,000 in the minus 
and has just only managed to garner the interest of the biggest lesbian in the Thorverse. <laughs> okay, that's fucking funny. Uh, I don't think he's trying to fuck Grace, but that is true that there are guys that have given Grace hundreds if not thousands of dollars and have not gotten what I've gotten. And that seems douchey for me to just like say it out and out, but it's true. And I, I even told her that before that I got off on the fact that other guys wanted what I had and they didn't. But yeah. Like, for example, I thought it was funny that like Ethan Ralph was like, wow, I'm getting Grace to like dance for me. I'm like putting her on this crowd. I'm getting her clout. And she's like in a skirt. Meanwhile, like she did stuff fucking naked for me. But see, here's the thing. It's such a douche move for me to even say that, but it's okay because it's public, which is why I appreciate Grace. Because if I had a girlfriend in high school, I couldn't talk about it publicly because it would make me look like a dick. And so that's why I like Grace. So again, that friendship matters a lot to me. OPC Don could have spent that money on 100 escorts. Yeah, well, I don't think prostitutes are cool though. I don't think it's based. I think it's like, it's not even like, I think my opinion of sex is more so like love and not so much like the nut personally, but that seems kind of like a gay take to have nowadays. Anyway, Rick, wait, Rick. So you're telling me to cover the Zane lore. How about you got, do you have a super chat for, for a real nigga right now? Huh? Do, do you have a super chat by the way? Rick, do you have a fucking super chat? Let's get that. Let's get that. Uh, Let's get that cash app working for a real one in the in the description right now. Because this has nothing to do with this uh post. What else do we have in here that I could share? Um so we're in the waning period of the stream. I'm kind of curious if there's anything I need to review going forward. I have so many screenshots from like the Grace live chat that have nothing to do with like the stream that I'm looking through right now. So they're kind of funny. Okay. So anyway, let's check chat again. Should I have music in the background of the stream? I haven't ever thought of that. Or uh, Trent says OPC Don could have had 200 high and Tinder dates. Yeah. Char says, wouldn't recommend, but if you really wanted to fuck her, you should have watched close how she interacted with her dad and took meds. Shut the fuck up, dude. That's so gross. Look, look, I, I, I get what you're saying, but still, that's like so appallingly disgusting. Oh, okay, 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 Rick. Okay, so did I get the cash? Wait, did I delete the app? Is that why I'm not getting the notification? Wait, hold on. Um, let's see if I got your money. Uh, wait, hold on. <clears throat> Let me make sure I got the money though. Cause I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to do you a favor and then not have gotten the money. You, you, you literally sent me a screenshot, but still. Okay. Okay. You did send it. Okay. So he sent me $5. Okay. So there's some obscure Twitter drama from like acquaintances I have from Arizona. We're going to cover it because I did get paid to do it. So let's go ahead and just check that out real quick. All right. So this has to do with this account called 1776 Rail Fan. Okay. Your political videos get a lot of views. Thorpe videos, not so much. Stick to politics. I mean, yeah, but I mean, she literally did mention me on a big podcast. So, I mean, I might as well. Plus, like, this stream shit is so boring. I mean, the politics stuff is boring to me. So that's what I wanted to talk about just tonight because... I was going to upload anyway. So let's go ahead and just find this content on YouTube. I mean, sorry, on Twitter. There's a very dyscenic guy named Zane in politics. He's like 18 or 19, and he's uh looks like Freddy Krueger crossed with a sex offender, many would say. And we're going to cover his beef that he has with some other teenager called Nico. And we're going to just cover that because we got a big super chat, really. So let's go ahead and try to find it. Um, this was from like 48 hours ago. So I have to dig a little bit. Don't worry about it. So what's funny is that they make fun of each other's looks. So this guy called the MAGA rail fan on Twitter is so ugly. In fact, 
that they basically call him a pedophile on behalf of just his hairline. And, you know, the thing is somewhat appalling and it's crazy. So let's just go ahead and check this shit out. So we're looking, we're digging, we're trying to find it. Oh, great. I always come to Lalo to first for any American politics, politics or current affair politics. Shut up, bitch. Shar says, yeah, she's gross, and that's why I wouldn't recommend it, and she's mid as fuck. You're not getting the point, Shar. Shar, you're not getting the point, bro. It's not about, oh, Grace is mid. It's like the content, okay? If if you had a, okay, if you put Grace in my college and I saw her walking by the hallway, I wouldn't even fucking look at her. I wouldn't even care. That's not even the point. That's not even the point, folks. It's everything around it that makes it interesting, retard. It's not like, oh, Oh, oh my God. It's her fat ass. I mean, there is none, folks. It's not even that. It's just kind of awesome. Like everything, all the attention she has. And I'm like right there. It's so funny to me. Is it narcissistic as a rationale? Yeah. But is it gay? No, it isn't. Holy fuck does that rail fan guy tweet so much, man. Like I'm so pissed off. This motherfucker just does not cease to stop tweeting. It's really insane, dog. I still haven't even fucking found it. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, I'm just going to go through Instagram and find my DMs. Okay, this is taking too fucking long. Anyway. Let's uh, look through the DMs real quick. So, I'll find it within like 20 seconds. Watch. No, you didn't even fucking send it to me, Rick. Okay, send it to me on, on IG DMs because the iMessage doesn't work on my Windows computer. So, just do that real quick. Oh, I found it. I found it. Okay, never mind. Okay, here we go. All right. So, this is so funny. This is so fucking funny. This is so good. Rick, you just sent me in on my... I told you fucking DMs on IG. Okay, but I found it. Okay. On Discord. Okay, whatever. Okay, so Nico Delgado says, Blake Masters, once a fake, always a fake. So he's taking a stance against a Republican in Arizona in the primary. Earth Bro says Kang Lalo. Why Kang and not what? What is that a joke? He put my name with two capital L's. Okay, so it's ironic because it's a black caricature of We Was Kangs, but then also my name with two capital L's. What does that even mean? Anyway, so the real fan replies and says, these ads didn't work in 2022 and they sure as hell won't work now. Blake is one of the most conservative candidates to run in recent memory and everybody knows that. And then Nico replies with, lol. So this was it. This was it. This is the reply. So this, so, okay. So this is the MAGA rail fan on Twitter. And so Nico pulls up some bullshit like, oh, Blake Masters is a fake politician. Then the rail fan has like a high IQ a dissertation against Nico, and then Nico just replies with a fucking picture of this guy because he's ugly. Okay. And then the rail fan says, yeah, I was campaigning for the most nationalistic candidate in 2022. What's the problem here? You aren't even old enough to vote. <laughs> so he's beefing with a 17-year-old. This guy Zane is the rail fan. And then uh, Nico replies and said, it's not even your campaigning that's the problem. It's your face. Which is brutal. And then the rail fan copes and says, Nico, if you're going to be a child and attack people's appearances, just know that you're not in a position to do so. So, I mean, clearly, Nico is in, like, a normal-looking kid. Like, you know, teenager. I mean, nowhere near as fucking ugly as Zane over here, the rail fan. But, I mean, it's it's, it's a funny all the more. Um, Earth Bull says, you're from a royal bloodline. The Spanish had kings, okay? Earth Bull says, Grace didn't want to shout out your channel to Keem, but, and Keem wanted to see a legendary Lalo commentator. commentator. Uh, I couldn't have called in because I was on my, uh, I wasn't even there. I told Grace I was going to be in class anyway, so. And also, Grace said my name like five times. She only had to say it once. And what is she going to say? Oh, it's the Lalo AZ03. Like, that's like technically what my key term is on YouTube, but my channel is more or less Lalo, so. Grace has no problem with like making me grow. She wants me to succeed, obviously. So, Ismith Politics says, "Why are you attacking a child? Incredible! What kind of Christian attacks a child?" 
Madagascar Tiger says, what does this have to do with religion? No, I'm just mocking him because he says the same shit over every time. Someone makes fun of his appearances. It's the politics. Magarelfian says, I'm simply responding to his attacks on me. I don't care about his appearance. Only bringing it up because he brought mine. <sighs> and then Bear Pundit says, and he has an Israeli flag in his account. It's like a 50-year-old man. One is not like the other. So some 50-year-old man on Twitter puts two pictures of two separate twink teenagers and says, one is not like the other. So Nico on the left and then Railfin on the right. Now, clearly Nico is like, uh, again, like, like average looking, whereas uh, this guy is a fucking mess. Clearly. I mean, like, what the fuck is this? It's like, dude, this looks like the inside of a shark's anus, I guess. I, I, I Like, okay, bro. Anyway, but. I mean, that's brutal. Uh, oh my God. And then he says, this is the sixth time in the past 30 minutes the bear has posted about me. Bear Pundit is a... Bear Pundit is a rail fan hater. A rotter. Uh, but he's 6'4". Yeah, the rail fan is 6'4". He is 6'4". He's like a skeletal, scary-ass scarecrow. He's awesome. He loves Zane. Immigration restrictionist, Trump 2024 Christian. Just dono $25 to your cash app? No fucking way you did. Kevin Lupa says, cut the stream. Fuck you, Kevin. Pay me, bitch. Kevin be like, cut the stream. Fuck you, Kevin. Suck my dick. How about that, you fucking homo? Yeah, you actually did. Wow. Yo, yo big shout out. Dude, thank you. Thank you. What the fuck? Let's go. Thank you. Whoa, that's awesome, dude. Jesus Christ. See, Ricky, self a bitch. The, the, the Chad donator versus the virgin donator. That's awesome. Let's go. Big super chat. We appreciate it, folks. That's crazy. I didn't even see that coming. That's fucking nuts. We're so back. We are so fucking back. But I mean, this grace stuff. Uh, do we have any more content there? The Super Tuesday stream made a lot. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, yeah, I was on there. That was that was awesome. Yeah, but I mean, this is why uh, she had FaceTime. Oh, so see, Grace, oh, why sorry, sorry, everybody... Sorry. Well, well, okay, hold on. You're right. This is your first Lalo live stream? I'm also not a virgin donator, Lumpau. You no, know I'm saying the virgin donator, Ricky, who sent me $5 versus the Chad $25 donator. That's what I meant. But I mean, this is why I got to score with Grace. Okay, this is the average. She has a video called The Average Grace Thorpe Simp. We feel sorry for you, and I don't. Is because you you can go out. You could go get a job part-time. You can be doing things, and Ben does not hold you back from doing that. Does he? Maybe he does. No. See? So you're, 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 uh, you like your position, right? Yeah, I just want to. <laughs> yeah. Oh, exactly. what the fuck? Exactly. Right. 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 That's what she's really afraid of. She's not afraid of getting kicked or punched, and she's not afraid of uh, anything. She's afraid of losing her fucking meal ticket. That's literally. That's like that's literally like uh, what do you call it? That's like uh, Jesus Christ. He looks like Jack Harlow on meth and fentanyl. It's not coming out of his nose. Grace should recap your live stream of you recapping her guest appearance. She's the type to totally do that, and I'd be flattered by it. She's done that before. The booger guy is a troll. No, he's not. She's like a seven. I don't know why people simp for normal women just because they have online clout. Because it's more funny that way. And also, I'm not even simping. It's reciprocated. Like, what am I? I'm not do going on a limb. I've always, like, she's been nicer to me than I've been nicer to her. She said I was an eight or a nine out of ten, which is somewhat of a highball. And I've only said a seven at best for her. And so, like, I'm, like, you know, I'm not even being a simp. What am I going to say? Nigga looked like he had Moko stripping from his nose. Real. Char says, you don't even have enough game to get in Grace's pants without compromising yourself. You're inexperienced with females. It all results in cringe. See, now that's, like, the closest thing to an insult you could get. Yeah, no, that is kind of true. Uh, Max says, most pathetic lesbian ever. Real niggas use ad blocks. Donate zero dollars and use chat to destroy people's self-esteem. Who's the lesbian, Grace? I just want to see Lalo and Grace happy. It's crazy. Anyway, what was the most recent stream? The one where she's insane? 
this one. Oh, this one's a banger. All right. A seven is two times more attractive than the average person. Grace is a six. See, now that's more appropriate to the thinking. A seven is pretty attractive. Now, this is the stream I'm talking about. It's my dad went to prison and I'm streaming to keep from going insane. So the context is that her dad kicked her while he was mad at her, um, which is obviously beyond the pale, like complete retard, you know. Maybe like serious discipline. Let's, let's show the clip. Watch. Because it's going to Oh, echo, Ricky. Yeah, I know. Ned Rika. All right. Stay tuned, actually. Stay tuned because I uh, when I come back. Shut up! Shut up, Grace! Shut up, Grace! Okay, watch. Who's at the new show? Grace. Yeah. So he gets her to go downstairs to set the thermostat because he's so fucking lazy. He cannot even get up for two minutes and just touch the fucking thermostat. Okay, which is so stupid. <laughs> We're on stream right now. Yes, we are. Okay. I want you to ask this. I want to ask you this question. Okay. Do I feel safer with a camera on me around you? Yes, you do. Then with a camera not on me? Yes, you do. Is that for a good reason? Yes, I'm crazy. You're legitimately incredibly dangerous. Yes. To you. Yep. Right there. Is that a joke? It's not a joke. It's funny, but it's not a joke. It's serious. Just X out of the tab. Close out of the tab, man. This right here is the truth, folks. Oh. Now he's bitching about his little iPad or whatever. Anyway. <clears throat> OPP says, Lalo, I streamed Super Tuesday too since Donald Trump got the nomination and got 65,000 views. Yeah, I saw that, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I mean, I was at school, but I saw the view count. I'm like, damn, that's like actually insane. You must be on it on Safari. I understand. I, I, like, that's what, this is a larger point, Grace. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's be honest and say this. First of all, his outfit is dog shit. His outfit is terrible. Look at the fucking colors. Green, black, and white. You feel safer on or off stream. Off stream. Okay. What does that tell you, that little bit of math? That I am, like, abusive, or I like that. You're much. protected oh. from public view. Yeah. And you prefer that. Yeah. To be held accountable by the standards of basic human decency, which are on the internet are minimal. Are you going to kick her or what, dude? Let's get to the kick. Yeah. Damn, what the fuck? How long is this in here? If you, but if you're... If you want to oppose me, see you like, hey, do you want to stop telling lies? You go, yeah. Bruh, 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 bruh. Just and, and you're positive with you. I... The yeah, audience, man. Just kick Grace, know. nigga. Just kick Grace. Where but, is my kick? Brother. The chat's going crazy about the ragu, so you might as well play it up. like that. Find the timestamp in the comments. That's a great idea, actually. Let's just get to the point where I fucking uh, dab on Grace. This was this was uh, a turning point. So this is where she starts writing on herself, and I thought this was like so disconcerting. And this is why like being emotionally attached to her was a bad idea because I was like, dude, really? I mean, she's gonna put this on here. I mean, okay, like, dude, this is just so gross. And I don't know if it's weird, but I'm like, what if my little sister did that? Like, how disappointed would I be? And I understand that, like, Grace is my age, so it's, like, not even like that. She's not my kid or anything, but that's still so fucking gross. Like, just imagine somebody in my church went up to me and is like, hey, wait, you're friends with this girl? I'm going to be like, what? No. What if she was your e-girlfriend? How would you feel? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, imagine if she did that when I was still involved with her. That's, like, so gross to me. She looks good in the chest. That's funny. Uh, I mean, she's all right, I guess. I'm actually confused. What was the, what was the last thing you did that? Where do I call in? I'm like right I around was, here. And it was, okay, I think people can be somewhat sympathetic because it was the devil who convinced me to do that. And I did fall for it, but I'm sorry for it. I'm sorry for it. I didn't deserve it. Yeah, this, this should be between you and God, though. Like, I hope, <laughs> hope you're genuine with, with all this. Well, what do you mean? Like, yeah, I should pray privately. That's true. I could turn it into a cross. Maybe that would be more appropriate. Turning a dick into a cross. That's pretty. That's pretty wild, Grace. Oh fuck! It doesn't look like it all. Anyway. But yeah, the reason she feels ashamed for him going to jail is because, on camera, she does this whole bit. Where Damn, I'm trying to find it. Like kind of I was in and there. I was in there for this. two minutes out of six hours. Listen to ben so it's almost impossible to find this shit. Yeah. Okay, wait. I'm right around here. I'm right around here. What? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead. 
So. Easy on me. Okay, so you're afraid. saying you were acting like you were afraid of him. Yes, I was. I was. What the fuck are we even I, looking I, at? I, I, this is this is the girl that was on the podcast. Remember? Well, can't be so much this was like two days before this. Convinced me to do that. Before the podcast, this is like it, really recent. I'm sorry for it. I'm sorry for it. I didn't deserve it. Oh, oh, I'm right here. I'm right here, dude. Look at this shit. Like I renounced this, the devil and all his lies. Watch this. Watch this. No, not to do exorcism. He can't do the exorcism. Oh, okay. Okay, dude. This is so funny. Dude, but mind you, at the time I was like, man, I'm so disappointed in you. But now I'm like, okay, I mean, this bitch is clearly just out of it, but. What's up, Lalo? Oh, okay. Damn, I was about to give up. Okay, so I'm seeing you in the state. This is fucking terrible, by the way. Uh, but, no, it's not. I mean, it's good. It's not terrible. I don't know at all. What part so of this is terrible? I'm a liar. Pathetic. I want to be a good girl, and I love the cross, and I love penises. What's wrong with this? It's gross. Straight up, it's pathetic. You're gross. I'm disappointed in you. You're gross. Okay. You're gross and pathetic. Interesting. Nothing here is a lie. Great You're a liar. I'm not trying to oh, come back. Okay. You're gross and pathetic. What the fuck happened to you? Uh, okay. I'm not. Lying I, I, to you. That's what's happened. No, I just think you're gonna come no on here and call me this. gross and pathetic for saying this. I don't need you to salvage me. You're not a real. That's man. fine. I don't good need luck. a fake man to salvage me. What? No. Good luck with everything. This is weird. I'm grossed out. Bye. You're a child. Go. Go grow up, Lalo. Thousands of girls need this. Go grow up. Go run back to your mommy and have her buy you another fucking purse. You're a weak, fake man. I don't need you to salvage me. I don't want your lies. So, I mean, just look at that. She's fucking nuts. Like, I just say, like, look, this is gross. Like, I just give up. At some point, I'm like, you know what? <laughs> this is too nuts. This is too insane. This is too insane. Okay. So, while I go pee for a minute, just, just watch what she says after. Okay? Give me one minute. should write fatty on your stomach. Yeah, I do need to lose weight. Well, you can't really see it, but there you go. Ugh, it doesn't. Make it jiggle. <laughs> Let star on girl fight. I don't see a star. Star, hello? You said star glow? Hello. Hello. What's that? What are you doing? Um, I am trying to become a good girl. Have you done this before? Did it work? Um, no, I haven't really been honest with my chat before like this. Not really. A little bit sometimes, but not really. And I still have a ways to go, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm getting there. Okay, but something like the shame ritual thing, have you done it before? Like, maybe not on chat, but somewhere else? Um, to be honest, I avoid doing this because I feel like I have an issue with guilt. And so I feel like if I feel very ashamed, I, like, I'm not going to be able to get out of it. But... I do think that actually it's actually very liberating to say that I'm ashamed of what I've done because I don't think it was really me. I think it was the devil and I'm sorry for it, but it wasn't really me. So it's actually liberating. It's I'm not really shaming myself. I'm just shaming okay, the back. evil that convinced me to do this. And I was wrong for listening to it. But All right. So let's really, catch up with like chat. Um, <clears throat> Lala wasn't lying. Real. On point politics is what's wrong with this girl. So she has a scandal. So she has a broken family. She has like, she's part of a six sibling household where the parents are like kind of divorced and she has like a codependent relationship with her father and whatnot. Um, Char says she's, she's not going to lie. She's hotter at like this. Look, low key, kind of like, I see what you're saying for sure, but no. Hey, Grace, draw George Bush on your bush. That's not funny. Hmm. My chemical romance appreciator says surprised emoji. Uh-huh. Her father her father spent 700k. Uh kind of. They're not good with money obviously and they're low on it. I mean this is totally like a concophony of manic uh ideation plus needing to bait donos. I get it, you know. Ugh, shit is crazy. Um but okay, so that's that live stream. Do we have anything else? Lala, when you make it big, you'll be one of the funniest political YouTubers and senators out there. Bro's going to run against Kitty Hobbs for Senate. That's funny. Yeah. Um, <sighs> dude, it's so weird, though. It's so weird watching this. Like, just considering everything. 
Lola wins by 2.3 in Arizona. I would hope so. As a Mexican, I'd get their vote. Do we have any other Grace content? Lola already made it big. They're just trying to shadow ban him. No, no. I don't, I don't think I'm shadow banned. It's just that a lot of my content prior to a couple months ago was like really bad because my voice hadn't dropped yet and it was so shit back then. I even showed the, a little bit of it on the stream. But um, yeah. Worst time to waste money is during the hyperinflation. Well, not really, because say, because because if there's inflation, then every month that goes by, your money's gonna lose value. Whereas if you spend it right at the beginning of the inflation, then it's not so bad, as the way I see it. But uh, let me let me see what's what else is here. The problem with Grace is that she private the vast majority of her streams so that they wouldn't get flagged. Which pisses me off because she could just do members only on the back catalog so I could see it. So there's like literally dozens of live streams that I'm on prominently and I can't watch them, which fucking sucks because clearly that was cool. Inflation went up again today. Well, what do you mean? Like by like a tenth of a percentage or. Um. Do we have anything else in here? I was thinking of investments that gave passive income. Okay. Yeah. I love to know I'm back. The stream is still going. Yeah, dude. Um, We're again, we're waning. I already got through what I was going to talk about primarily, but I mean, is there anything else you want me to cover? We've got. I haven't looked since I haven't looked into not so erudite since I made that uh, reaction to the Bridges podcast because for whatever reason the second episode isn't out for a while from what I understand. But I find I find that Kyla bitch so entertaining. She's like so autistic. Like I could totally, I know she's married, so but but like I could break that in technically. In, like she is ten years older than me, but it's still fascinating. Fuck it, I'm gonna show it. This is hot. This is hot. I'm not going to lie. I don't, I don't even know why I like her so much, but this is awesome. Omar says his friend likes destiny. How do how do you convert that? Kill him. Anyway, so look at this. She's so what like you know she's not confident in herself. Like she doesn't know. Like she she is not with it. She like folks, she is not with it. You know what I mean? Like she is totally just screaming 15-year-old theater girl. It's so innocent. RK says, Lalo, Uridite or Torsha? Uridite, obviously. Torsha is like a four with like a ton of makeup and fake titties. I'd still hit it, but still, like. Fuck. Oh, my God. My fucking lamp fell. Jesus Christ. Wait, wait a second. I'm trying to set up my OBS. Meanwhile, my fucking lamp falls. They don't want me to win. They want me to suffer. They want me. To, they want me in jail. They want me to lose. See the lighting now. It's all fucked up. Oh my fucking god. Does that work for you guys? Eurydice is just a guy. Ben Thorpe says, hey, Lalo. Dude, you're... wait, 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 wait. It's like three in the morning for you, Ben, and you wake up now? What the fuck? Okay, what's up? Put me on, nigga. Uh, see, the thing with you, Ben, is that you talk so long. Like, you just take forever. I remember the last time I had a stream, Ben, like, I was paid 20 bucks to have Ben call in for, like, five minutes, and he spent half an hour talking about some bullshit. Then he had some, like, manic idea, like, a proposal to make content, and I'm like, I'm not going to do it. And he's like, oh, so you're an asshole. I'm like, well, I let you talk, bitch. Like, you could have just stopped. God damn. Just put a timer. Legal. I don't want to talk about legal stuff. Look, in regards to your daughter, should you have gone to jail over kicking your kid? Frankly, yes, number one. Two. The whole argument with you is like, well, my daughter consented to getting shoved in the butt. And it's like, look, fuck you. First of all, like, do you not have mental control? And you could say like, she wound me up for five years. First of all, that's your fault, nigga. You cannot be wound up by your daughter if you have a successful marriage because you can offset the stress with other people. But you instead fumble your own marriage, okay? That is your fault. You don't hear my dad complaining about my sister. 
but you're here bitching about Grace. I get it. She's crazy, dog. But that's your problem, nigga. I'm not here to hear that shit. I don't care. Deal with it. Send the link. Look, Ben. Cash app in the description. One dollar per minute. I'm not going to do this bullshit of like, oh, my legal theory. Who cares, bro? I, I heard you wanted to like go to Russia where domestic abuse isn't illegal. I don't care. Um, I want to know why Ben spent over $600,000 trying to get away from his wife. That's not really how it works. But uh, yeah, but I mean, Kyla is hot. Like she's got something in there. I, I know it sounds creepy coming from, well, coming from me, it's not creepy because I'm like, again, young, but like she totally is uh. Like, there's something there. I could bring it out of her. I could totally get it out, too. I just don't know. And mind you, the cuck husband's right there, but she calls him a short king. Look, I'm also a short king. I'm 5'8", but if my wife called me a short king, if she acknowledged my height as a negative, I would put 10 digits around her fucking throat and then take them off because I don't do that. But still, it's like, come on, man. Really? You're going to, like, embarrass me like that? Short king? Fuck you, Kyla. Like, you're 5'6". You know, if, like, Grace called me a short king, at least she's, like, taller than me. But, like, Kyla, really? It's really a joke. It's really a fucking joke. And I like that. That's hot. <laughs> uh, Lalo can ask Ben some hard quit. I don't care. Ben says, God, Lalo, you suck so much. Whatever, loser. So get lost, kid. Good luck, but no more Thorpe collabs. <gasps> uh, uh, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Suff a bitch. I don't give a fuck. What? <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, like, that's a threat, bro. You're out, nigga. Peace. Okay, yeah, you have all the leverage, you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> What are you going to do? Violate your no contact order with your daughter to not talk to me, you fucking idiot. <laughs> like, do you see? You see how dumb you sound? Where well, you're going to threaten me with nothing? Oh, great. Okay, great. <sighs> Suggs? What? Lala just waiting for Kyla to break out, really? Ben says, Suffa, nigga, as if, bro, you want to call into my little stream, you idiot. Uh, they're going to say you use the N-word too much, who, Kyla? Uh, I don't use the N-word that much. <laughs> okay, perfect. So, so we're waiting for Kyla to break out with her husband. I'm going to love watching you trying to slime back in. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Kyla is a hottie. I mean, hold on. Let me find the most flattering picture of her real quick. Because these are hard to come by. Look, her blonde is not a look. Okay, this is gross. I mean, look at the fucking... Look at this. This is creepy. This is like strawberry blonde. And I mean, the, the mascara or whatever you call this like eyeliner thing is really creepy. So that isn't it. Just because she's got a goal, it doesn't mean you can't score. ALR says, why not let Ben on stream? Because Ben asked me, he wants to talk about his legal problem. I don't care about his legal problem, for one. Two, he talks too much. That's the problem. Lalo pulling an easy E versus Dr. Dre. How? I get the reference, but how? Now, this is also a really shitty picture of Kyla. She looks like a mother here, and she's not even given birth yet. So, and again, it's like, oh, why are you making fun of her? It's like, well, dude, I mean, she posted this publicly. Okay. So, uh, what else? Here, this is high. She's got her ass out. I mean, this is nice. This is a dub. She knew what she was doing with this bait. That's cute. That's cute. Okay, okay. Now, okay, okay. Now we can take the husband out. Lala wants to focus on himself. Ben's wants to talk about himself too. You guys used to make great content together. You had all the fun. You had fun on Grace's podcast. What do you mean? 
Yeah, so Ben is a narcissist and I'm narcissistic, which there's a difference in. But, I mean, for him to assume that I'm going to acquiesce to him for one reason, I don't understand. She does have some cake. Yeah, real. But, I mean, this is the competition. I mean, really? Lalo sneaking against him, Sponge. I don't sneak. I just do it out in the open. What would Destiny do? Has Destiny fucked her? I would hope so. He better have because this bitch is annoying, which I love. When's the next 304 video? Um, I, I found a lot of success doing the political prediction videos, so not until after those fizzle out, which will take like another year. Well, not a year, but like 10 months. He wants to be your cult daddy. Uh, just a guy says, Ben's got his own channel. Let him do a stream there. Well, that's the thing. You know, Ben has his own stream. He's got his own technology, but he doesn't want to stream on his own. I'm assuming because he has an insecurity profoundly. Because he doesn't think he's good enough for YouTube, which I understand because when he did run a stream by himself and had Grace do the tech for him two years ago or whatever, clearly those didn't go viral. And clearly he got his ass kicked by a myriad of different people just from me skimming it back then. And so, like, obviously he doesn't have that sauce. And, you know, when you look at his accomplishments, he ran an Ethiopian restaurant into the ground as a white guy, which is like a stupid thing to go for. And then, two, he was a fucking high school teacher. So, I mean, he doesn't have much to stand on. So, obviously, I can see why he feels insecure about streaming. So, he has to have, like, a cute daughter run the shit for him, which I can see why he needs that. But, it's, I mean, it's like the Dutch fat retard running Elvis's career. He couldn't do better than Elvis. So he has to latch on to Elvis. If you watched the biopic with Baz Luhrmann, you would understand that. That was a great movie, by the way. I want to sing some Elvis. Ben needs someone to talk to. He's lonely without grace. Okay, well, self a bitch. I think he just doesn't know how to turn on the technology. Well, that's his fault then. Fuck him. You don't think there's other 50-year-old guys that have figured it out? Also, fuck Relay, by the way. Fuck Irrelevant, this guy. This Darius bestie fucking sucks, okay? When I met Darius last year in Phoenix... He's like, look, I'd have you hang out with me at the house, but Relay wouldn't be okay with it. I'm like, dude, what? He's like, well, I think I think he thinks that you're going to send the docs to Grace. Why would I send the address of Darius to Grace when she lives in Rhode Island? Why would that even matter? Just so stupid. Fuck Relay, by the way. Fuck Relay, limp dick nigga alert. Facts. And then two, I covered this on a live stream a couple months ago. I called into the Eurydite stream because Grace plugged me in because I think Grace is a great friend. And she vouches for me, gets me on the Erudite stream. I raise her. I become a douchebag with a fucking gold chain on that was fake from the Guadalajara black market. I'm going in there hard, balls deep to a married bitch. And I say, you know what? The red leg guy's like, you talk like Nick Fuentes. No, fuck you, bitch. Why? Because I'm Latino and I got like the same mannerisms. We want fuck you. How about that, bitch? I'm a different person. Tweet at irrelevant? No. But I'm just saying fuck him. Yeah, but Erdai looks kind of bad. Like, you know, ugh, shit. Ben thinks he's the talent. Let's see that talent on his own channel. Graceless. Just himself talking into a camera. No collab. Let's see if he can do it. Well, he clearly can't, obviously. No shit. And he knows that deep down that without Grace, he wouldn't be shit. And mind you, Grace without Ben wouldn't be shit either because she's like incompetent. This is so fucking gay, by the way. Sorry, I only talk to nofap, sober, stoic, bad boys. Ew. First of all, you're married, so sh you shouldn't talk to any guy, by the way. Just, like, generally. Um, okay. The choker, I don't know what to think about, by the way. It's kind of creepy. And then th she's selling a shirt for $35 called Horse for Biden. How about you rope? What kind of bullshit is that? Go tie a rope around an anchor, throw it in the ocean, attach your ankle to it, and just see how long you live. Because this is ridiculous, by the way. Ridiculous. Kyla likes to eat. She will blow up like a balloon without a man's guidance. She eats strawberries. I don't, I don't, I don't see what your point is. Uh. 
The Joker just means she's kinky? I don't think so. Pose for RFK. They are really turned on by the voice he makes. That sounds like an etching sketch. Imagine RFK phone sex. I think that the vaccine is like a surrogate from my penis in your mouth right now. Uh. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, that's funny. Shit. I might have torched my throat here. She's a Christian, by the way. Well, that's hot, though. She's a fake Christian. That's hot. That means I have an angle. I have an in. I'm like, hey. I pull out King James Version. I, I pull out the Bible that I got from my grandma on my 13th birthday. I'm like, hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. Omar sadly says, remember when RFK got busted for commenting on an OnlyFans host TikTok? No, but W. Also, this tattoo is so disconcerting. I just don't like tattoos. I just don't. I just don't. I just don't like them. Okay. okay. What else do we have for content? Uridite? I mean, we could check out our YouTube channel at this point. I guess we could. What else? I want to sing some fucking Elvis though. Uh, hmm. Destiny reaction? Nah. Destiny's boring. Vouch? No. By the way, I called Vouch a pervert on video three years ago, by the way. I was fucking spot on. By the way, she's a seven. Looks like who? Uridite? Yeah, I love her. Let's go through Jasmine Jafar. Let's go through Jasmine Jafar, which sounds like Aladdin related, but let's just, just, let's just look through this. She has 200,000 followers following 100 people. She's a whole lawyer by her own description with a lobster. On Point Politics says, Let's Talk Elections is an official mainstream media. He works for the Biden campaign. Really? So he's like Harry Sison? Yeah, fuck him. <sighs> Love from Puerto Rico. This is just low class. I, I don't like this. It sounds like I'm gay, but like this is just too forward. Like if you have big tits, don't flaunt them. Like it's too obvious. Like if your titties were a person, be Shaquille O'Neal size, okay? Like you don't have to say I'm tall if you're seven feet tall. Just like keep them low key. Meat pillows. I honestly, in, I'm going to sound gay, but these are too big. I like them C cup or B. Like, I don't like them this big. This is just too much. It's too much. Like, she says, what do you bring to the table? This is gross. Like, value your... Like, her dad probably wants to beat the shit out of his kid. If she has one in her life. Her papa wants to beat the shit out of Jasmine Jafar. Imagine if your sister posted this. I would blow my brains out. And again, she's super hot. Like, it, look, don't get me wrong. Beautiful. I get it. But no. No. What if Grace cosplayed Kaya? Would that blow your mind? That just doesn't even make sense. Ow, fuck. I pissed off Grace once because I was lusting for Kyla in the Discord. And I, she was clearly there. And I guess, like, they got under her skin. But... Would I rather have sex with Kyla or Grace Thorpe? Um, honestly, Grace, because I know her more, but I guess physically, maybe Kyla. I would have to think about it. Because Kyla, Kyla has more of an ass. Isn't the girl from the Whatever podcast, you know these people? Uh, I mean, uh, you know, like one degree of separation with a lot of these. Like, for example, the Whatever podcast recently had a bitch named Morgan. Now, Morgan, I'm assuming, is coming off as a conservative. From what I've heard from conservative circles, Morgan once had a, she had sex with a black guy on a balcony, like at a spring break or something. So conservative, by the way. But again, that's hearsay. I maybe I don't remember that right. Who knows? So, what else? You know these people? Yeah, I know a lot of them. Who cares? Who else could we talk about? Kylo over Grace any day, no no thought needed. I don't know. I, I like just just in bed. I don't know. I don't know. Grace or Kyla. Uh. I don't know. I mean. 
Kyla does clear grace as alone. Yeah, maybe. Fort Lauderdale activities. I'm from Florida. Yeah, real. In Damn Lala, you've been around, but not in a whore way. You're like a gem stage before the massive breakthrough. Gem stage? What does that even mean? Uh, great. I mean, okay, so Grace or Kyla? I mean, this is really difficult. Let's consult the Instagram. Let's consult the Instagram. So, I mean... I, 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 okay, yeah, of course, Ben just kills the boner. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Thorpe. Look, who would I rather in bed? I honestly, like, my preference for Grace is only because I've known her longer and I care about her more. But, like, to be honest, is this really, like, you know, like, again, she's, like, pretty, but is she, like, sexy, like, Shakira? I Like, I wouldn't say so. And again, I'm not trying to be a dick. Like I'm not a, like I'm also not sexy either. Like I'm, you know, so like I'm not even hating. But I mean, this is not like come on, like, come on. Like we're not gonna lose our minds over this. <laughs> RK says Grace is skinny fat right now, but it's fine on girls. It comes down to looks. Period. Not with me. I care about it. I don't remember this pic existing. By the way, I've never seen this one. But their house is depressing as fuck. I would not. Own, I don't want to fuck her in her house. It does look really depressing, doesn't it? <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Um. Uh, what was I gonna say? So, it comes down to looks, in your opinion. Honestly, it comes down more to personality. To me, pers like again, I I care more about like how much I love the girl versus how like she looks. Granted, I can only love a girl that looks above average to begin with. But the truth is, is that like. No, like, if you gave me a 6 that I, like, really cared about versus a 7 that I hardly knew about, then clearly I would go for this for the 6. So, uh, yeah, I, I'd rather fuck Grace, but but you're going off of looks, guys. Yeah, but you don't know her like I do, but okay, fair enough. These are all respectable opinions. Uh, What else do I have in here? Do I have anything else? What other girl is in the orbit? I guess Pixie, that bitch in the Destiny Sphere. That girl's kind of fucked up. Would you be okay with Ben watching in the closet? No. I'm strongly opposed. Like, that, the whole, like, cuck thing is not funny to me. That's, like, really gross. Like, okay, like, because I've heard of, like, having sex with your girlfriend and, like, the parents are in the other room. Look, if you're, like, desperate, I get it. But, you know, like... Just if you could avoid that, that's ideal because like that's just fucking disrespectful and it's gross. Women have no personalities. To a man, women, to a man that woman likes, she will be in anything to him. They're chameleons. I get what you're saying. Char says Grace would make you a sandwich after Kyla would just be annoying. That okay, okay, you're, yeah, yeah, you are right. I think Grace is more amenable to like simping for a man than is Kyla. True. But that makes Kyla a little more intriguing because, like, if I do break her down, that would be hotter. You know what I mean? RK says, Ben can literally smoke in the corner if he wants. I'll buy him a massage cuck chair. What the fuck? Hell no. Dude, are you sick? Fuck that. That's gay. You're gay, nigga. You're gay. Um. Okay, hold on. Let's get another person in this bitch. Sorry, I had to think of someone. Wait a minute. So, uh, oh. Hold on. Can you guys hear me? I think it, okay. The audio works. The micro USB port on my Yeti Nano is sensitive, so if, if I fuck with the cord, it'll like break the audio stream but it's fine now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look up uh for instance um not so uridite to grace thorpe because i was on this stream and it was fire so let's do let's review the res for a fucking second time on stream all right is it this one no it's with the title darius was I on this? Hold on. Let me cook. Uh, 
<clears throat> it was this one. It was this one. Oh, this is so funny. Your perspective. Like, have you ever dealt with somebody that has a really, really hard time of letting people go? Like, what, how do I save my boy from falling into the, the Thor apocalypse? There's something really... He's such a queer. Fuck you, Rele. Bro, be like, how do I save my bro from the Thor apocalypse? Dude, he's a 27 year old man. How does he not get seduced by a 20 year old incest bitch? Dude, who cares, bro? If you're getting seduced by that at 27, you should just rope. If I fell for grace in seven years from now, I would fucking be in first in line to get euthanized in Canada because that is absurd dangerous about a relationship's nascence being one person rescuing the other i think it actually like necessarily breeds in like codependence for example you're basically saying how do i save darius and darius is saying how do i save grace is he actually really into grace or is he into saving grace i think the takeaway from this is i should let darius crash and burn and i should just record it for content online the most See, that's what you need to come through with the conclusion, you fucking idiot. That's what I did with my friend. Let it crash and burn. When you're young and you're in love, you got to let that shit go through. Let that first heartbreak just break through you. Just let it seep through your fucking soul. You don't need a cock block. It just makes it worse. Let it cook, buddy. Let it fucking cook. Get burnt. Oftentimes, I've seen my like female cousins. They do something that, that their my uncle doesn't like. They're like trying to cock block. It's like, no, let your daughter hit a wall and then let her come back to daddy learning her lesson, assuming she doesn't get knocked up. But aside from that, let her cook. Being so controlling as a friend, as a dad, as a brother leads them to rebel worse later. In fact, I had a cousin. I still have one that's like, I don't know, like several years older than me. She's like 26 or something. And she, she had a, honestly, I have a cousin who is like a lot like grace. She had a codependent relationship with my uncle and she really was close with her parents and they would be really controlling over her. And they'd be like on her ass, like where she went. And so when she was 18, she ran away with her boyfriend named Lalo. I swear to God. And so they ran away and he like had like took her virginity and whatnot at 17 or 18. And I mean, that's what happens. If you like play too close with a girl that has issues, She'll rebel really grossly. And so, I mean, that's what happened. So, yeah, don't be so fucking, like, close with your friends. That's, like, gay. Important thing is to equip people with the skills necessary to save themselves. Okay, Riley's calling me. One second. So I would do it. 100%. Hello, hello. Oh. Mommy has a nose ring. Hey, you, you need to fix this. Also, her hair looks wet as fuck. Very disrespectful. Also, her hair is so dark. Not very white of you, which can be a plus. Also, the stripes are not flattering. You know, I don't think stripes look good on me either. Either. Else, what else? Where's Lalo on this? Am I not even on this? Are you kidding me, bitch? Kyla, get it together, baby. Oh, I'm in here. Didn't she dye her hair? Why would I know? Mommy Kaila. The fact that you're thinking like bringing uh, Grace Thorpe here is a good idea. Yeah. Who is it saying it was a good idea? But you want to do it, right? I think it'd be funny. <laughs> this stupid ass roommate, nobody even knows what this guy's name is. Bringing Grace Thorpe is a bad idea. Look, and look, he's actually right. But it's also like, would she even fuck you, bro? Like, shut the fuck up, you incel. What are you gonna so, do? I don't know how much it's a meme, but when you say things like, yeah, I'm gonna save her, and like, I'm uh, legally a Thor, like, I know most of that's a meme. Okay, it's a Thor apocalypse, so you're getting Thor for right now. I think it's like, it's all funny in a reality sense. Was it a uh, joke? It's, I feel like to you, it's all a bit until it's like, it's actually not a bit anymore, though. That's a problem, right? Do you get a roommate that speaks English, Darius? You've been doing this for so long. Keep doing the bit. The problem is, thank you. I don't think any of us can tell when you're serious and when you're not about a lot of stuff. <laughs> Distracted says Ben woke up to pee and went back to sleep. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ben's manic. He's like, "Oh, I'm gonna call into Lalo. No, fuck you, bitch. Oh, well, don't talk to me. Okay, like I didn't want to talk to you, nigga. Like, like, does he think he has any leverage? Like, you know, have you know, in a year of knowing Grace Thorpe, have I ever sought out the attention of her dad ever one time? Never, bitch. 
He thinks he has leverage over me? No, fuck you. Father-in-law, head-ass motherfucker. Fuck you, uh, what's your name? Ben? Sup, a bitch. Anyway, when, when am I in this? Oh, here we go. Yo, it's about to go hard. I was talking to, was talking to Ben, and I realized now what happened was they me over because it's like a it's like a thing it's like initiation process it's like can you handle us and now I, they know i can handle enough so we're 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 good we're good okay okay uh, I'm <clears throat> <clears throat> on point politics says fun fact for you all though i'm actually a fnaf fan game developer who made a game called Crisley's vr which had a story that involves government corruption look it up on stream oh okay yeah i can't after this ben is right now scouring youtube looking for someone anyone to call into well he should just start up a stream I'm going to add him to the call. I fucking hate this guy, by the way. It's this person, I believe. Who yeah. is he? Okay. Okay. He crashed my Discord. He All right. To set up with the camera. Right. Ah. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. shit. <laughs> All right. I'm getting censored. Mm-hmm. All right, right so we have... dating thing? I was on that. I did great. So He's we have right. Irrelevant, okay. and then we have... And then who are you, gentlemen? Um, One second, hold on. We can't hear you well. It's, a, it's irrelevant, Zella, and then you can call me Kyla or Erudite, whatever you prefer. Hey, I've seen your visage before, too. All right, so Erudite, you do panels and stuff like that. I can ascertain, right? Yeah. So there's apparently this- I've seen your visage before. Madame, I'm going medieval geek on this, on this bitch. <laughs> this is so funny. Drama with Grace. I saw the entire saga. Very cathartic. I loved it. From top to bottom. Amazing stuff. Ton of views as well. So I think Darius is a valuable component to this whole thing. Um, now there's this whole drama about whether or not Grace likes him. She's turning me up. She's turning me up. Let's go. She wanted to fuck me. <laughs> I'm joking, but no, that, that is kind of cute. <clears throat> you got to pay the pimp to access the merchandise. What are you talking about? Um, What's that line from the kid from the Raiders of the Lost Ark? Well, I haven't seen those. I think I've seen the stream before. Yeah, this was from eight months ago. Distracted says Ben is out. Joshua says, is Ben still in jail? Now he's out. This is where she thinks Lalo is a little kid. Look, if a girl thinks I'm a little kid, that means that, you know, it's like when the gay kid gets invited into the sleepover and then the girls are like naked and they're like, hey, gay kid, do you want to feel our boobs? And then the gay kid's like, oh my God, oh shit. That's like me with, you know what I mean? Like, oh, you're right, I think I'm a kid. Yeah, good, good. Let's go. Entry, entry point. We're back. Trojan horse of Riz. We're in. I'm exaggerating. I can just say for the rich, you never did. But could we make content out of this? That's the question. And in regards to whether or not Ben Thorpe is a bad person, we can just sweep that under the rug because you know, that's a touchy subject. You know? See, see, in regards to if Ben Thorpe is a bad person, I already knew the guy was fucking evil. I was just like, okay, like, like I, I cannot play devil's advocate for Ben. Like, I cannot sweep this up. <laughs> oh, oh my so God. Fine. Now, let's think about what the chat is saying because I'm kind of spinning out of control here. Um... Wait, hold on. Can I ask two questions? Do you like, happening? Yeah, do you like either... Do you watch a lot of Nick Fuentes or Donald Trump? Because you are mimicking... Fuck you. Fuck you. That's like if I said, really, do you, like, watch a lot of Morgan Freeman? Or are you, like, an Obama sympathizer? Well, in the hand, in the hand movements. Oh, my God. And then she goes, true. Yeah, yeah, bitch, you're excited, aren't you? She's back alive. See, let's imagine this fucking Asian roommate. Imagine he said anything in his mind. Would that make Uridite feel the same way that I... Just emoted out of her because I talked like some autistic streamer on fucking whatever website Nick Fuentes is on. See, see how I'm like cooking a little bit and people could say, oh, you're making an ass out of yourself. Yeah. I don't want to get into this, but I need to just sweep that under the rug. Like, let's just get to this. Yes, yes. So it seems like you're really cautious over whatever, uh, what's his name? Whatever Darius does. And that seems a little like jarring because again, Darius is what, like six years older than me and he's getting lectured by you guys. I don't know how old you guys are, but it's like very, it's like a very white person conversation you guys are having. Like be cautious, be grace, like bro, like if you're getting- See, when you use a white person like as an insult in front of a leftist like these people, they have no response. Cause clearly me saying it's a white person thing to say is like a complete like non sequitur douchebag move. But since they're leftists and they're like anti-white, so to speak, they just have to go with it and they can't fight me on it. Getting manhandled by a 20 year old like daddy lover. It's kind of pathetic in my opinion. Is that your take? Wait, what? Who are you talking? Who, dad? Who are you talking to right now? Sorry, I don't know who you're saying. Talking. I'm just saying that you know Darius getting manhandled by Grace and whatever is kind of pathetic. And you guys are telling him to act better, which is fine. But it's also like kind of like zoom out for a second, watch the stream back, and be like, what the hell are we talking about here? I so it's kind definitely of like that. feel that yeah. Darius is getting manhandled by Grace. Why? Of course, because he's getting strung along by Grace, and you would think oh. that the stench would warm away, but he still wants more. So it's kind of intriguing to watch that dynamic play out. I can't wait to put your hand right above behind your head, you little. 
you, dude. She's not playing me at all. If anything, she's playing with me. We're literally playing seesaw right now. Right now, she might be the cope by Darius, dude. This guy was so in over his head. It's not even funny. On the other side, but I swear, I swear, once I sit on that seesaw, it's over. Wait, so, wait, so are you saying that like we should just let him get manhandled by Grace? Is that what you're saying? So just I mean, look, listen. Is Riley part you... Native American or Mexican? I think he's like half black. You can warn him off successfully if you can seduce him into being a normal human being. You can do that, and that'd be great for his uh, productivity. But if you want to just endorse the Thorpocalypse, if you want to really let him drown in his own iniquity, then let him do it. Let him coke. Let him coke. It'd be content. Why not? Uh, so I, I see what you're saying. Okay, the problem with that is. Sometimes I'm I'm worried that it might get back to us because you know how's it gonna get back to you? Some bitch is in your apartment, you fucking idiot. We do live with him, and that's kind of like my concern. He says it's selfish, but yeah, like I get back to you because you're saying that right now. <laughs> get one. Uh, but yeah, so I feel like it is valid for us to be a little cautious uh, and kind of warn him of that. And yeah. So, so yeah, do you not yeah. like the Thorps, or do you like the Thorps? See, that's hot. I'm running a game so far to where. I get on her stream with no clout through Grace Thorpe through Relay, and she has no idea because she's an idiot, even though it's her own show. But then through the past five minutes of me talking, she can't even discern whether or not I'm pro or anti Thorpe. See how smart this was? And again, I made that up on the spot. I can't. I'm an enigma, so I made a video a couple weeks ago. They got very few views. It got like 150, and then some some simp of her sent it to her Discord about me, you know, criticizing the family. And that was before I got into the lore. I saw that one Shamu documentary, and I'm like, you know what? This is a whole trash fire. She fell in love with me afterwards, as in like as a content creator, she liked the opinion. People like it when you're honest, right? And so this then materializes into a second video, again very critical of the Thorps. Then Thorps sends, says it's the best content on YouTube in regards to their dumpster fire of a relationship, which is fine. But you know, generally you can observe that I make great content about that family, and it seems to me as if I have an objective opinion, and that sort of is ascertaining some sort of like higher purpose in this whole sphere, where we can actually call shots, and it's pretty fun. <laughs> these insides, bro. Um, See, this Chinese guy does the Andrew Tate cope like, oh, this guy thinks he's the bee's knees. Yeah, I am the bee's knees, you fucking bitch. Red and, like, red and red? Red and red and then, wait, hold on, hold on a second. He's black, red, checkered, like some fucking villain out of the Alice in Wonderland 2010 reboot. This guy is a fucking stupid ass, ho ass motherfucker trying to troll me like, oh, Lalo thinks he's the shit. Yeah, I am the shit, bitch. What are you going to do, bitch? I, I, so you're in the nigga you just don't claim a position is your, your I, just, I just call it okay look i think grace is a fantastic starlet like you know in the context okay, of the kills so i fucked it up there i shouldn't have said that i was being too nice they got me on that no i'm saying i'm simping for grace if they only knew that the trash fire is awesome i want them to monetize it i want them to film everything I'm not saying I'm in love with the girls from Jersey Shore, but I want to see them get dumped in public. I want to see them get their hair on fire, okay? I want to see all the bad stuff happen. And if we're going to be cooking the content, that's not going to be ideal. I'm not grasping. Well, I'm telling you right now what it is. Lalo is actually genuinely depressed because I was touching Grace and he wasn't. He wants he wants a bit of that action. He wants to smell what I smelled. Is that true? Ew, what the fuck? Smelled what I smelled? Nigga, that's like the last thing you would be bragging about, about like if you had to compliment Grace. He's so out of touch. It's like not even funny. Now, mind you. I'm smirking like a douche because, like, I had the phone sex while he was getting cucked in the basement. And he's like, oh, you wish you uh, had, like, the, like, you know, you, like, held her hand in the field. Nigga, please. You know, this? If you know what you were smelling, you'd be actually pretty depressed right now. No, I, I, yeah, bitch. No, I, I tell you right now, Suffer, what you can do smell is you can, have, you can acquire a new taste, a new feeling, a new emotion. And he can't ever get that smell. He's never going to get that smell. He's never going to smell that Grace because Grace is going to walk within 100 feet of him. But I'll see Grace probably within the next 24 hours. So incorrect. It's not even funny. Probably not. I don't know if you want to lay or not. <laughs> <laughs> see, I laugh so hard, bro. That's like the victorious just fucking... <laughs> Watch. Watch. Hold on. There's one day I'm going to be so vindicated, bro. This is going to be so funny. That's a character. You let him rap. Wait, wait. I don't know if you want to lay Wait. Grace probably within the next 24 hours. Probably not. Grace, because Grace is going to walk within 100 feet of him. But I'll see Grace probably within the next 24 hours. Probably not. I don't know if you want to <laughs> Given one day, I'm going to be so vindicated, bro. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Yeah. Let's go, nigga. Let's go. Broncos country. Let's ride. Yeah, you're right, bitch. Suffer. He's so funny. That's a character. You let him rap. Bro. Bro. In 24 hours, Darius, this is going to be hilarious. Trust, trust, trust. Okay, so he shook. He shook. Imagine you're the guy who has been streaming for years, sucking Destiny's balls, simping for the incest bitch. Meanwhile, some irrelevant fucking twink retard in his dad's fucking spare bedroom is going to mock you and getting it at the same time. And then he's on the back foot. Isn't that fucking hilarious? This was so funny in real time. So you're into Grace, and you're jealous of Darius is with Grace. Okay. 
I saw, I saw, look, I saw I Darius try to raise up. I saw myself in the seventh grade, okay? I was like, Jesus okay. Christ. Convince buddy. me that you're not into Grayson, that you're just jealous that Darius. Oh, look, look. Uh, look at mommy. Mommy Erde with her bullshit ass Walmart $12 cuppy, by the way. Just like, so convince me that you're like better than Darius and that you're not simping for Grace yourself, bitch. How about I simp for you? How about that, huh? How about I focus on you? How about I say that, you know what? I can fix you, bitch. I can say, like, hey, hey. You know what? You know, you have a husband, but don't you want some broke college student instead? How about that? Take, take a foray into the wild side. How about you lose your whole livelihood? <laughs> uh, Let's have 24 hours. Darius, brother. Why do you have the mustache, man? <laughs> See how desperate he is to get my validation? He, like, leans over on the desk. He's like, okay, no name retard on Discord. What is my girlfriend going to do tomorrow? I mean, it was, was she really yours at that point? Is she not going to be in LA? Are you real? Bitch says, are you real? That is hot. When has a girl ever told a guy, are you real and not been into him? Frankly, folks, like actually think about that. Are you real? Nigga, I'm like a guy in the Tron simulation at that point. I'm like, like I'm, I'm, I'm ethereal. I'm like when the grandpa in Spy Kids 2 or 3 becomes like the mech suit. And it's like, dude, what the fuck? He's out the wheelchair. Are you even real, grandpa? Or you're like a badass. And it's like me, but like reverse the ages. And it's like precisely the same thing. Is he real or is this a shtick too? I can't. Your guy loves it. Yeah, I know they love me. Uh, it's chat GBT. It's like speaking to chat GBT. Fuck you, Relay. How about you string a fucking sentence together, you nincompoop? No meds, no substances, nothing, no substances. I mean, I'm just completely lucid. And it's not even impressive. I'm 20 years old. I'm only going to get better. And these bitch ass niggas in their mid 20s are like, oh, what are you on? Coke? Are you on Adderall? I wish. I can't afford that. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I think you're like a human. I just can't figure out if you're being real right now. Yeah, I'm a human flesh and blood, baby. Which means there's blood rushing to my what? Going into your what? Huh? Psych? I can't tell either. I keep staring at the room. I'm just being bits of heart genius anything. And, 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 okay, Lilo, just say, I'm not going to see you tomorrow. I'm not going to see you tomorrow. I'm going to do other memes. Listen, the fact <laughs> He's so desperate. He's like grabbing at his waistline. Fuck you, bitch. Suff a dare. you're even questioning that means that she must not like you. Come on. Think about it. Do you think a girl like that has why do you need meds, Lolo? Don't be a bitch. I don't have meds. That was the whole point. No substances. I'm just natural. I'm raw dogging it right now. As a passport, let's be honest. Has she left the house? So here's the thing. No, 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 you're just you're a forfeiter, dude. I realized that you're I forgot I forgot. You're just going through all the information that's been gathered. You know she doesn't have an ID, right? I didn't say anything. She doesn't have any ID? No, no, no. I I know she doesn't have a driver's license or ID, but she should have some sort of mail that she can She drives a vehicle though. She has a permit only. <laughs> so Wait, no, if she has a permit, mm. then she would have a driver's license. Permits are valid no. for travel. You either are Canadian, obviously. Does she, she have a photo of her face? Oh, she's a Canuck, yikes. Okay. Yeah. Uh no, she does I'll take for a permit. Do you need a photo for a permit? I don't know. I don't think you're stressed out about this though. No, 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 because I know that you can you can get on. So I, I had this conversation with Steven. I, I obviously didn't watch. I, I there's a way that she can get on the plane without having all that stuff, but here's the yeah, thing. Because like, like I know, get on planes and kids get on the planes. Only, yeah, so I, I, but there's probably has like, permit. She has a permit, and she has something else has a picture in it. Residence. That's all she needs. Um, so I guess we'll just see. I, I don't know. Maybe they can find a piece of mail. But I, right now, I'm pretty sure they definitely even looked into it. They're just hoping everything works out. So right now, Grace, if you're watching and you already have your ticket, you can find a piece of mail, use your permit, and then use like a health insurance card. Go to the doctors today. Okay, go to the doctors to get the, the prescription thing we talked about. Get the prescription, and they'll have your, you'll have your mail and all that stuff on there, and they'll show them that when you go to the airport, it'll prove your residence. I know you. I know you have a social security number. I know you have that. I do know you have that. So find that social security number, and you can also bring that as well. And that's another way to get in. So don't worry about it. I think she got it handled, though. I, I feel like rather than going to LA, she should probably go get her ID. <laughs> it feels like a really important yeah, thing for adult to have. Well, when, she, when she moves into our place in Arizona, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what's going to happen is I'm going to show her. <laughs> Yo, here. Darius she's is in here. here. So that she's not gonna oh, my reason, God. I'm so like, handsome. Like, like, so, this, oh, my God. This is so weird. What? The, why the fuck would you be here right now? No, but this is funny, though, when I inside up. Uh, oh, yeah. So, Darius, I wanted to tell you. So, hold on. So basically, uh, so this bitch Grace goes on the on the low cow podcast. I think you got pinged about that. I'm in class. Apparently, she was saying like they were like, so you've you're 21, have never been in a relationship before. And then they ask her, are you a virgin? And then she just sidesteps the question, of course. And then she's like, well, actually, I have one story. And then she just throws me under the bus. She's like, um, I I was like masturbating on the camera, and then like this Lalo guy didn't reciprocate, so I think he's gay. I'm like, wait, wait a minute. And so I covered that in my stream. And then she meant then then Keemstar thought I was you and it was like wait so there's a commentator guy you were with and then she's like yeah it's Lalo and he's like no wait wasn't it Darius and then they try to get you on the stream and then you have like a broken treadmill from what I gather so yeah anyway yeah so we're covering the Kylo vid because I went through our Instagram and 
I think there's an angle there. Clearly, she's like 30 years old, sipping for Destiny. So again, another bitch. Or for instance, Nick, that short guy with the beard. Clearly, she's, I mean, the competition isn't really there. I'm saying, you know what? These goalies are there trying to guard the net. But I mean, these goalies have fucking torn ACLs. These niggas are strong. Gusta Winwood, knock them the fuck over. You know what? You need some broke college dick in your life, Kyla. Let's sort the shit out. Now, do I think she's going to actually accede to that? No, but it's a pretty thought. Now, if we go through her... Tw she's going to make you seem gay. I didn't get into an invite into her DMs. Oh, okay. I think you must have blocked her on Discord or something, but... Anyway, she just... Okay, look. She tries to make me seem gay because I didn't masturbate when she was masturbating to me on FaceTime because I was, like, too... You know, like I didn't trust her at that point, even though clearly she didn't record it in hindsight. And I'm, so at that point, I like I could have just whipped it out. There would have been no consequences. But instead, I made her feel like she was ugly. So instead of saying, am I too mid for Lalo or is he just gay? So she's like, oh, he's just gay because she has a bunch of Discord loser rotters sipping for her. So that's the bottom line. Look, listen, the bottom line is that I'm not gay. I'm eccentric, I'm him, I have a Merce, and these niggas are jealous of the Michael Kors Merce, and they're gonna have to fucking cope with it, frankly. Like, you see this shit, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, my mom got it for me, and Grace was like, oh, your mom's gonna buy you a purse? Your mom doesn't even fucking like you, Grace. How about that, bitch? How about that, bitch? What are you gonna do now, huh? Cry, oh, shit, okay. Uh, Just a guy says, Darius, Alala, what's the difference? They kinda look the same. Do we? Uh... We look like cousins, I guess. Lalo, gay arc, straight up. I'm not. Um, Distracted says, Ben should collab with Darius. Yeah, Ben was in here like, oh, let me on my stream. If you don't let me on your stream, we're not going to collab with you, nigga. How would you tell Grace you're not going to collab with Lalo if you have a no contact order, Ben? Idiot. Magnum special 357. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, what is bro yapping about? It says, Pia Sorin. I've never seen you before. On Point Politics says, bro, what's up? Ben should collab with himself. He's just a guy. He's too insecure to start a stream on his own or he's too incompetent after being on the internet for upwards of a year, by the way. Ben cried because Lalo didn't let him call in. That is true. Because Ben thinks he's done a lot for me and has put up a lot like of me and I haven't done sh shit for him, which is true. But that's the way it is because I am by far the smartest person in the sector. I am the best looking one. And frankly, I mean, when you combine all of it, it's all true. I'm up my own ass. I mean, I'm a, I'm a fucking ventriloquist. Basically, I'm like, I'm like Jeff Dunham level fucking up my own ass. I'm him. Anyway, Darius, I need the social media of that twink Gavin, the sociopathic guy who doesn't pay rent. First of all, I wish that were me, but... Gavin, I need to know his social media. I need to interview that guy. I find him fascinating. I think it's fucking hilarious. I think he's awesome, okay? He's like legitimately out of sync with life. He's more sociopathic than I am at a lesser level because clearly he's not political. Apparently he, I saw a stream, like an hour worth of your stream, Darius, where she, with uh, Xena, apparently you were fucking Xena and the guy was just sitting in the corner watching, watching like the TV. Um, And I'm kind of curious what kind of mental process that is. Now, that is like definitely white liberal bull jive, 100%. But I'm kind of curious why he would want to see that. Darius has radar that hones in on any stream that talks about him. I mean, that is weird that like coincidentally I was, but okay. Let's just resume with the Uridite thing. I need to talk to her again. And we need to return to your day. Where? I feel like Grace what? moving into a DGG streamer house or like some sort of thing would be like the worst possible transition for her on the no. planet. Gonna have to bring her dad no. though. Hey, it uh, would be no. better than staying home, but uh, I feel like it's not gonna be that much better for her. Mm hmm. So Darius is stressing out, he's fretting it. I like it. I love it. I know. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm still not convinced. You're either not real, this is a shtick, or you're just actually jealous of Darius. And... No, that cannot be a possibility. Okay. I'm super convinced. I like how I have everybody intrigued. This is awesome. Um, she, no, wait. Wait. Layla, 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 Layla. She has confirmed with me. She is going to be here in LA. So he might. Oh, yeah, he 24 might... hours. Trust the plan. Trust the plan. I'm trusting the plan. She'll get up. She'll get up. And she'll get up. I promise you. I promise you. Everything's going to work. I win either way. I win either way. Trust me. Patriots are going to win. Okay. Trust. Okay. Hey, be happy. Be happy. Smile. Let's go. I'm smiling. 
I'm afraid of him. Like, <laughs> he just walks away. That's fucking right. funny. I think I'm Let's done with go. this dude. Anybody else done with this dude? Fuck you, Relay. Anyway, anyway, back. Anyway. Like Start a... hating. Let's go. Get the roast going. Sorry. I obviously overstayed my welcome at this point. But Relay, instead of just confronting me man on man, I'm the 20 year old twink. He's the 25 year old built guy with erectile dysfunction. He doesn't take me one on one. He appeals to the fucking spaz Asian that doesn't speak English in Kyla, who's like a mommy. So, I mean, that's his sort of like mentality, and it's super, super stupid. Just a guy says Darius thinks of Lalo as his competition. Both of these guys caught feelings for Grace. Not really. Uh, Just a guy says Grace caught feelings for Lalo, but not for Darius. Uh, I mean, I see what you're saying. Look, considering that I had like she had nothing to gain by like being interested in me, I win even if it was like parallel to his situation, because he had like a you know he had a clout. I don't have clout, so like me doing anything is better. I'm like the Ray J, and he's like the Kanye, but not really because Kanye married her, whereas he didn't get to. Uh, but it's all kind of fucking gross when you think about it. One in chat if we're done with this dude. Two in chat if we're not. Fuck you, appealing to chat. Kick, Fuck you, really. Yeah, bitch. kick your key. Kick kick your key. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to reach out here. Are they hating or not? Well, that's a lot of ones. I've yet to see it too. I'm still yet. okay. There you go. Your first two. I'm explicitly ones as well. Yeah, guys, one in chat if you wanted to kick. All right, much love. What the erudite opinion on this? What does Kyla think? Uh, it looks like chat wants to kick you. The chat. She smiles you specifically. What happened? I love Kyla. Look at her. With what? She's so in. She's such a fucking idiot. Like she's so benign in her existence. Like it'd be so easy to control. Oh, well, like my performance up here. What did you think? I wasn't convinced whether or not you were like, you know how like you can use ChatGPT and like another AI system with a photo of yourself to make like an online avatar? Yeah. At first I thought maybe that was what was going on. Um, and then you did like the Joker cackle and I was like, okay, I think it's just like, maybe you're just like nervous. Um, nervous for- See, I'm just nervous. Yeah, let's go. I'm playing into the mommy from, yeah, I'm nervous. You know, Kyla, I'm just a pretty boy. You know, I just, I just want to be taught. Kyla, can you psychologize some watered down Jordan Peterson DGG takes, please? You Canadian bitch. Oh yeah, thank you, Kyla. Oh For yeah. For what reason? Small crowd. Don't worry about it. Nothing to fret over. Uh, so people will say I come off this genuine. You gotta just double. Fuck you, Kyla. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, Kyla. Hey, look, Fuck you, Kyla. Sure Suffer, I'm sure Kyla. Content for like specific things, in, like whatever. But like, oh my god. You know, he'd actually be great on Kicker Keep for Karanta. Yeah. Yeah, he'd be great on that Destiny bullshit. Ah, uh, okay, folks. Should we just wrap it there? Do we have anything else, real quick? I might have forgotten something. Do we have anything? I'll give you guys a minute to send me any other questions you have because uh, it is 1 a.m. almost. So Anyway, really couldn't rise to the occasion yet, definitely. Okay, do we have anything? Uh, let's see. Let's see what else is in here. Ben Shapiro, my suggestions. Yeah, yeah. no, no, thank you. I want to do I want to do some rap karaoke, but that's kind of fucking gay. Uh, excuse me. Okay, what else? Thoughts on Kino Casino? I'm a big fan. I watch all their shit. So it's real. It, it is real. Yeah, Grace literally burned his clothes. Yeah, she doesn't respect Darius, obviously. Thoughts on Solar Eclipse? Like the fucking phenomena? I, I haven't seen one since like sixth grade. I really don't care. Uh, okay, what else could I react to? What else have I been on? Oh, let's do... Oh, you know what? I actually know what to look at. I was on a speed dating thing that I don't think I've reviewed on this channel yet. This was like when I first met Grace like several months ago. Now, this was me clean shaven, different vibe for sure. Uh, let's see if I can find it. She would definitely amber her Darius and shit on his bed. Oh, yikes. Shit on his bed. That's tough. What can I look for here? Let, let's share the screen. Okay. Oh, I was on this one. I was on this one. Speaking of just dating, what about risking? You mean the you mean the webmaster thing? I don't fucking care about that. So this is live speed dating, craziest speed dating ever with Adam Lyons, Malik, and Grace Thorpe. This is fucking hilarious, okay? Now, again, this is me as a baby. This is like... I did this once before, yeah. Grace did it once, so she's not a true virgin. Unlike you, Adam, you're a true virgin to the speed dating uh, experience. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a virgin in so many... No, mind you, this is like a week after I met Grace. 
and mind you again okay well this is after all the sexting by the way so just keep that in mind uh also adam lines is a guy who um has like a multi-million clip of him like trying to grope some bitch in the thigh at a uh access vegas rollo tomasi panel where zerka called him out for it but he's like this red pill dating coach do you get along with xena the witch um we're acquaintances so what happened so the story with me and Zena is that I made a uh, I made a three or four wifey on Zena back when Grace and Zena weren't on good terms, and so me and Grace worked on a video against her, which like it wasn't personal because I didn't know Zena, but she did I guess kind of, and we were just like making fun of her obviously for like I don't even know what she did wrong back then, a bunch of like anime weeb slutty shit, and so anyway, I made a three or four wifey on Zena. She got really pissed off. And so Xena was super anti Lalo. So when uh, Darius was going to meet me and Grace at the same time, she was like, oh, you need to press Lalo on making fun of me for calling me a hoe. And then Darius didn't really do that. And uh, then Xena warmed up to me over the stream because clearly I'm a great person. And that was that. So I've been cordial with her since. I haven't talked to her for more than a couple hours since then. So that is what it is. But I do get along with her, I guess. But she is like out of my purview. So who cares? many ways <laughs> what's up guys we are live i've done it in a while uh, it's been about two and a half weeks uh so we got a really good show for you today we got adam lyons joining us we got grace so let's look at the competition by the way a huge tonality and how humorous perceived look how ugly these guys are for the um, most I part on I'd the speed dates have a taste of the burrito. whoa whoa <laughs> wait wait a minute oh i just skipped the best part i'm an idiot I'm a fucking buffoon. The full thing I've fucking ever heard in my entire life. I was, I, I swear to God, I wanted to stab my eye out. Okay, first of all, first of all, can we spell self-sabotage in any other way other than what we just watched? He started with make sure I stay on for five minutes and did everything he could to insult this poor woman, right? Right from the very beginning, all the pressure was on her. What's up? Where are you going? There's no statements. Everything she said, she was carrying the whole conversation. It was like he just didn't want to add anything. All the pressure was on her. And then after just doing a bunch of random questions, I asked you, when she says i'm not so confident ultimately the entire goal here is to at least look how busted this bitch state. on the bottom left looks oh my god now malik 04 is mid now i saw her on the whatever podcast two weeks ago and she had big old titties she was being a pick me she was eating a banana with a peel which is like disgusting and i mean so but here she looks like a five okay now janelle gordon is fucking rough oh, it's irrelevant this is a good chance she looks like if you made a flashlight out of like a leather couch so i mean it's not looking practice. great i could go on i don't want to take forever that's my rock I see we're doing, we're doing. malik looking cute says rk malik looks like a cousin you'd make out with i mean this is not something special. good coach bad coach today <laughs> i <laughs> love british coach. people <laughs> so much <They're> so <laughs> blunt. i love what's them what's up janelle how are you doing you're muted Good. Yeah, I just wanted to mute out the background noise. Good. I'm just in this okay. massive yeah, that's a, stadium. That's a little better. So what we'll do is you'll <laughs> mute yourself. Anything. So we'll just keep you muted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. 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 But I think it's fine. All right, Janelle, awesome. you want to give a very quick introduction? You and I met on the streets of Brickell. Uh, <laughs> Sounds super sketchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, met, we met on the streets. I was street walking. Um, but no, I was actually having dinner at North Italia with my assistant. And Nobody we... cares about your fucking backstory, bitch. How about that? California. Oh, never mind. So yeah, sorry. Uh, the girl in the bottom left looks like a leather bag that's been sitting out in the sun all summer. Yeah. Yeah, not lay low. Uh, no, no, all right, no. so let's bring, let's bring on the next the person. Mat. What's up, lay low? Yo, what's up, Alex? We have everybody here. Fantastic. How are you doing, man? Doing great. I, this is my first show. See how much he's laughing at my mere existence? Granted, m again, my hair was so bad here. I just want to kill myself. I mean, I had the fucking Hitler haircut. It was terrible. Horrible. I mean, like, no volume in the hair. It was terrible. So you can teach me a little bit of the ropes, please? Welcome. Yeah, so it's pretty straightforward. You just pick a girl. You go on a speed date with her. You can pick multiple girls. That's fine, too. Yes. Although I would not recommend that if it's your first time. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, you can pick one, two, or three girls. I recommend picking one. It's your first five oh, minutes speed it. date with her. Okay. Uh, and then afterwards, we give you feedback. That's basically it. We're going to start off with Grace Thorpe. Okay. I'm going to yes. take me and Malik and Janelle off and Adam, and then you have five minutes. Let's see what you got, buddy. Yeah, of course. Well, okay, let's look at the comments real quick because I just want to do some review. All right. Let's see. I want to make sure they're talking about me, though. 
the Don says over too much Adderall. Again, I've never this was before Adderall though. I've never tried it up to this point. Um let me see. Bill says to pick Malik. She's cute. Malik is not better looking than Grace. You're retarded, says this Bill Byers guy. Uh black t-shirt with a chain. It's like finance bro and DJ out there. That is a good point. Yeah, it was this was not the right look. Also, the hair not being combed. I was such a douchebag for not combing it. Like it looks horrible there. Not your everyday Ashley XO, who's like a 40 year old, like four out of ten, says Lalo. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. Hey. Hola, muchachita, ¿cómo estás? Bien, ¿y tú? Muy bien. ¿Cómo hablas el español? No mucho. No mucho. We're going to switch to the English language. That's my prerogative. So today we're going to be discussing certain speed dating, dating topics, of course. I'm personally somebody who's your age. I believe you're like 20, right? Mm -hmm. That was a horrible start, by the way. That was fucking god awful. Holy shit. I didn't know I was that bad back then. Chain smoking the cigarettes. You seem to have had a storied, storied career at this point because you can tell because you're smoking like a 40 year old. What's up with that? I'm an addict. Yeah, it's very bad. If you can help me. So I negged her. Quit. I might actually. I've helped a lot of different people, bleeding cousins out in the streets of Sinaloa. Of course, you see the chain authentic. I snatch it from someone. It seems to me as if I have a sturdy record as well, so we can kind of relate on that basis. But you tell me what you find in a guy that's attractive. Uh, I would say jet black hair, Mexican, silver chain, black t-shirt. I am not black if you look at this. Yeah, I know you're right. Okay. This was, okay, she was being really nice with me here. What the fuck? Chain, black t-shirt. Beauty I am not black if you look at this. Yeah, I know you're right. What the fuck did she just say? Your Spanish is bad? Yeah, you are pro probably a dark brown Mexican, aren't you? Silver chain, black t-shirt. I am mark. not black if you look at this. Yeah. What was that last thing? It sounded, it sounded like she said Cuisinart or Deviantart. I know make you're sense. right. So I see you were into the knife play earlier. What's up with that? Um, It's like a fidget toy, you know. Yeah, of course. So you seem to have this troubled past. You're running from it. You're cutting into your problems with the knife. You can illustrate that. You're putting stuff in your mouth. That might relate to something else. You're chain smoking. The lungs are enduring. Do you have asthma? Yes. Of course. And so that might, you know, lead to some bad genetics going forward. So what can you sell me for our future children? <laughs> well, I have asthma because I gave it to my... So my riz was so bad that it was funny. Self from smoking. So for our future children, obviously I'm blessed genetically. So I think we'd make it pretty good. You're all right. Yeah, no, pretty of course. Good now, pretty good yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. No. If they look like me, they'll look like Vanessa Hudgens, you know, from High School Musical. It looked really great. Like you, who knows? Maybe younger Kelly Clarkson's what I thought of in the past, of course. Now, right now, I'm looking at someone, just a post for me, who just talked to a complete bum. Now, what makes me different from that other guy? Oh, uh, you have a lot more confidence and you didn't um, insult me, so. Of course. You're winning so far. Dude, my ruse is so bad. I'm just coasting on looks, and I didn't even look good here. They're assuming I wrote everything down. No, I was freebasing it, but a lot of me freestyling sounds like I'm robotic, and that's kind of pathetic. Um, Phantom says, buddy, speed running the conversation. Yeah, this was really bad. Don't be mad when you can't grow a full beard. I'm actually lighter than you, surprisingly. Oh, okay. Well, the Spanish is fine. It's just more American. Yeah, maybe. My race was so bad. This is the whole thing. This is why, like, I cannot fuck up with Grace nowadays is because it used to be so bad that, like, anything is better than before, frankly. This is absurd. I win at everything. Yeah. She liked you because you were beta as fuck? No, you idiot. And I can tell you you're, whatever. You know, you're missing the point entirely. Like, you're actually retarded, bro. You don't think there's more beta Discord simps than me, you fucking idiot? Everything. I've got a dream in my mind. I can sell you on that. You can ride on that carpet. I'm like Aladdin, but actually Mexican. What do you think? Um, I think I'd like to have a taste of the burrito. Of course you would. It's like a Chipotle, but actually authentic Mexican. You might be used to Taco Bell, wherever you're from, Paducah, Kentucky. We don't know yet. Wherever the trailer parks are, there's none here in Arizona. But the point is, though, is that you recently had an episode with a Darius fellow, a, a person that I would refer to as a cousin, even though he thinks he's black. So what happened there? Like, how did that go wrong compared to a person like me? Uh you see how narcissistic I am? You see how narcissistic I am with, like, the way I refer? Like, again, Darius, way more popular than me, yet I made it about me again. I'm surprised I actually even did that back then. That's like, as a, see, I thought the narcissist angle is something I took like six weeks ago, but apparently I had it the whole time. She was trying to mommy you. Oh, look how bad he is at flirting. It's cute. That's what Grace was thinking. No, not really. It, it was more so like he's autistic and he's confident and he's good looking. And I think that's intriguing versus he didn't know what he was doing. Because mind you, she doesn't have experience either. Um, well, Darius was sort of like very ADHD in real life. And um, he, he, we just didn't, there wasn't a lot of chemistry, you know, so I had. What's ironic is that that exact same 
applied to me. The exact same thing. To dump him. Yeah, and I'm glad you did that. You chose right. You have this five minute episodic period in the hyperbolic time chamber with me. And it seems to me as if everything is distilled into this very fast talking. I can take it nice and slow. I can talk to you. See, I even was self-aware that I was talking too fast. And then I, like an idiot, put in a Dragon Ball Z reference saying the hyperbolic time chamber from the fucking Cell Saga as if she would even know what that even meant in a colloquial sense. About your music? I don't care for your music. I have the best music taste. Ask me about my music taste right now. <laughs> What's your music taste? See, that was such a bad line. It was funny. She's like, oh, wait, what? I made it about myself again. I have the best music. It was like a Trump thing. I have the best playlist. Okay, now ask me about my playlist. Oh my god, you listen to Eminem. I like a lot of black people music. You can see the chain. I like Mexican cartel music. I'm talking about murder. I'm talking about narco corridos. We're talking about the fact that we shot up a place and how people died and how my grandma cried about it. Stuff like this. It's very emotionally despondent sort of things. Anyway, let's talk about how people talk like I'm speaking off of a script. Right now, I'm improv it 100%. People tend to idolize that. What do you think about it, Grace? I think you sound like a news anchor. You should pursue that career. Very stern. Very stern. I'll be a lawyer. I'll defend my case. I'll say, why should I get with Grace Thorpe? Here you go. Two-minute disposition right there. How about you? Um, You should get with me because I'm... Uh... <laughs> I got... I cooked her right there. You got to get with me because... Uh, 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 I cooked. I cooked, bitch. That's tough. I, I can't believe that I got her in this state, whereas now I'm a lot better and it's like platonic. It's like fucking surreal to me. That's nuts. Now, granted, I'm not even trying, but still. Uh, talking too fast, but other than that, the Riz is all right. I do have it sped it up to 1.2. So maybe that's why I have it sped up by 20%. You were, you were yapping like Ben. No wonder she liked it. That's funny. Pretty good on your feet is distracted. Um, wait, are you autistic for real or not? Because I am, I'm not autistic. Well, I do have something going on, but it's not like for real autism. Maybe I have like ADHD or something, but I mean, it's not like, it's like a white people thing. You know, like more or less, I'm better off than the average person, even if I do have like something kind of fucked up with me. Like in class, I'll be like so bored. I'm like clenching my fists like I'm so fucking bored. But, you know, you, you take what you can get. I don't know what to say. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> I have nothing to say. Felt it, felt it. See, you might think, oh, that was so awkward that, you know, like she but she froze up. But it was funny. Um, You should get with me because I'm. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, uh, <laughs> I have nothing to say. Absolutely flabbergasted, completely bought in, guys. This is how you do it. <clears throat> I'm going to see a very nice review after this ends because, of course, I killed it like usual. It seems to me as if you're going to use that knife to cut absolutely no critique of whatever the Riz was because, evidently, I just completely did a triple-double, whatever that means. I'm like LeBron James prior to getting swept by the Denver Nuggets that I saw drunk at a bar in Dallas. How about that, guys? What do you think? Are you asking the chat? I love the chat. I respond to the chat. Comment down below what you thought. I'm amazing. I have my own YouTube channel. I talk like this all the time with the one hand up. I do whatever I want, okay? Confidence is key. I am the owner of everything. I will be the president. Watch. All right, there you go. She put the fucking knife to her teeth. See, I'm so up my own ass. Yeah, I just said I'm going to be president, nigga. Let's go. Let's go. Confidence. I wear the merch, bitch. Suffer, nigga. It's, you know, the Kanye song. Lambo, Mercy, La Go, She Go, wherever I go, we go, we do it pronto. It's like Lamborghini, Mercy. Yo, bitch, she's so thirsty. I'ma take. Okay, anyway, yeah. Some people freeze when you get put on the spot. Yeah, bitch, let's go. Confidence, let's go. See, see, folks. Well, Alex, I think all right. I guess that's a that's a that's a good time to uh, end off the speak page. Okay. Uh, it seems like you guys know each other, I assume, right? No. We do, but I, I I played it like as if it's just a regular date. Cap. I, I know him a little bit online. Okay. This is after she did what, you know. Okay, folks. This was after. This was like two or three Snapchat calls into it, okay? That's it. Uh, all right. So, assuming that you did not know. Versace Pokemon says, bloody flamboyant as fuck. Okay, nigga. If your gamer tag is Versace Pokemon, you don't get to call me flamboyant on YouTube, you fucking asshole. Not, okay, Ashley, that mid bitch says WWW. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Arthur Callahan's nobody's voting for him. Yeah, but some people are going to suck my dick. How about that, bitch? I'm joking. It's going to be more than some. Also, nobody voting for me? What are you, retarded? Oh, him? What are you going to do with uh, Lalo EZ03? No, absolutely okay. not. Okay. She smiled. She was kidding. What do you think he could have done better? Um, 
well, I think he could have like slowed down his talking a little bit more. Maybe he's a little more Spanish. I'm into that a little bit. And, uh, you know, kind of ask me more questions about myself. Plan w narcissism pill. Ask me something. I didn't even ask her anything about her. I asked questions I knew the answer of and then shut her the fuck up and then asked her about me, like prompted her to ask me about me. About, plan you know, she's been a little bit more talkative instead of just giving me a speech. So true. Yeah, right so, so I took a little bit of notes. Uh, okay, so there's a concept. Imagine you're 40 years old and you're taking notes about my Riz with some e-bitch. <laughs> Let's go. It's so called like doing a shtick. It's like when you're like playing a character. A lot of people do it subconsciously. I think you're actually doing it consciously. But a lot of people do it subconsciously. It's okay to do like a little bit, of, a little bit of that and play into it. Like sometimes I'll do that with like the fact that I'm Russian. So like I'll play like I'll be like yes I am from Russia, but I only play into that for like one percent of the conversation. I generally try to like have a genuine authentic conversation uh there's also another concept called being like over gaming which is trying really hard to be like entertaining and like seduce the girl it's like yeah 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 you like that shit you like that shit ma yeah see his criticism of me is not like the, the normal stuff it's like you're overcooking you're over gaming you're too entertaining oh, okay cope bitch i got this big dick i'm fucking my big dick like it, it's just like but <laughs> i would never say that by the way that's gross <laughs> girls just look at that and they're like it's kind of cringe so you're right uh, Kind of Keep going, Alex. That was good. <laughs> yeah, really good. Adam, you next, my man. Dude, first of all, yeah, I love your character. It, it looks like a character to me. You're like Mexican Donald Trump, like the way you talk. <laughs> yeah, baby. Let's fucking go. Make it happen, nigga. I want some golden towers with burritos fucking everywhere, nigga. Yeah. 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 Bill Byers says, Lalo sounds like me when I'm drunk. Lol. See, I've gotten this commentary before. You sound like me when I'm drunk because you're so confident. You have no filter. That is true. That is true. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. Be like me, bitch. Um, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, it came across like Mexican Donald Trump. So I totally get it. Get some eyeballs on your YouTube channel. Good for you, man. You, you can always tell when somebody's faking being bad versus actually bad. Like, because this wasn't self-sabotage. This was clearly a character that was being played. Um, and it was the... The, the downside about me is, you know, I've got a master's degree in psychology. I'm working on my doctorate right now and, and I can see through a persona. So it's a great persona. I like it. Um, so, you know, to give you feedback on it would kind of be false because this isn't what anyone would ever actually do if they were trying to, to meet somebody, you know? Yeah, I did I talk a lot. I, I got caught in the moment. I was appealing to the chat more so than Grace. That was a little bit of a homosexual moment. I can chat nigga dub, homosexual dub, nigga. Give your friend a reach around. <laughs> no, that's funny. Oh, my God. Holy shit, man. Holy shit. I'm a chat nigga. Please believe me, bro. I got to serve the chat. <laughs> oh my God. Tell you what. I will promise. I put the chat over the pussy. <laughs> Imagine you're, you're with a girl and you're like on top and then you look at the screen. You're like, hey, WRL chat. That I would 100% seduce Malik who happens to be my cousin. There's nothing wrong with that. And it'd be really easy. No. Adam, can we? <laughs> Good luck on that. Honestly, the... <laughs> What the feedback I have is I felt like I was watching a high schooler like speed run a PowerPoint presentation and trying yes, to remember all the yes. points. In a so do you want to teach me something, Malik? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Malik, you're like three years older than me, correct? Oh, you want to teach me something, little bitch? Okay. Teach me something. Make me a man, bitch. How about that? Malik. Malik, you fucking clown. Literal clown on Twitch. How about that? Huh? Yeah. Yes, Malik. Teach me something. As little time as possible so you didn't forget it and like Pass True. out from sweating. Yeah, yeah, yeah take that L. Take that L from that. Like, I, she's nagging me so hard. Look at her smiling. Fucking cunt. She thinks she's clever. She flirts like a girl. She flirts like a teenager. I see it. It just, oh. it just gave very. Look at me touch my chest. Oh, yeah. All oh, zesty. Yeah, bitch. Oh, you hurt me, cunt. Very oh. nervous, trying to remember all your points to just <laughs> spit them out. I do True. get it was a character, but you played it so much to the point that it was so unattractively inauthentic. Oh, yeah. Unattractively it. inauthentic. Shut the fuck yep. up, bitch. I do. I do have a good idea. I typically. Forever Todd and Lodge says Malik is his cousin? Question mark. See, you see that? See, we do look related, Malik. I think she's like an Arab or something. But come on, I don't look like Lawrence of Arabia. Obviously, that was a white guy. But you know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm coming in there. I'm rolling in white horse through Syria. Malik, teach me. I talk like a high schooler. Teach me, bitch. How about that, huh? You take me through this PowerPoint palette. By the way, this bitch sounds like I'm giving a PowerPoint presentation and she's like eating her hot Cheetos on Musical.ly. That's like a 2018 reference. That's like what she's going for here. That's what the vibe is giving. 
I mean, she looks a little disabled. We don't do this, but I want to see a speed date between Malik and Lalo. He made he made a claim that he her. Well, it's not gonna go see well. that high energy. See the other niggas in the speed dates. They can't do that shit again. Alex thinks the Riz is so good, despite me playing a character with my e-girlfriend already, that he's putting me up for a second date with my cousin Malik. And look, I'm anti-incest, but if your cousin's hot, frankly, folks, you gotta give it a spin. Okay, go on. Between Malik and Lalo. He made, he made a claim that he's a sir. It's not gonna go well. It's not gonna go well. I don't know. It's not gonna go well. Yeah, keep smiling, Connie. I wanna see the real version. I don't wanna see the character. And I am not trying to be... Rude yeah. at all, but I don't know if you like up the saturation on your camera to the max or if that's just your natural face, but it really is not attractive. Why? No, because you're like, you're, no, you're your lips are like yeah. hot pink, bro. The saturation is way too high on your camera. Uh, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna slowly take everyone off. Let's, let's, let's see how this goes. This is gonna be juicy. She's negging me over the saturation on my camera. Now, that is true, it was really high, but that's because for some reason I had this camera for five bucks that was worth five dollars from the Mormon thrift store called Deseret. And it was a 720p, like 2012 webcam. And for some reason, the saturation was so low, like in a generic setting, that it was like black and white. So I had to up it to a point that was like 10% higher than usual. Okay, go for it. All right, Malik. So what's your racial background? Um, I'm every ethnicity mixed together. How about you? I'm Mexican. You can see it in the skin tone. Um, Grace knows that my skin is fantastic. They compliment it all the time. They're saying that I use a filter even. Do you believe that, that I'm using a filter aside from the saturation? Yeah. Really? She's think she thinks I'm so pretty that I'm using a fucking face filter aside from this face saturation, which is ridiculous because this is a relative low point for me. I mean, you look at the fucking Hitler hair. It looks like I have a comb over. To what? To look like this? Really? A filter to look like this? That's not real. Okay, okay, Lalo, if you want to have a date with me and get anything other than an absolute no, I would appreciate some authenticity. I'm straight up. Tell me about oh, yourself. Me, you're saying you're tell me about yourself, okay? Tell me about yeah. yourself. What's something I'm about you that not a lot of people know? Um, I'm in college for pre-law. I'm going to be a lawyer. I'm going to run the planet ostensibly. I'm going to control a lot of things. I have a beautiful family. A lot of kids. Do you understand you're going that? going to have a beautiful family? Yeah, 100%. Where do you want to settle down with him? Like what country? What part of the country? I like Dallas, Texas. I like Miami. I, you know, I'm used to that humid, sticky, kind of like sweat under your jeans sort of weather. That would be more okay. or less Miami. You know, Sinaloa, cartel, country, cocaine. We do a lot of that good stuff. You want your kids to be around cocaine? No, I'm just saying the vibe is cool. Like we go to the country club. A lot of people sell cocaine there, but there's no like actual drugs. Have, have you ever club. purchased or done blow? I come off that way, but since I've been blessed with this great IQ, great confidence, et cetera, I don't need drugs to actually talk with that. What would you say is the most like important life lesson you've ever learned? Definitely something about integrity in respect to how you conduct yourself going no, forward. No, 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 like that you like, personally like learned, like what's an experience? Yeah, so there were certain times when I did a mental acuity, no, I did a mental acuity test in the elementary school. They got me to the advanced placement for, you know, the advanced class. It's like the reverse fed. And what I learned through that process was that there were other people that were smart. And growing up, I, I thought I was the smartest one in the room. And yeah, that is true, like 99% of the time. There were some really autistic white kids that were actually smarter than me, believe it or not. And that was like in the fourth grade that I learned that. Also in the seventh grade, I learned that um, I wasn't the main protagonist of the story. I've inverted that since then so that I am the protagonist again. But generally speaking, I'll say that... Um, yeah, where we tend to be different personalities. I see you as a human being as well, casually, so. Gotcha. Would you say you're a narcissist? Yeah, I come off that way 100%. Um, I'm self-aware about this it. This is though. W. Riz, by the way. If a girl's asking if you're a narcissist, that means that you give enough a strong enough personality to where they consider that. Okay, this is a dub. I don't want to hear anything else from that. I mean, it's totally fucking true, by the way. And I mean, it's that obvious. Now, I will tell you something, and it has to do with the fact that, like, you might thought, you might have the impression that I overcooked it, but I mean, this wasn't that bad. I mean, she was just being a fucking cunt, to be honest, at this rate. Oh, so, nah, a little bit. Gotcha. Do you ever experience empathy at all? She's Hardly. trying to psychologically break me, saying, do I feel empathy as if, like, I killed frogs growing up, which I did. Um, it's not so much that I don't feel it. It's just that I have so much, like, I already know so much that I feel very little for little particular things that don't affect me. So, gotcha. it's like, for so instance, if we were together what? and something terrible happened in my life, you probably wouldn't care because your life is going well, correct? No, I would care. It's just that I'd be stoic about it. So like, for instance, if a judge were a sense of pedophile to death, they wouldn't be screaming at them that they're a bad person because they've already sent another hundred people to death that they're used to it. So it's not like they don't feel. Yeah, well, that's, that's kind that of off topic. We're not talking about. Well, death no, I'm just saying I've seen other people files. have bad lives right. and I would be able to fix yours. Okay. So what do you think is one of your best qualities? Right now it would be confidence. 100%. It's through the roof. It's insurmountable. Okay. Um, do you work out at all? Not at all. Not even a little bit. Yeah, there's no gains, no gains. Would you be interested in working out? No, of course not. I don't like it. Why not? 
it just doesn't feel good, you know? And I did a lot of working out. I did wrestling. I did karate. I could fight someone to death, sure. But to work out, mm, seems like... <clears throat> okay. Um, do you like doing outdoor activities? Um, not even a little bit. I'm more of an intellectual, which doesn't make sense. So, so what do you color. enjoy doing? Sorry for cutting you off. It's, it's a lot of reading. She's trying to mommy me so hard, this dumb bitch. There's no definition to her face, by the way. It's just all makeup. Now... You'll have people, this is like the fifth time I've read somebody comment, like the real LARPer saying it's the Adderall. Look, people pay to get Adderall, to act like I do with no Adderall. Imagine if I did have Adderall. In fact, I think Adderall would make me calm down, frankly. Do you do any reading? Because that's all I do. And Most it's very, very boring. Noodle arm, motherfucker. Okay. Let's, let's pull this shit out. Ugh. Ugh, look at these fucking gays, bitch. Okay. Okay. It has to do with What's the, the title? It's Storm of Steel. It's about uh, the World War. It has to do with trench warfare, stuff that people tend not to be interested about. So I don't really talk about yeah, it. Yeah, that sounds really boring. Um, well, see, a narcissist would bring it up, though, because they'd be like, oh, I read a book today. I don't care, though. You don't care? I don't care. Would you consider yourself straight? 100%. Okay. I was just wondering. I have something called gay riz, but it's not, you know, the same thing. What's gay riz? Can you describe it's where, it to me? It's where you can be somewhat of like uh, more friendly to women, but it's through extroversion. So when you're so extroverted, it comes to a point where you come off as gay to somebody or like as a best friend. Um, and where a lot of people get stumped in that, I kind of transcend that with a lot of cases because my confidence overrides the sense of like homosexuality, um, where women might meet me at first think like, oh, is the guy gay? So friendly, so this. Turns out that, you know, when the pressure gets on, I get very masculine. Over time, you can kind of tell that I'm straight the whole time. Do you think when you talk with your hands like this, like it makes your points like more meaningful or is that just something you do out of nervousness? Like I'm just wondering. No, I just grew up that way. I had a Latin mother that did the same thing. A lot of people watched Donald Trump growing up like I did. You know, I was like 12 when he ran for president. And it was like one of those things where you kind of pick up on character traits that people you watch growing up. So you're definitely onto something. You can psychologize me way more in the future, okay? But you had a great time. <laughs> All right, Malik, would you go on a date with Lalo Easy03? Absolutely not. <laughs> Fuck He's you, die, bitch. Much... Fuck you, die, bitch. Fuck you, die, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Suffer, die, rot, and kill yourself. No, I'm kidding. Listen. Listen, she was being a bitch. She already had her mind concluded from the start. It was bullshit. Self-absorbed um, <laughs> narcissist. And the confidence thing, I think, was the only thing he said that was that was pretty spot on. However, I don't know how spot on it is because if he feels the need to portray a different character than his true personality, I don't know if that's, like, actual confidence. <laughs> yeah, BT2020 says, Lalo, AZ03, 2024, nigga, let's go, let's go. But now, do you feel like you might be balanced, uh, biased? Like, he so confidently bad. plays a character. I just don't no, know. No. I, look. Distracted says she seems to hate you. Look, listen. We we rerun that speed date again. It's totally all mine. Uh, uh, what what's the song? It's like I get her Chanel and all of the size. Wait. As soon as I see that pussy, I know that it's mine. Look, if I were to run it back again, clearly I could raise up. Look, this was really just like me and my new bow phase. I mean, it's like, I mean, it's like. Tom Brady in college. I mean, like, by the time he's coming back against the Falcons, it's a different man. Okay, this is just a different species. But Mal, do you think you might have a different perspective if you didn't, if you did not see Grace's speed date? Oh no, uh, my perspective okay. would be absolutely the same. Okay, because I do think you did a better dro job dropping the shtick. Uh, there was it was more genuine. There's still massive. Who oh, there? Yeah, yeah. Malik somehow hasn't fucked her dad yet. She comes off more molested. Room to go on that front. I still feel like mm -hmm. you're playing a character, but you did a better job. Yeah, I did feel like yeah. it was a massive job interview. I would redirect the convo and ask some questions back, like which he was like, "So what do you read?" I'm like, "Oh, you know, I'm a Scooby Doo type of guy, Clifford the Big Red Dog, you know that type you're of right. shit." You're know, right. It was. It was also it. like he tried way too hard to impress me with the most boring facts about himself. Like I don't give a fuck. I wasn't like, trying to impress you. I was dead ass the whole time. What do you mean? Okay, like the whole kindergarten seventh grade thing. Oh yeah, I was the smartest, and that's when I realized that. No, other no. Okay, filled cougar, not your everyday Ashley XOXO says I give him a W. You see. You see, when I don't get that mid 20 year old pussy, I'm gonna get for that below mid 40 year old. See, see, I always got a fallback option, brother. I said it's I called a flexible defense. I was not the smartest. Rare occurrence. That was the point. Yeah, like it was, it was, I don't know, it was unattractive. And also, you had a really fruity speed to your That's voice true. throughout the whole day. Mm -hmm. so. I don't know. That's you know, very funny. It's not my thing. Maybe, maybe you'll find someone who's into that. No, I, know, I actually favorite. know someone in real life that's kind of like Lalo, so I can, I, I'm like kind of used you to You gotta that. link me to him. I'm one of the most unique people that have ever existed, so. There, there, there's, someone, there's someone pretty similar to you, but he, he's, let's not, fucking go. he's not in the space anymore. He got <laughs> uh, But yeah, okay, let's, let's go next to uh, Adam. 
All right, I thank you so much, guys, by the way. Oh, wait, what? what? <laughs> Adam's more, more. There's I, I, I was just going to say, he went straight back into the character again. Malik saw it as soon as it happened, and she switched off because she said she didn't like the character. The worst part is she gave him an opportunity and said she was willing to talk to him for real, um, and he went straight back to the character. So, yeah, it's not real. Yeah. No feedback. See, even my L, they don't think it's true because they think I'm too good for it. Yeah, let's go. W Adam Lyons, let's go. No, okay, look. I'm a fruit ninja nigga. Look, it is, okay, Grace can tell you how much of a real thing it is, but like long term speaking, I am very much like this, okay? He actually yeah. is. And no, here's why. Because I've been trying to crack this facade. Do you know how long I've been trying to crack this facade for? Like a month at this point. Wait, re real question. Do you take any stimulants like Ritalin or Coke? <laughs> oh my God, what the fuck? So think about it. Grace is trying to crack my facade in personality, which was why she was into me, dumbasses. People will be like, she's in a beta voice. Nigga, then why was she trying to crack that facade? I'm clearly like an enigma. And now she comes and says I'm asexual, which is not true. I'd fuck her if I had the chance. But the fact is, is that like I'm over here doing what I want because I care about myself over any, anybody else aside from like maybe my little sisters. But I mean the truth is, is that like when you're looking at the whole picture in a holistic sense, like you're Bob Ross pinning your emotions, it becomes off as if like I am this narcissist. And I mean it's become a more metastasized, like actually concrete thing in my personality. But I'm like less gay. And now niggas will be like, oh, no, 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 you are gay. Oh, fuck you. Not true. Lalo's been gay maxing for tr for years. That's why you're a gay enigma. Grace is trying to fly you out to Rhode Island. Yeah, she's like Andrew Tate. Grace is like Andrew Tate, bro. I'm not white. No, I don't take any prescription drugs. Nothing. I take melatonin to ease off, and it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, I'm not surprised. Oh, not Damn. <laughs> Listen, I, I think if I did a line of blow, even I would not be that energetic. I'm, I'm just no, John John Stark Stark get so they're asking me, are you on Coke or Ritalin? Okay, I haven't tried Ritalin, and I'm too poor for Coke. But trust me, they're like, you know, wait, wait, what did Alex say? I think if I did a line of blow, even I would not be that energetic. I'm, I'm Alex is like, even if I did a line of coke, I would not be that energetic. See how blessed I am to have this energy? No soda, nothing. I'm like a Mormon, just raw dogging it through life. High energy because I have been given a purpose that I found through God knows what. And I'm high energy as shit for it. And it's like insane. And niggas wish they were me, okay? And honestly, and there's an offset song. There's an offset song, and it's baller. Okay? I'm rapping. Fucking, we're rapping right now. Hold on. I'm pulling this shit up. It's called Offset. Because uh, they was down. It's called Code. This is Fire. All right. Crack is it the same drug as Coke by that? No, no, that's way worse. See, because if I do Coke, I'll be like a presentable human being. Whereas if I do crack, I'll be like living under a bridge. So no, like Coke has an argument. Like I, I will, I'm like a Coke respecter, so to speak, like relatively speaking, but like crack, no. You know, it's like one thing to fuck a sorority girl, but if you're like having sex with a prostitute, you're a loser. And it's like the same difference. You ideally shouldn't do either, but Coke is kind of cool at least. Like fucking a sorority chick is kind of cool. I don't advise it, but it's cool. Okay, watch. Watch. This is like the reference I'm going for here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. When I pull out the chopper, he had like you couldn't speak. I've been focused on me. Hundred racks in the brief. I had shackles on feet. I adapt in the street. I drip sauce in my sleep. Baddest bitch on my arm. Niggas wish they was me. I'ma do niggas wrong because they was down on me. So again, not even that they did something wrong to him, but I'm going to do niggas wrong because they were. Okay, I'm back. Look, here's how this works. You can see it in between the the moments when he's acting, he doubts himself, and you know because the first time he starts speaking, he says the word um. When he shifts from the real him into the character, he goes um, goes into character, doesn't use another um. 
but that's mm. the trigger. This is consistent in his behavior. Uh, I'm playing it up, but I'm actually like this is the difference. Yeah, I, 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 I'm actually, beginning to actually think believe like... believe in what he says that. I believe in what he says. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I feel like he's just trained himself I'm to insane. be like this for so long that it's become oh, who he is. I thought, I thought With most I people, I don't come like off him. like this because I defer to authority all the time. I'll stay quiet. Everybody likes me. I'm back. And, you know, when I feel like it's more time to play around, I get in the mud and I sling it all over. It gets under your eye, you get annoyed. But, you know, I am here's, like Here's the thing about, like, hanging out with someone like Lalo. They can be highly entertaining. Lalo? They can also be the biggest fucking pain in the ass because they talk <laughs> not. Fuck you, Alex. You can't get a single fucking word. Grace is agreeing with him. Fuck you, too. At 5 a.m. You're like, bro, I'm just trying to pass out. Anyway, let me tell you. How is that annoying girl you want to shut up at every party? That's... Well, that makes me fuckable then. <laughs> it's not exactly. the real him. It's a, it's an act he's playing, guys. And I, Dude, this Adam guy has a crush on I'm me. I'm not saying he's not trying to do it or actively do it, but you can see the difference in how he's shifting. It's even funny. When he tried denying it, he still started with an um. No, wait. I can... They're nitpicking me so hard that if I say um, that it's somehow like something against me. Deny it and not say um. How about that, okay? I, I'm going to be resolutely saying that it's... I did it. Fundalau says Grace likes Ben because sorry, Grace likes Lalo because he, she he reminds him of Ben. That makes no fucking sense. We're not even a little bit similar. And I know somebody said this in the comments today, but this was from June twenty eighth of twenty twenty three. I don't know why the fuck they would even say that. I have nothing in common with Ben. It's not a bit. I'm playing it up a little bit, but you know, it's like I'm flexing, but it's still muscle underneath. I, I believe him when he says that too. No, oh, yeah, 100%. he has very very oh, oh, high only, gay only because only because. <laughs> High gay confidence, Malik. Malik, listen. And look, I'm not even attracted to her in particular, but the fact that she rejected me, I want her more now. Because I've like known people like him in real life. I, look, I, I met this billionaire guy one time. I didn't even know he was rich. I realized in mid-conversation, I did not give a fuck, okay? Who cares? Who cares? I'm the protagonist. That's how it works. This was in reference to when I met this guy, Eric Prince, who owns Blackwater, which is like the private arm of the U.S. military. Out. Then why are you sharing the story? I'm sharing the story because I'm trying to portray a sense of stoicism or not stoicism, but a level of consistency in the character of my. So you care about us knowing? Yeah, 100%. As in, so I'm going into a public forum to defend what I'm doing. Yes. Right. So you do care? 100% I do care. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, yeah. Uh, Lalo, appreciate you coming out. Okay. See, I handled that. He thought he got me. I'm like confidently like, yeah. Yes, I contradicted myself. Yes, yes, precisely. In fact, yes, I got felt to none. Your Honor, yes, I'm guilty. <laughs> you're you're, 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 you're character. Uh, let's go. Keep coming back. Yeah, good to see you. All right, thank you, guys. Take Thanks, man. Keep doing it. Like, I legit knew a guy in college who was, like, just like him in a lot of ways. He was maybe not as high energy, but, like, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, dude, he's trying to be this way. I mean, it's good for him. Like, I well, get he's it. He's playing like, it up. He's playing yeah, it up. exactly. Fake it, it until you make it, other, right? There's an underlying, like, if you strip all over, like you get, you get some shrooms, right? Like you fucking strip away his ego. <laughs> no, he's not. So Alex is saying, if you you put me on shrooms, that I won't be so cool. Look, I I'm down to do shrooms. Like before, there was this really hot Greek girl that was into shrooms, and I thought, man, that's so gross. Like you know, like if I could fuck, maybe I'd do the shrooms. But I was like so just like just like completely off. But but nowadays, I'm like, you know what? Frankly. I'm like, so, I have a high tolerance for everything because clearly I'm like mentally there. And so like, if I'm going to experiment with anything, it ought to be in my twenties. But the point being is like shrooms, they say that it's going to change me. No, it probably won't. It probably won't. But yeah. Talk nonstop. Dude, he'll get older and realize he ain't getting laid and he'll correct it so that he can get a girl. Well, that's no, I feel like Adam's saying that Lalo's going to correct his behavior when he knows he's not getting laid. True. Like, honestly, if I go in enough of a, like, if I go more than six months without pussy, I'm going to have to recalibrate the effort. But until then. We're chilling. I think he's charming. I think he's charming. I think he's charming. For now. It gets annoying. When you live with it. Yeah, but when you wake up every day. He is charming, Grace. with it, and you're like, God damn, I want to see the real person. Like, uh, we got we got a few people backstage. Sit. I'm gonna get you on right after this. All these bitch niggas backstage have to wait for me, nigga. Person, he's been waiting for a while, so let me bring on Darius Thorpe, your husband, Grace. Oh God. Oh, God. Hello. <laughs> Hi, really. Oh wait. Give me some one second. Oh wait, this is the fucking same person, isn't it? Look <laughs> no, at yeah, Darius, the sloppy ass outfit. Okay. That's so Darius. I'm so glad with Jesus. This look. You're muted. No, we're not. What's up? All right, so What's... what are you guys doing? Like a two person speed date? Or just two so I was thinking, I think we should do this like on and off. Um, he was saying that like a joint package, but I asked him like, if me and let's just say Grace would have a great time. With, like, he was sipping so hard for her, dude. Us both, he would not do like a three way situation. Um, so I think it should be a situation where we go one on one, and then we go like one one one, and then one one one. 
So I call my shot. I say, watch Darius not be as good as me. Watch. I, think there's two things I forgot he was even on here. We can do a both you two and two girls. Malik should be perfect for really. Yeah, they're both like self righteous douches. So this way makes sense. Or we can do you guys one by one, and we'll like do like four minutes per person, so it's like kind of balances out. Uh, so it's up to you if you guys want to do uh, one by one, or you want to do just two of you and two girls, and I'll give you some extra time. I'll make it like six or seven minutes, so the timing will balance out. Yeah, honestly, it's your situation, bro. If anything, that's great. I'm right there with you. Let's get it. Uh, do you guys have a I say we do two on two. I mean, that's more entertaining, so sure. Yeah. Let's do it. Two on two? Oh, geez, All right, cool. I'm gonna take oh, me. Sure. I'm gonna take me and Adam off. This guy. It did it. Photo law says Darius is level 2.0. Now he says that is a pejorative. Now, mind you, Darius is seven years older than me. So imagine being compared to me, but you're seven years older than me. That's like behind the eight ball by a league mile. Yes. Let's see what happens. I'm looking for. Uh, all right. Really good. Uh, I guess. I mean, everybody here knows each other. Which is a I never see two baby best friends <laughs> in the room today until just now. So what's up? Uh, nice Are these even friends? They are, uh, I'll tell you right now, you don't need to get, actually, let's just not use background information that we have about these two. Let's just go fresh into it. Um, so, hey, uh, I like your hair bun. Malik, you look cute. Uh, Grace, I, I like your makeup. Uh, did you take a shower today? I did, actually, yep. Did you, what soap did you use? Um, I only washed my hair. It's a long you only washed your hair? <laughs> yeah. You didn't get under the pits? It's a long story. I, I didn't take a shower before the stream, so I had to just do my hair. Okay. Well, I'm sure you smell absolutely uh, extravagant. I saw you guys had some when I was... Actually, I don't know anything about it. I'm sure you have cologne that smells really good. Um, He's so guys... nervous. He's like grabbing his hands like this, bro. This is not Lalo level, dog. Uh, you guys do work. Nigga got mugged by gay Lalo work. Anything for work or something? Like you guys just sit here and stream all day or what? Yeah, I stream for work. I'm not streaming now, but. Are you streaming for work, Malik? Like, I took a look at your Twitter before. I saw you did pictures. You model. Um, I actually mm -hmm. did a couple years back, but not anymore. Wait, but not anymore. Happened. You did you, Wait, you hit wall or something? What? You hit like a wall or something? No. Why would you stop? Why would you stop? Uh, I just, I don't know. Oh, you you, just had you, other, I just had other things to do. She's so I mean, shitty at conversation, by the way. Like, Malik sucks. You keep up your appearance and look good. So I, I get that. I get the vibe. I get the vibes. Um, really? Are you going to go back to it? Is that something that if you just stopped for no apparent reason, you probably could get back to it, no? Maybe. I don't know. It's, it's not It's not on my checklist in the near future. What kind of modeling did you do? Were you like a hand model? Like one of those no, 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 no. It, it, was, it was portrait photography. Mostly. <laughs> Oh, so riveting. Yes. Portrait photography. Photography. Wow. So great, man. I'm so glad I asked you about your interest, dumb bitch. Yeah, Grace, you ever done any modeling? No. Um, primarily, I'm good at um, burning people's clothes who disrespect my house and their guests. Uh, that's a Roasted. Oh, my God, bro. He embarrassed himself for this, dog. That's a pretty good profession. That's like woodworkers. Yeah, I'm pretty that's, good at it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. How do people usually disrespect your guests? Can you do my elaborating? How do guests generally oh, disrespect me? Oh, uh, yeah. I'd love to know. Um, you know, they, they go around trying to find every piece of dirt they can on me and they're just, and they oh, complain yeah. about, you know, the way I cook them breakfast and stuff. So, yeah, I know. Like, have you ever like, have you ever actually had eggs before that were like, or, sorry, when you cook meat, would you use the same fork that you use to turn the, the steak around? Like, cause yeah. I think that you would, it doesn't, what, what kind of criticism is that? So you use a fork to flip a steak, which in and of itself is tacky. And then you use that same fork to eat the fucking steak. How is that even a problem? Like, there's some bigger issues, brother, and he doesn't even mention that. When you eat it? Isn't that called yeah. salmonella? Huh? There's no salmonella with fucking steak. So, again, he's such a man child. He has no comprehension of that. And, again, I don't even cook. I'm 20. I'm an idiot. I have a mom and a maid, nigga. No. Salmonella is from chicken, not from steak. Felt it. What? See, even Raleigh is like, Doc, please, nigga. You're not going to get salmonella from cooking a steak. What? How am I supposed to know that, dude? You know, you know, you know the fucking no, oh, you, you know what I'm talking about? You're talking about eggs. You use the same eggs that you use to batter the fucking, uh, the fucking shit. That's not allowed. It's uncooked eggs. Uncooked eggs. Mom, no, 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 actually, other people. That's literally it's uncooked eggs that are on that fork. You put it in the same thing. That's gonna give me some. Um, uh, po poetic sin says, at playing with fire, Lalo has two thousands Tyler vibes. Man can be an overpowered PUA. Who's Tyler in a uh in a PUA context? Tyler PUA two thousands. I'm kind of curious, actually. I want to look this up right now. Uh, don't mind me for like 10 seconds to look this shit up real quick. So it's going to be Tyler uh, P-Way's P-Way pickup artistry. Owen Cook, Tyler Durden. Wait, really? I'm the Tyler Durden? What? Owen Cook? Oh, is it this guy? I'm like this guy? Why? 
Is he supposed to be confident or something? He's not good looking. I mean, this guy on the right looks more like me, if anything. Yeah. Who knows? I don't know. Pick somebody better looking to compare me to, bitch. Shit is insane. Well, my bad. Hold on. Which one is it? This one? Manila. There's no, no way you're, you're trying. I always do that. Yeah, right? What, what are you, some kind of pussy? You're 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 a little bit of uncooked egg? Is that going to kill you, dude? Like, what the fuck? Hey, yeah, if you're making what, scrambled what? eggs and you whisk with a fork, you just rinse off that fork and use that to, like, serve the egg. I could understand if you rinse it off and then you, you like dry it off as well. Yeah, to let's talk to Rally a little bit. He seems a little more intelligent. She did? Okay, well, great. Wait, hold up. Is that what she did? No, she didn't. It was, oh, you, could okay. see, you could see the like port, like the levels of cook in the fucking fork. It was like cooked, uncooked, a little bit cooked. It was like a whole fucking, it was like a tier list. So, it sounds soy. It's unbelievable. A little bit it's soy that you don't know how to cook as a grown ass woman? Damn. That's kind of fucked, Grace. A little but, bit of uncooked egg? Okay. But, but dairy is This is why I ditched your gay ass at my mom's house and you cried on her porch for two, three, four hours. Begging your Dude, Rally's such a good best friend that he's just laughing at Darius' expense. So much for a fucking white knight, by the way, you fucking buffoon. And then again, she's calling him gay, even though like I'm arguably more gay than Darius is, just like in the way that we come off. Obviously, I'm not gay at all, and he apparently has fucked a transgender one time. So your chatters to give you donos to get a ride home. This is why this kind of behavior. Yeah, take that, bro. Yikes. Me personally, I wouldn't take that. What a simp, bro. Really? You deserved it. Grace. Now, like, do you think, uh, not, do you think Darius not. looks like a bitch right now? Um. This is not even flirty at this point. Like, this is not I, I, I don't know what happened, but I guess this isn't a date at all. No, it is a date, and he has awful riz. Now, let's talk to Riley. He seems a little more intelligent, a little more mature, you know, more, maybe a little bit closer to manhood than Darius. Let's talk to him. Wait, hold on. I, I wait, appreciate wait, 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 let's, let's start here. A minute ago, you were saying... Earlier, when we first met, you said that I was, like, the most effeminate man that you had ever met. And now, as soon as it comes time to make fun of his masculinity, now you're propping me up, I won't have it. And you're right. I consider myself somewhat intelligent. But you're not going to like what I have to say about your actions. Because he goes easier on you than I do. I think No riz with the way he talks. You're fucking insane. I'm I can take it. I can take it rough. Okay. Go ahead, then. Bullshit! So th this dude came through, just fucking spent a night inside your room, and then you turn that fucking thing into a CSI crime scene the moment that he leaves. Bullshit. You can, you can have it rough. Malik, though, what are your thoughts? But about Darius. I think it's so hot that she plays with the knife too. Listen, Grace, honestly, She's gotta bring that back. It seems like a very toxic, abusive relationship before it even I agree. started. And I, I don't agree. think they should ever meet up in person again. But that's I agree, me personally. We should though. Well like, we should though. Well, Rally, like I went on a date with you and you told me you would never date me because you're a homebody and I like to travel. Yeah, look, look And you're also a liberal and I'm not. Wait, you're actually not a liberal. What are you? Um, I, I consider myself um independent, like I'm not conservative, I'm not li I'm just in between everything. However, um, uh, we have very this is so cocked, dude. This is so cocked, Grace. You're actually cocking me because here's the thing right now. If I go in, I'm like, okay, well, I did this because of X reason, Y reason. You're like, me, 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 my dad, you're gonna go against you. And here's the thing, here's the thing. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to flip, keep us levitated because I don't wanna, I you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna push your buttons too much because I'll be honest, you look banging as hell right now. Obviously, you took a shower for the first time in a good minute. Uh, He's simping so hard, bro. This shit is down bad as fuck, bro. God damn. I'm just like, I'm just taking it in while I can. So I'm just, I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I don't know, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. There's literally gonna cry this shit. I'm not gonna cry this shit. I'm just trying to think of. With the tactic. Oh, I don't remember this being so bad. Because I can't fucking say shit. I can't say shit, or I'm gonna get a fucking mouth. That's right. That's right. That's right. There's nothing to say. Hey, hey, hey. Can I can I play like matchmaker for a second? So uh. Oh, Malik's getting felted it and just abandoned. Uh, Darius, what'd you what'd you buy Grace for her birthday? Uh, if I was to buy Grace anything for her birthday, it would be a. <sighs> Am I allowed to make father jokes? I would buy. I would buy her. I don't know about Grace. <laughs> Malik ignored and cucked. Yes, please. Make Malik suffer. Fuck I would you, buy Malik. Her a, a, a med kit. All right, I love this a med kit. This long Look at that cringe. Man. It was entertaining. Uh, I don't even know where to start with this. I guess we'll start. Alex, let's get some heterosexuals on the stream. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Alex. <laughs> What's your soon-to-be husband? If he's gay, what does that say about you? Sure. Bring bad the bring back the Mexican says Dwight. Yeah, baby. Well known for oh, I can't say it on the stream. Never. Mind. <laughs> All right, so uh, look, I'll just. Um, I tried to convert him. Obviously, it didn't work. Would any of you girls go on a date with any of these guys? I'll just play. <laughs> both of us have been on dates with both of them, and it didn't go well. Oh, you, I, didn't know, I, didn't I, just, I didn't know you knew them, Alex. I knew that Grace knew them. I didn't know you knew them. Yeah. You've been like a real life date with them. 
No, it, it, me for me, it was internet. I think for Grace, it was both internet and then real life. See, I'm such a clout goblin. I say I'm down to go back on. I guess I got inspired by Darius fumbling so hard. What do, you think, okay, what do you think? Just real talk, then. What do you think they could do better? Okay, so Darius honestly swings all the ways, um, and he gets Yikes. laid, so he doesn't need advice. As far as irrelevant goes, um, I don't know if he wants advice. I don't think he does, so I'm going to give it anyway. Um, well, if you want, though, so. yeah, if, if you want, if you want um, to get laid more, really, um, maybe put your socks on when you cuddle with Darius at night. But other than that, <laughs> what um, the fuck? I would, I would try being a little more masculine and dominant, and not letting like girls talk over you. I know you're liberal, but like, I do feel like men still need to be like. Um, we're dominant and leading in a relationship. Can we, can we run this back on a one-on-one? I just realized this is like actually cut. I, if I could just- I, 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 I need... were cucked so many times, Darius, that I'm beginning to think you are one. Okay, listen, this whole last seven days was probably the most cucked I've ever been in my life. I'm gonna be for real. I told you dad, not to go, but... <laughs> you did tell me not to go, that's true. Because She's enjoying his pain. messages he got from her father before. But I, I just, I just, I just, I just that. I just, okay, so- I feel like it's just- I feel like he's- We got so many people, we can't get into like too much back drama. All right, so this is this is what I would say. Uh, For our relevant, right? What's, how do I, how do yeah. I, Probably. So I actually yep. think you're like not terrible. I think that if you were by okay. yourself on a speed date with a girl who didn't know you, you'd probably do pretty decent. A speed date when you're part um playing character, maybe that's probably the kindest way of putting it. A less kind way of putting it would be flamboyant. But yeah, I mean like effeminate. Yeah, effeminate. Yeah, that would be a less kind way of putting it. But yeah, I mean like is, I feel like I have the same. Areas. I have like, the same feedback for you as I had for the previous guy. It's like it's like you're playing a character. Um, yeah, that's why it's like this two on two situation, and I feel like we can get interruptions from two people that kind of have a little bit of context to me. Okay, he negatively compared me to Darius, or otherwise. I can't be genuine in a moment. That's why I'm like, I need this one-on-one -on -one chemistry. I need to just pretend I don't know either one of these people. Because you and I, the chat just knows, but you and I met up for hookah, and like, you're, you're a pretty like normal person in real life. You're not like a weirdo or something like that. So, yeah, I feel like if you could just be that person, like not play into the character so much, you probably have much better results. But, um, yeah, Adam, do you have any last thoughts before we move I mean, on? yeah, these guys obviously knew each other and got backstory in history, but that was obviously right from the very beginning, right? So this, this wasn't a speed day. This was a, a slanging match catching up over <laughs> three drama of seven days staying together, right? I mean, um, you know, ultimately, I think both of the guys probably would do pretty good in a speed day elsewhere. And I think that- Bullshit. Uh, putting the guys in their place live on TV. Bullshit. Terrible advice. Right, cool. Fuck right, you, anyway, bitch. Move on to the next one. Thanks for dropping by, guys. Appreciate That's bullshit. We'll see you next time. All right, we got to move on to Sid. Then we got you, Ahmed. Don't worry, I see you. And then- Bunch of other people backstage. We got full backstage. Average uh, Destiny viewer. I don't know what happened. <laughs> no, don't, don't talk. Don't talk about Destiny like that. Uh, I think that uh, I don't know what happened to that one chick. She just randomly dropped off. I think she just lost reception. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Two girls is more than enough. What's up, Sid? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you, Alex? Okay, yeah, we got so enough Indians go going on. Now. I've gotten enough of these goddamn. Anyway, let's see. I want, you know, let's a log Tom Fullery. Now this guy is a terrible fucking streamer. Like Barnon, one of the worst. Uh, ever even exist okay this guy fucking sucks are you still live buddy oh okay never mind this guy sucks ass think about it you stream about the same like more or less like the same vibes uh or sorry like the same nomenclature about the destiny sphere and yet he only has 4.1 thousand subscribers despite being at the game for so damn long and being so consistent with like several hour long streams because the nigga is so fucking boring collision course with the cosmic flesh says hi lalo this is Artie's wife yeah i recognize you look like the girl from the bring me back to life song by evanensis uh Ev evanensis okay hold on it's bring me to life now i used to watch a broly amv where he would beat the shit out of like the the, the super saiyans and this was like 2005 this is fucking perfect, okay? You kind of look like this. A little more normal. Amelia is hot, but I was just saying, you kind of look like this bitch. Hot babe finder? What do you mean? That's fucking cat. It says RK. What do you mean? Uh, distracted says, people just hate watch Malik. I'm guessing like QT Cinderella. QT Cinderella is better looking though. QT Cinderella. She's kind of bad though. Let's look this up. She's hot. What are you talking about, hate watch? Nigga, I'm not hate watching shit. Speaking of, look at it. This is hot. Speaking of which. Uh, hold on. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. This is what I, yes, 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 yes. This is the vibe, folks. This is the vibe. I need a Silent Hill GF. Um, thanks, Lalo Lol. It's true. Lalo, that's what Tom Fullery had his bio say. Hot babe finder. The, you know, didn't he like say that, wasn't he gassing himself up on like alts on Reddit about how he got bitches or some shit? This girl's so hot though. 
She kind of does. She look like Grace, but like worse and better at the same time. Imagine you're stuck in a hellscape with some fucking pyramid, pyramid trapezoid looking ass nigga, and you're in Silent Hill, but then you got a hoe, but th- but then you got a girlfriend though. But what if? But but okay, so what if you're in hell, but then you get laid? <laughs> but 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 what if? What if there's blood everywhere, but you get a girlfriend? But what if? But what if? I'm just saying. Hear me, <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out, folks. Uh. Silent Hill is awesome. I can't wait for the fucking remake. Let's get this shit happening. Okay. The personality. What's the personality? Silent Hill. This is so cute. She's so cute. Look at her. She needs help. I, I need to save this bitch. Not really. I would die. If I were in Silent Hill, I would die instantly. But it's so cute. Imagine you're like some 18-year-old girl going through like Silent Hill. That'd be so scary to me. Grace looks like Hannah Gutierrez. Yeah, well, I fucking doubt that. Anna Gutierrez. I don't know how to spell that. Bro, really? Really? What is it? What is that even a reference to? And no, she doesn't look like Hannah Gutierrez. No, she doesn't. Oh, okay. Here, maybe. Silent Hill 2 re- remake is going to be ass. Uh, Yeah, but what about the graphics, though? But what about the graphics, though? Silent Hill to remake imagine the hype just the graphics i want to see the cameron diaz bitch in hd look at this Mm. just imagine this the environment looks so good yeah yeah look at this look at this it's so appealing to me it's so appealing to me i need some of this in my life See, Silent Hill is so good. It's so pathetic. It's so creepy. Imagine you're in hell. You see some fat, self-deprecating retard trying to kill himself eating pizza in hell. Okay? It's, like, so disconcerting to watch this guy. Okay? It's Kino. It's Kino. I guess Grace has a classic look. She does. She totally has, like, the 70s, like, smoking addict, single mother. Totally. Maria about to make me bust. Yeah, exactly. Am I on this stream? I found this. Esoteric archivism. Am I on this one? Let's see. <laughs> this was the Ethan Ralph stream. This when I had facial hair, right? Yeah, I did. Let's see this. I was being such a douche here. See, again, I never comb my hair on these. I never comb my hair on these. What the fuck was I thinking? That's such a bad look for me. It makes me look horrible. Again, Tom Fullery, boring ass motherfucker. Let's see. Let's see what the most recent stream has. You fuck with it? No, you don't. Liar. Gaslighter. All right, let's look up uh Thorpe Arrest. Let's see what his coverage is it's like. Happening. I hate this freaking thing. What so is his look? The audio will not work unless the Daniac. Ava Lamvao. Court's decision on mm. Tuesday. That's. I don't like Ava. Wait, Ben Thorpe was all up in his chat? Look how empty his chat is. Look how much Ben Thorpe takes up of it. He just tickled her? I mean, I did just because it was in her bio. We went into her chat and made her quit. Yeah, Ava sucks. With my... That's what I was just saying. You're telling me. Well, why not? Mantis, Mantis, she's 18 years old. Wait, 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 hold on, but, hold on, hold on, wait, Ben Thorpe called into this live stream and nobody knew about it, not even his own Discord, what the fuck, no way. Oh, you can do a mod view now? Yeah, I think, anyway, she making me. I skipped over it, I lost it. A little bit like, okay. I just wanted to put it there. Be, why can't you just I, we were going in circles, Ben. So we're going in circles. We're going in circles. Shit. You're you're just repeating yourself. You have not well, right. actually I mean, engaged trying, with anything that I said, you. so I'm not going to go in circles with you. You're not guiding. You're shame. going it's in circles. Guiding me it's with going a linear up, fashion in one direction. You can't guide me. In- Imagine spending your afternoon arguing with Tom Flurry. Uh, maybe your hair gets flat over time off camera. Just give it a quick comb after a couple hours. I was thinking about using a blow dryer to be honest, which is like super fucking gay, but 
you know, I, I got to do what I can. Okay. Because at this point I'm struggling, you know, I need to get the hair on point. It's got to look decent. I mean, right now it's like very mediocre, but I mean, it's better than what I used to rock. I'm surprised it worked for me then. I was on this one too, I think. What's up, players? We are live for another round of. Now, I reviewed this one kind of recently. I'm kind of curious if they comment about me. <sighs> I make music videos and. Spicoli. Okay, hold on. I'm Batman. I was around 40 minutes in. So let's see if there's any timestamps about me. Because if, if there isn't, I'm going to kill. I forgot Grace was on this. Okay. Anyway, let's let's check this out. Um, bro, I always thought Aspen was fat. Lol, it seems like her IG was taken down. I I have the IG. On. Hold on. Let's keep going. Keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Where is the contact content? Sorry. My darling by Eminem. Have any of you guys listened to, to what do you call it? To relapse relapse by Eminem. One of the best albums to ever exist. Music box by Eminem. It's kind of rapey. I'm not going to sing it in public unless I get money for it, but it's fire. All right. I don't want to rewatch myself on this. It was too recent. I don't care for it. Let's see. What else? I've been live for... Let me see how long I've been live for. I've been on for 4 hours and 25 minutes, folks. No, 4 hours and 35 minutes. Do we have anything uh, else to suggest, obviously? Let's think about something. Do we have anything? Let's think. Let's think. Let's think. Holy shit, Lalo crackhead stream? Well, what do you mean crackhead stream? What did I do? Thought it was going to be shorter? Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I got distracted with a ton of stuff. I wonder what Grace is going to think about it when she rewatches it tomorrow, I suppose. I don't know. Let me see. I have so many things in my iCloud. Yeah, so I, I'm trying to, I was trying to scour through archives so I can watch my old shit again because it was so funny to me. Like, for example, this. I found this. If you look at this. This was from, from like the summer, but I found it on a Darius replay just randomly. He was rewatching this for some reason. But I mean, just look at the aesthetic back then. Okay. This is what we were rocking. Okay. This was the preset. No, like no combing. It was bad. You should have had Ben on and then kicked him middle of yapping. True. I need to become more of a douche. I need to become Adonis. I need to become Adonis and kick his ass. What else do we have in here? Gay aesthetic. What is? Oh, what what I had before. Yeah. What else do we have? Uh. Gay aesthetic. All right. So what? Oh, okay. I was just testing a mic in this video. Okay, I was curious. Hmm. Anything else we've got? The, a picture with me, but the fucking glove. Okay, what else do we have? Do we have anything? I'm just, I'm just making sure. I'm being thorough. I'm being thorough as fuck. I'm, I'm running the streams down to the bare minimum. We're at a frigid 17. It's looking tough, folks. Let's see. I'm thinking of adding music to the background. You know what? I know exactly what to fucking play to. Now that I think about it, I've got it. It's going to be... It's going to be Silent Hill theme. Dude, this is going to be Kino. Now get ready for this. 
make it long though make it long a long one like a two like a extended now this is depressing you want to listen to this on a bus ride or when you're in the car for long segments and you want to zone out this is perfect for you folks play this it's fire God, that's loud. it was this one ambient and relaxing silent hill watch 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 the vibes here i'm staring into the in, in the mirror it's depressing as fuck So think about how high energy I am and then having this in the background. Perfect. Okay. Now we have a little bit of a backing. I should have considered this hours ago. Okay. So like I said, give me any last minute ideas before I wrap up. It's two in the morning. It's a crisp. It's crispy on a torn turntable, relaxing yet disturbing. How ironic! Classic. I have the vinyls, all of the OSTs. Wow, that's impressive. Oh yeah, dude, dude. Okay, who's this alt? I have this saved on my phone, on on my computer. But I remember this. This was what day was this? I don't know. This was November 4th. So there's some random panel with some crackhead. Do Roman... Homeless Grace Thorpe says, Do Roman Catholics diddle themselves to Lala Walla? Cam. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, that was... That was after I leaked it, but still. What the fuck? Imagine... Imagine that's... See, that's like the whole thing. Like, oh... Uh, I didn't orgasm to Lala, so he took the L. Meanwhile, they're like in her chat saying that. Like, imagine, I mean, and again, I love Grace, but I took the W on that. And again, I fumbled it. I fucked it up. I should have whipped the dick out, but I didn't. Okay. The lobster didn't come out, but I will tell you, uh, wait, should I call it that? The Lalo lobster It's coming out, nigga. Pinch, pinch. Yikes. That's cringe. But anyway, would you agree? The music is a little scary. Imagine you're at Chuck E. Cheese and some nigga. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Imagine you're in Chuck E. Cheese and some nigga says, come over here and help me put the toppings on the pizza. And then he comes in with the Silent Hill music and you're, tra and you're trapped and you're trapped in the furnace. And you're being cooked into the fucking pizza oven. It is a little scary. Distracted. It is. Collision Course says, the video, A Call to Arms is crazy. You handled that one really well. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. A Call to Arms, Grace Thorpe. Where is, is, is it recent? I don't remember that. Is it, is it the one with uh, Ethan Ralph? Is that the one you're talking about? Grace slaps. See, the uh, this should have been me, dog. Imagine if I slapped Grace. It would have been so much better. Not that I'm really into that, but still. She hit me. It's only fair game. See, there's so much Kino in here. So many Darius L's. See, this is what I do in my free time is I fucking rap, okay? This is fire. First person shooter. So good. No, it's gone now, I think. Is it the one with Ethan Ralph? I'm assuming, yes. You love the Silent Hill soundtrack? Well, that's very endearing to me. Uh, now, this is also a banger channel you guys need to look into. It's called Plum Corp Records. They have this gimmick of this black guy who's like totally out of it, but yet he's like uh it, it, it's so weird to me hold on let me let me see which one i'm gonna show you guys it's so fire you have no fucking clue okay it's gonna be like ceo breaks down a day in the life like this look here was some our up and coming a call to arms is the one where ben was trying to get grace to say he wanted to kill court yeah that's the one where i was supposed to be their lawyer yeah that was weird products and this one right here Look at the detail. This shit will have you screaming and hollering. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! This shit will have you screaming. Here. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Let's go. This right here He's selling players. fleshlights to be on a cantaloupe. This, this one right here. Team players only. This shit right here, this is for the real freaks. They got bro fucked up right now. 
<laughs> Yo. King shit. We also sell a lot of Prescotts. We are Prescotts. The, world's, the biggest Prescott manufacturer. <laughs> we have Prescotts all over the world. <laughs> this is our CEO. Of oh my He's god, doing that's a so good funny. Job. Oh he my just god. Paid 900,000. Yeah. Dogs a year. Holy shit. To do this shit. <laughs> he has a clone living in every capital <laughs> city. We make all kinds of clothing products uh, like this. Uh, Sometimes I feel like Smoky Margella. Friendly orbital VSAT. Fuck me, man. Air. That is so I'm cool. Sending in an A10 Warthog with hollow tips. The $751 <laughs> billion dollar transaction is complete. Uh, Would shit. you like me to create any more species? Uh, this is the law. That is so fucking good, man. Being a seed on the Get ready for this one, folks. So I'll take a pee break. Watch. Clothing brand in the world has its perks, but it's not all easy. It's not easy being Randall Thimes. I'm gonna talk about the day in the life of a CEO and show how a real CEO lives. I first wake up, I brush my teeth, then I go to a local 7-Eleven, get a black and mild and some black wood. Can I get one single black and mild and a pack of backwoods? Yeah. The plastic? Yeah, that was right here, yeah, backwoods, yeah, yeah. That's good. 1044. Thank you very much. I have a nice cup of coffee. Then I go to 7 Eleven and I get a black and mild. One more black and mild. And one mega. Quick pick mega. No, 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 no. I already got it. Just one mega, one mega. Then I have a booming onion for lunch. So you can see how innocent the guy is in the way that he Then acts. I go to the local 7-Eleven and get a black and mild and some black wood. Get yeah. <laughs> some black one wood? Black and, mild and, a, and one pack of, of backwoods. Yes, yep, yep. And backwood, one pack of backwood. The backwoods right there, we kind of have the, a smooth. Yeah. He's, he's so like blissfully retarded and yet so com commanding in the way he speaks. It's like really funny. Five star restaurants. <laughs> Just how I like it. Everything else tastes like shit. <laughs> and then I go to the 7 Eleven. I get a black and mild, some black woods. <laughs> then I go to Starbucks and ask them if they have any black and miles or black wood. <laughs> CEOs. They need time to relax too. <laughs> On my days off, if I'm not smoking, I like to get my dicks in. It's not easy to get many times. He, CEO of the fastest growing luxury clothing brand in the world, has its perks, but it's not all easy. <laughs> spread challenge, spread challenge. Spread challenge. Uh, oh no. Somebody. Somebody's short. <laughs> I'm about to call Rocky Mountain. Uh, Mountain about this one. I gotta call him. I need my, I might have called Jaru about this. I think, I think Egypt is short on this one. That pussy smelled like oxtails, tacos. That's gonna be the bomb. I'm moving different. This shit ain't. Uh, oh, oh my God, that is so good. Jesus Christ, man. That is so awesome to me. Ooh, ooh. Oh my God, that is so fire. It is so fire to me. On, do you guys like get the appeal though? It's like so niche, it's perfect. Makes me feel all special and shit. Who the fuck is that girl that hits golf balls with the bouncy titties? Gracie Cheris, I think. What do you mean, dog? Oh yeah, this one's also really good. Jesse, the perk is too good. I'm about to pre. Oh, oh, oh. How does this make you feel, white boy? The perk got me crazy! Oh, the good perk. Oh, the good perk. Jesse, I'm busting off the pill. Oh, this perk has me reaching for the luger. Oh, the good 
perk. The good perk. The good perk. This one overdoes it for sure. You gotta be drunk. I'm the real Two-Face. I'm crazy. I'm rigorous. Shake the city then. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I'm gonna shake the city then. I haven't been milked in a minute. I need a release. I'm moving so crazy right now. I'm moving so crazy right now. I need a release. Four Giottos in the Batmobile. That asshole better be breathing. I'll up the glick on anybody. I'm at Whole Foods with that Ruger. Estas mirando Bat Talk. Bat Talk. Sana sana. Colita de rana. Sana sana colita de rana. It's just so weird. Okay, so you were talking about Grace Cheris. Now, can we get an age check on this chick? Just curious. Ooh, she's young. Okay. She's 20. Nice. Okay, perfect. Let's check this shit out. So you're saying she's bad? I mean... So, I mean, Milk Game is like a 9. Yeah, Milk, milk Gang on fleek, of course. Now, face-wise, she's like a 4, to be honest. Okay. Overall, I'll give her a 7. Like, she has a fantastic body, but the face isn't great. And I'm a face guy over anything. But yeah, no, the boobs are phenomenal. Okay. So, I mean, this is not my type. It definitely would, by the way. But, I mean, this is just a non-controversial opinion, I suppose. <clears throat> yeah, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. All right. All right, so we're chilling right now. Do we have any other suggestions before I wrap? Just curious. Uh, okay. Yeah, boobs are like 9.5. Yeah, you're right. Great. Great. Sh good, 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 good shit, man. Good shit, son. Uh, no, everybody's sleeping, I think. Yeah, imagine. I have 15 phantom viewers. Um... Okay. 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 Hold on. I'm, I'm just checking different things real quick to make sure I have a complete and succinct update on everything. <clears throat> I'm going over my mom cutting my toenails in November. Uh, who cares? I cut my toenails. Who gives a fuck, nigga? I'm him. Okay, we're chilling. This backing track really makes me feel more at ease, by the way. Uh, dude, my voice is shot. <clears throat> so here's the thing that makes Grace psycho, by the way. So I'm looking at another example here. Okay. Now, here it says, this is from October. It says, Lala, why did you tell Lav in a VC that you saw my pussy when you didn't? You're so weird, dude. And I said, I don't even talk to Lav. And then I say, well, who told you that? And then she says, my, my sources are private, sorry. Like, nigga, the fuck? Like, that's just trippy. That's trippy. Because first of all, I didn't even talk to Lav. So what that means is that one of her simps was in a VC with me, heard something I said, exaggerated it, and then added Lav to the story to Grace so that she would give a shit about me saying something about me seeing her pussy. Like, okay. Which is why the bitch is unhinged, my nigga. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but back then I would give a shit. You know, last year I would have been like, damn, wait, did I really say something? Did I say something bad? Oh, it's my bad. But it's like, nah, nigga, I'm, I'm him. Was it my fault? Not really. Whatever. Did I see it or did I not see it? Who cares, frankly? Oh, this is, okay, this is another thing, by the way. Okay, so I was drinking with my friends at the office and this stupid motherfucker, so I, I obviously have the laptop open doing, like I was phone banking. And this fucking idiot types to Grace and says, I, I miss you, heart emoji. The fucker can't even put the emoji because he's drunk too. So then he puts in, I miss you, heart emoji. Like, what an idiot. 
What a fucking idiot. You can't even make this shit up with these people. Okay? Fucking ridiculous. But. Uh, what else? Oh my god. This was, okay, this was after uh, me and Xena were cool uh, in that Arizona context. Look at this. I was in her server, and then she says, she says, weird as fuck, at Grace Thorpe, that nigga Lalo a pussy who will get shot up for your information. Again, what, what, what did I even do to provoke her trying to kill me? I don't know what that was. I don't remember. What could I have possibly said then? I don't even know. Uh, dude, this this Silent Hill music is great, by the way. Why is she trying to add Ghetto Huzino? Because she is Ghetto. She's ratchet. I love it. That pussy be stinking like Funyuns. I'm joking. Uh, oh, that's my bad. I'm chilling so hard right now because of the music. And hot Cheetos. Yeah. Oh, my back hurts like crazy. Do we have anything else, folks? Pussy sweet like orange Fanta. See, I like that one. Do you have a public Spotify playlist? No, I think it's private. I, I could I could link it. I could link it. For a $5 cash app, I will link my thousand song playlist that I've only ever shared with my sister at direct request. See, this is why I need this bitch to open the back catalog to the paywall, okay? Like, there's so many bangers. Like, I'm in this one. I need to see this. Like, all this shit. I need all the smoke. Now, granted, the thumbnail she chose of me was fucking terrible, but... I'm in a lot of these, is what I'm saying. So, I need those out. Uh, okay. What else do we have? <clears throat> what else? Does Grace edit her own videos? Yeah, I mean, for the most part, I think, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I th okay, we're calling it in one minute because I'm zoning out. Okay, good, good. Let me see. Five hour stream. We're going to end it at five hours unless something crazy happens because realistically speaking, I'm just not, uh, you know how it is. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. Um, the crucible. Okay. I'll watch a little bit of Andrew just to kind of like see what he's up to. Let's see what, what's up. Oh my fucking God. This nigga video unavailable. Really? So he paywalled his own stream for what reason? That seems kind of gay, frankly. Like what the fuck am I going to do with that? Fucking useless. Okay. What else? 
Dracula Flow is a great series. Aaron Rodgers named as potential running mate for RFK Jr.'s presidential race. Look, he'd be such a fucking idiot to drop out of the, the Jets to run for vice president to a guy who's going to lose, by the way. like Andrew Tate is in jail. Oh, wait, really? Well, I mean, that's tough. Yeah, I, kn I knew he was guilty. Who cares? I don't really care. Most dangerous drugs tier list. Oh, I want to see this. No way. The account name is Goblin. Okay, let's see. video i hope you guys enjoyed this one drop a like if you do don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also we have a grinder drop available now what the fuck youtube drop this what? Is life now in today's video we're gonna be talking we have ketamine dmt crack lean meth opiates heroin cocaine Talking Xanax. about the most dangerous drugs. And as you can see here, we have got five different tiers to rank them in. Going from deadly, which is the worst and most surrounded, felt like they Xanax, which is not late, weren't familiar. We've got opiates and meds. Everyone Let's go ahead and start off with DMT, this beautiful substance right here. Now listen, DMT is generally regarded as a pretty safe substance. You're not going to overdose and die on DMT. Um, you're not going to, to have those typical negative physical health impacts. However, you could potentially have some mental health impacts, right? You might have a bad experience on DMT, but in general, this is a pretty safe substance. If you're just going to take a quick hit of it, you're in for one hell of a ride, but you're in for a ride that's not really going to put you at risk, which is why we're going to put DMT in the usually safe category. Now, there's another thing I want to talk about. In what movies do I watch? I watch scary movies. I, look, what this is kind of weird, but I'll watch movies that are popular so that when I talk to like my friends in real life, I have something to have in common with. So, for example, I'm meaning to watch Dune 2 because a ton of people have been telling me to watch it. And so I, I, I'd, f I'd feel left out if like I haven't seen it in like the next two weeks. So like stuff like that. In regards to like what I do like, I like the Hellraiser series. I like shit like that. Child's Play, stuff like that. So. In terms of these rankings, we're not necessarily deeming a drug dangerous just because it kills you. There's multiple factors that can make a drug dangerous. So, for example, if it impacts your mental health negatively or it impacts your physical health, but maybe in a way that doesn't necessarily kill you, right? That is still a dangerous thing. That is still a dangerous substance. If it poses a risk to you or it poses the risk of negatively impacting you, then it, it, it could be considered dangerous. So I just wanted to get that out of the way because I know there's going to be some people who are going to be like, Goblin, why did you put, you know what, let's just go to the next drug. Let's go ahead and go to the next drug. What should we pick? Let's talk Xanax here. Now, Xanax, you're, you're going to see what I mean in a minute with this ranking system. See, Xanax is something that you're not necessarily going to take an overdose. There's a lot of fake Xanax out there, but that's not what we're talking about. We're operating on the assumption that when we're talking about this drug, you have the 100% authentic version of it. So if we, were count you know, if we were counting fakes and counterfeits, Xanax would be in the very top region of this. There's a million different Fent bars that you could go get from a million different plugs right now. Hell, I could probably walk outside of my apartment building and find a neighbor to serve me some Xan Fent. I don't think it would be that difficult. However, just because straight Xanax will not necessarily kill you doesn't mean that it's not dangerous. There's a couple reasons I say that. First off, Xanax is truly a gateway drug. I know that, you know, the, the label gateway drug is kind of frowned upon, and people used to say that about weed, which we all know is obviously not true, but Xanax is truly a gateway drug. It is a gateway drug to opiates. I know a lot of fucking people who have started taking Xanax, and eventually their tolerance got super fat. They were chasing that kind of super cloudy, relieved feeling that Xanax gave them. And what did they graduate to? Opiates, every single time. When you become addicted to Xanax, very rarely will you be a person... Okay. So, I mean, is this even true? I haven't tried Xanax, but is this a valid thing that it's a gateway drug? I don't know about that. Um, Someone said that Dune 2 is mid. Honestly, I have no idea. Now, MEAC says, well, you're the one who slept with her, honey. So if she's mid, that makes you, seems like a you problem, to be honest. So you're like somebody who, are you, are you a, subs uh, sorry, are you a subscriber to the show? Are you like a middle-aged woman that doesn't know the context? Zans made me into a damn zombie at night. RK, well, I want to try one then. Fuck. I don't think so. I cold turkeyed it and it was fine. And I took it for four months. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, if I'm like hyper, if I take a Xanax, would it be normal? I don't person know. Who is just forever taking Xanax. You will eventually reach a point where you have one of two options. Either A, you quit and go cold turkey, which is very difficult. And I have friends who have had seizures trying to go cold turkey off Xanax. Or you graduate to something stronger, like an opiate, right? Like heroin, like fentanyl, something like that. I say this because I have watched countless friends go down this path. I know so many homies who back in high school, we used to just pop bars casually. Every day, wake up before school, on the way to school, pop a Xan on the bus. Just got out of school, let's take another Xan. It's lunch period, Xan time, baby. I don't want pizza, I want the triangle. Zans. Now, listen, Xanax is a very fucked drug because this is such a, oh, wow. All my friends did Xanax. So you sound like a fucking loser then, goblin.
And then two, we have a comment saying, you're right. I'm a 65 year old woman. It says M E A C. Okay. Well, happy to have you around. Uh, yeah. They prescribe it to you just for saying you have insomnia. Xanax is good for you. I want to try get one. Addicted to it. It's extremely difficult to quit. I wouldn't get addicted. In the very danger to kill you. And that's the problem. They're right now. We'll just cut it out. I know it's not that simple. Rooms. There we go. All right, next up. Since we're on the topic, let's talk about them. Shrooms. Now, shrooms are, in my opinion, the novice, you know, the easy mode of the psychedelic world. If you're someone who's never done shrooms before and you're looking to get into a psychedelic, you know, shrooms are the way to go, honestly. You can microdose them and they have a lot of actually studied health benefits, right? There, there's a wide array oh, of benefits oh. to taking even just small amount and, you know, safe realizing that, A, you're not going to over these is if you have an underlying mental health issue. If, I don't fucking care, it, man. Now, next on the list, let's talk about cocaine. Let's go. One, I love this one. I'll tell you guys right now, I, I have been a raging coke addict for a long time. Not anymore. I'm, I'm all, about a year sober now. Besides that little bump I did back in June. We don't have to talk about that. But other than that, I'm about a year sober from coke. Can I get a round of applause, please? I'll clap for myself because no one else is here. But either way, coke is quite frankly the devil, okay? This drug is awful for you. Say goodbye to your heart, okay? Your cardiac health is out the fucking window. Even your nose, when you're regularly railing it, your nose will just start to fall apart. You can get holes in your nose. Your nasal cavity will just start collapsing and weakening. This drug is awful for you. And also, on top of that, even if you're getting some extremely pure, non-cut cocaine, you know, which most of us are not getting, even if you are getting that absolute top shelf, you know, super pure, best possible coke, it is still horrible for you. It is still made with a bunch of bullshit chemicals that you should not be ingesting. Seems like a lot of cope. You know what I mean? Like with the other ones, it's like very clearly like you will die. With this one, it's like your nose is going to have holes. Cocaine can also kill you. This is a drug where you can actually overdose and die because like you will bullshit. just get a fucking heart attack. Because of I mean, I guess if you're out of shape, I'm 20 years old, dog, really. This, we're putting cocaine in the deadly category. Oh, what a fucking homo, really? Cocaine is one that you don't necessarily want to fuck around with. You know, we, we might put it in a lower deadly because obviously cocaine has a cousin that is also very risky. But coke is a dangerous one because it's very easily accessible. Kind of like Xanax. This is a drug where you really don't have to try very hard to get your hands on it. Because of that, it's going in the deadly category. Now let's go to the next substance on our list. Take a look here on the right, on the bench. Who are we pulling off the bench today, everybody? Let's talk about meth. This is like cocaine's big fucking angry tweaker cousin, okay? Meth is, is a substance that- I bet Grace would pin me out to older ladies. Grace said that I was asexual and that I would like a girlfriend that would be my mommy and that she would jerk me off sometimes and I'd be okay with that. Like, she's, she's that, like, neurotic about it, which is odd. I don't even know. Like, 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 no. This whole, like, wanting a mom thing is so retarded. Like, if I have a mom, then why would I want another mom? It doesn't make sense will completely ruin your life, right? You will stay up for days on end tweaking your balls off. You will end up in a psychosis at some point if you continually stay up for days on end doing this. You will start hallucinating by staying up. And the interesting thing about meth is it's not actually the drug itself that is making you hallucinate, but it's the lack of sleep and the lack of self-care that puts you into that state. When you start smoking meth, your body is just falling the fuck apart. This is not a very safe drug. Now, actually overdosing directly from meth and dying is not extremely common. There aren't a ton of fatal meth overdoses out there. However, it's more about the other problems that meth causes. Staying up for days, your heart rate getting fucked with, right? Putting you into a psychosis. This Sounds like a beginner's problem, very, to be honest. Uh, it's I'm like not a saying skill issue. On chemicals, just know for more time than you wanted to and start to get the meth itself. Risk, Fuck I mean, off with meth. Who cares? can impact your health, right? The only exception to this rule is if you're getting something like Robocop or Delsim, I believe, has only DXM as the active ingredient. They might have changed that, but back in my day, it was only DXM. Hey, Delsim was kind of hit and do my loads of top other things that are in like blame that on dx absolutely dangerous right you're not really going to overdose on it unless you take an absolutely astronomical inhuman amount right you can still have health problems from it and of course if you take a shitload of it you will have a bad will be taking it when it has other active ingredients and i'm quitting dxm is ideal is lean even good have you guys tried that it seems gross okay does this now let's talk about opiates next now, I know there's going to be a lot of people in the comments that are like, well, opiates, you know, you can get fake perk 30s and die. But we're not necessarily talking about your average opiate there, right? We're talking about something that's cut. In order to make this list fair, we're going to only be referring to the pure, non-cut, real versions of these drugs. So when you get an actual prescription opiate, let's say it's a Percocet, let's say it's a Narco, let's say it's a Hydro, an Oxy, something like that. Do they even prescribe Oxys anymore? I don't think they do, dude. I don't know. I, I was never very big into the opiates. I've done them all, but I never really would say I was addicted to any of them. Thank God. This is an awful drug category. But the thing with opiates is very similar to Xanax. This is the ultimate gateway, okay? The shitty thing about this is opiates, kind of like Xanax, they can be prescribed to someone who is not a drug user, right? You can just have your average soccer mom who sprained her ankle, and now she's got fucking 60 perk 30s at her disposal. What's she gonna do? She's gonna get fucking lit. That's what she's gonna do. That's where the problem arises with opiates, because if you just take, you know, a few of them, you won't necessarily overdose. Interesting. Uh, <sighs> uh okay. Well, whatever. 
dude, no fucking way. The best drugs to do at school, says Goblin. Oh my fuck, dude, how is this allowed? Then we have weed and Xanax. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm actually sleepy for the first time on stream. I'm sleepy. It's like two thirty, but I'm, I'm curious. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to start alphabetically from the top. Now, listen, acid. Let's talk about this for a minute. Now. Let's say you're in class, all right? Teacher's pissing you off. She calls on you in math. You're an idiot. You don't know what the fuck. You can't count, dude. You're Fuck you, teach. You're going to the bathroom and getting sent, dude. If you pop a tab A, you got to wait at least an hour. So by the time you pop that tab, the classes you were trying to avoid with the drug is already done, right? Uh, so that alone makes it not the greatest substance. But on top of that, uh, you then have to factor in functionality, right? Can you get through a school day without the principal uh, calling the school security to come tase you and escort you? Uh, Ironman, that I'm weird, You know, because this is like... It, listen, if you know how to handle yourself on a trip, I've done it. I've tripped at school, but I don't know if I'd recommend it. He took acid it. in school? What an idiot. Anyone who's ever taken a final in their life knows that probably four out of the five people adjacent to them are on this. One in the comments who disputes that is probably in middle school, dude. Because as soon as you grow up, uh, Adderall is basically the student's cocaine, all right? once Listen, once you're out of school, then it's cocaine. But before that... Adderall's the student's coke, dude. You get shit done. It's awesome. It's clean. <coughs> oh, God, shit. Dude, lung cancer hit me different, dude. This dank card's got me wildin'. But, hey, hey, listen. Adderall, that's just an S-tier school substance, dude. You really can't. That's, I mean, it's just S-tier, dude. There's no arguing it. They're, like, they're, it, it's... A, it is prescribed for school, but this is in the context of you don't have a prescription. You're getting shit done, dude. You're sitting in class, right? Teacher says, hey, dumbass, uh, what is 10 plus 10? You're like, dude, I can't even count that high, dude. You go to the bathroom, pop this Adderall, dude, you'll tell her 10 times 10, bro. You'll count way higher than you could have ever dreamed, dude. So it seems like I'm going to be an elite if I do Adderall. Adderall is it, dude. Let's move on to carts. Now, I'd just like to bring some attention to this picture here real quick. Uh, let's... Let's just let's just appreciate the COVID cart right here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the eighty-one getting high on mucinex. THC. Okay, this guy's an idiot. Okay, this is like to totally like brain rot retard content, but that is somewhat funny. Eight hundred thousand subscribers, by the way. So here's what I'm gonna do. Oh, this is what he looks like. Okay, I'm not surprised. Okay, so the stream has gone on uh, a lot. Uh, I will say it's been five hours and 10 minutes. So I'm going to give it literally one minute and I'm going to fucking end it. I promise basically. Okay. So one minute, any last questions? Cause I'm going to end it. I'm actually sleepy. You know, you guys know how I, I don't know how, how, and uh, wow. What the fuck? How high energy I am usually. So for me to be tired, is kind of insane. TikTok better content. Yeah. Well, okay. I haven't tried that yet. Yeah, you're right. There's a lot of bad bitches on TikTok. Anyway. Okay. Uno minuto. Let's count. What drugs have you done? Well, that's a non-starter. Not really any. Yeah. I'm not a fed. Sure. I don't come off like a drug addict, though. Read all of my banger comments. If I had to choose a drug, it'd be LSD. You would? Well, I haven't tried it, so I don't know. Wanting a mom archetype is for poor people. Just hire a maid. Okay, no, that's good. Yeah, I do have a maid. Grace would pimp me out to an old lady. Yeah. My drug is YouTube. Yes. Okay. <sighs> okay. All right. I'm going right into bed right after this. Uh, Listen, by the way. People wanted a merch reveal. I didn't really wear it though, so I do like this. All right. So, anyway, uh, see y'all. Count down to ten seconds. If you don't comment in the next ten seconds, I will not fucking read that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, I'm not even counting right. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, Meek says, period. You got that bag on. Well, what does that even mean? Period. Like, period, like punctuation, period, as in like what time period? What do you even mean? Uh, go, go sleep, retard. Fuck you, RK. Do you guys want to see something real quick? Uh, look at this mirror I have.
Wait, hold on. Do you like this mirror? It's awesome. There we go. All right. The mirrors definitely curse. Period. Like Yas. Oh, I get it. OMG, you're mogging us through the mirror. Uh, that's crazy that a 65-year-old would type like that. You're mogging. Okay, Grandma. Thank you. It looks like the mirror from the Justin Timberlake movie. Or sorry, the song Mirror. The one that's like, I'm just something to admire. Because your shine is something like a mirror. And I couldn't help but notice you reflect in this heart of mine. If you ever feel alone and <laughs> and the glare makes you hard to find, just know that I'm always parallel on that other side. Cause with your hand in my hand and a pocket full of soul, I could tell you there's no place we couldn't go. Just put your hand in my hand, I can clear it. I'll be here to pull you through. You just gotta be strong. Cause I don't wanna lose you now. And I'm looking right at this other half of me. The biggest little gap in my heart is a space and now you on. So tell me how to fight for now. And I tell you, baby, it was easy coming right to you once I figured it out. You were right here all along. It's like I'm a mirror. Oh, my mirror's looking back at me. I couldn't get any bigger. Oh, with no one else beside of me. And it's clear that these moments and two passions turn to one. Cause it's like I'm a mirror. Oh, my mirror's looking back at me. All right. Anyway. Huh, okay. Fuck, I'm tired. Okay. Anyway, good stream. See y'all in the next one. Adios.